Ah, oh, Hashimash Tenshi. It's finally time to take on Irithal. I'm excited. Means... Very least, I should finally be able to get the sword. The honorary sword. But before that, I gotta head back to Undead Settlement. So there should be a... Cliff Underside should be... The right place. Gotta go by where I originally... Hajima Mashenshi! Very punctual. How are you doing? We're going back to pick up the stuff I mentioned before. We're gonna talk to Henri. I'm also going to... Pick up Cornix's set real quick. Also, I found out... I did a little bit of research. And there's a special catalyst in this game called the Crystal Chime. Which is simultaneously a sorcery staff... Well... Sorcery Catalyst, really, more like. It's a bell that can both cast miracles and sorceries, which makes it pretty decent, because it scales with both faith and intelligence. So if I play my cards right, I could get a lot of use out of it, but we'll see how it ends up happening. Oh, oh, lag. Okay, I gotta get my, I gotta get the fan out. I'll be right back. Goodness. Not beating the femboy allegations, I guess. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay. Hajime Mashenshi, how are you doing? I'm going back. I fought Old Demon King last time with Kukulis. Well, you're the one who keeps bringing out magic or stuff. If there's anyone who's at fault here, it's you. But I'm going back to pick up Kukulis' set. You might know not know this, T-Boys, but... If you summon Kukulis for the old demon fight and she survives the way through, Cornix's clothes along with the spotted whip will show up here. So that was the only time in the entire run where I actually had to have a summon for a boss fight. I'll need to summon Gothard and Wander Pale Shade right before Pontiff in order to get their gestures, but I'm not actually going to be having them for the fight. But it was interesting because it was very much like an escort mission and then the one thing we do we're gonna do before other thing we're gonna do before we go to Irithil is gonna be gonna go back over here and talk to Henri real quick because because we killed Horus in Smoldering Lake last time so gotta tell her about what we did so she knows to move on to the next spot the big thing is oh oh it's actually not the right place, right? We need to go back to the Theron Keep Bonfire and take the shortcut. So we're gonna go back over here to Abyss Watchers. It's so funny that Cathedral of the Deep gets its own tab with four bonfires and... Road of Sacrifices and Theron Keep, both of which have as much or more bonfires as Cathedral, count as one area. It's so funny, and it does make me wonder if Cathedral of the Deep might have been bigger in beta. Given that Dark Souls 3, I keep changing my mind on which Dark Souls game actually ended up being the most complete. Because all of them, even Elden Ring, which got more time in the oven, as people are infamously aware of, still had a lot of things changed, arguably due to being rushed or not being able to complete things due to delays. And I think I might have told at least one of you about this before, but... Some of the later game areas were intended to link more geographically instead of just by the big, giant elevators, which are cool. The elevators are cool, but originally there was supposed to be more direct geographic integration, so to speak. Okay, big thing is, Henri's over here. You can wait for the big skeleton ball to roll back up. This is the one that gave us an undead bone shard the other time. The other one just gave us a dark gem. So we're right over here. We'll let that Grave Warden skeleton go away. Oh, Karthus Group Greatsword? Oh, that's cool, actually. Well, we've got our bludgeoning weapons, and... Turns out they're actually weaker to magic and then fire. Which was a bit of a surprise to me. That said, I think Karthus Flamemark would probably still end up doing more damage, just because I've got higher spell buff on the Pyro Flame. And oh, goodness, Henri's already gone. Alright. 
So she left a prism stone behind. Either way, if she's just an Irithyll now, that means we don't really have to worry about that. I guess talking to her at all is what makes her move on. Okay, so we don't have a lot of bones, but either way, all we gotta do now is go back to the High Lord Wolnir bonfire, and we'll be chilling. The big thing is, if I play my cards right and get through relatively quickly, I could get to sort of gateway boss for the endgame, Dancer of the Boreal Valley, and she's very, very weak to dark damage. I guess the question is, should I try grinding out the soul drags to get great deep soul, or should I just use Black Serpent? I think Black Serpent would probably be better. <clears throat> it's a dark damage pyromancy, <coughs> so it innately scales well on both intelligence and faith. And what's really, really funny here is that this place is going to be really, really pretty, by the way. It's generally considered to be one of the most beautiful areas in the game. Well, I said I might be I might have a lot of knowledge, but it's all wiki knowledge. This is still my first time through the game, and oh my goodness, Northern Ro Northern Lights. What kind of Irithyll of the Boreal Valley? And that part over there is that Irithyll Dungeon, or by the way, up there, what is? Wait, what's up there? Is that Cathedral of the Deep? I can't tell. I feel like because you've got that keep over on the side. That area might just not be accessible. So I feel as if that might be the Abyss Watcher's Keep. I think that's likely. Oh yeah, fire fire's always peak. But you see, you just go through that little passageway and immediately there's another bonfire. It's honestly really, really silly. But the big thing is, I know already that we're going to run into a very strong... Yeah, exactly. I'm equipping Flame Arc right now. And switching to Cell Sword Twin Blades because it's specifically weak to slash and fire damage. So I'm going out of my way to make this fight as streamlined as possible. In the end, I think I've said this before, and it might be it's gonna be a while until I can actually use drain twin spears and get a source of piercing damage. I'm only about halfway there stats wise. So I need 20 dex. But I've got drain hammers for strike and cell sword for slash. So I've been very deliberate about targeting certain breakpoints, well, certain enemy weaknesses. Okay. Silly outfit, definitely a silly outfit, but... Yeah, you go back here and there's nothing. You do wonder if anything was originally there, because like I said, a number of things were actually cut during DS3's development. In particular, the time of day that varies between areas in the game was originally meant to be something you could actually change per area. Though it did not end up being that way in practice. Bring a dull, be granted passage, wary of behind. And, okay, so it's not up there, so it'll just spawn in. And what we need for that would be the small doll we got after killing the Deacons of the Deep over in Cathedral of the Deep. Interesting how it's got that crescent motif. Moon still sets an irithyll. Makes me wonder how much it might be related to Gwyndolin. Let's see how much this thing kills me. Oh, right over there. Hi, Pontiff Beast. You just showed up. Okay, and just dodge out of the way, and let's just use some paired weapon attacks. Oh my, okay, well, alright. One, two, oh, what? Oh, wow. So our damage was good, but I got way too greedy. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now I know that it's just gonna phase in. I want to look behind myself when I go over, just to see... Oh, also, I think, if I wanted to be really funny, I could attune Karthus Beacon and just go really hard on some quick pyro-related buffs. Exactly! Started things off with a bang. So first, we'll put this up, and Karthus Beacon only lasts 30 seconds. It's kind of crazy. So once this thing shows up... So how- okay, and it literally just phases in. Oh yeah, the hardest part of this run isn't low damage, it's having basically no durability. Okay, one, two, and- oh, alright, dodge and- uh, S is up, and can we- okay, head, and thanks, please, dodge and- uh. oh, oh, okay, dodge and- dodge, uh. 
Okay, and luckily, there's not too much. Oh, there we go. We got our visceral. Let's just reach in and stab and tear our blade out. Goodbye, Pawn of Peace. That said, that ring is very, very good. Pontiff's right eye. I've got Pontiff's... Oh, I have Flimstone Blade on, but Pontiff's left eye is what I had before. Pontiff's right eye is basically the same as Karthus Beacon. This one is really good, especially if you're using paired weapons. Yeah, the fact that I'm already at very low health just inherently, and then beyond that I can't really use a lot of armor, means that I need to be good about dodging, or I'm just dead to rights. But that went pretty well, second try actually, with garbage, deliberately garbage build including basically no health. So Homeward Bone, and this will let us through. Oh, that's interesting, because that means I could have fought that Pontiff Beast even without the doll. So that's the barrier that lets you through, and immediately another bonfire? You've got to be kidding. The big thing is that... Uh, how do I find... Cirrus? Well, I wouldn't say I'm amazing at dodging, and I can't, and I can't parry at all. Big thing is, Cirrus's quest line. There should be a summon sign somewhere on the bridge. I don't think she's she's not in here right now, and I don't think, don't imagine we would have failed Cirrus's quest line. But Cirrus is the Dark Moon gal, and her quest line relates at least in part to Irithyll over here. So I'm gonna briefly check. Description of the invading NPC phantoms from Dark Souls 3. Part of Cirrus's questline on the bridge. So in here we've got two invaders from Crichton, one invasion from Alva, and one invasion from Laundra Pale Shade. And after that I'll have to get Absolution at the statue of Velka. So Cirrus's questline. I don't think I failed it, but I need to check. Kill the Sullivan's Beast. Yeah, oh, you have to reload the world. Have to light the central Irithyll bonfire. Kill Crichton the Wanderer. Okay, and I think Drang Hammers would probably be better for that. So right, we can just reload the area. And that's the thing about a lot of these quest lines, is that you have to reload the area. And since we've been going through in marathon sessions, a lot of the time... We haven't gotten to reload and we've missed things like Patches' appearance in Cathedral. Luckily, Patches still showed up. But it's not great. The big thing is we need to, we should probably switch back to Drain Hammers. I would presume that Crichton's going to be weaker to bludgeoning and that, again, I do find it outright hilarious how despite the fact and now we're barefoot. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Actually, we can take off. Take that off. Drain Shoes. Put on Fallen Knight, sure. And no shield, no shield. The shieldless tactics that strike fear into the hearts of men. And somewhere around here should be Cirrus's summon sign, which would actually summon... Oh, there it is! Right over here. Touch sign requesting cooperation. Answer Cirrus of the Sunless Realms, call for cooperation, and be summoned as a phantom. I think we'll do that. I wonder what kind of spirit we're going to be summoned as. I presume some kind of Dark Moon or something. Especially since she is Dark Moon herself. As a blue sentinel, maybe. Right. Oh, well, whatever we are, let's actually briefly unequip Untrue Dark Ring. Okay, eh, okay, I'm just a normal, normal light spirit. So let's buff briefly, and oh, there, there, there Alva is. I mean, Crichton. So she is durable. Either way, it's time for the gank. So let's just one, two... Go for the combo. Gotta love it. One, two, and slam down on Crichton. Use her Ash and Estus again, and just one, roll catch, spin, and slam, and there he goes. Simple enough for me. Good bye. Good bye. No problem at all. No problem at all. Okay. So we got that done real quick, and it's nice that I didn't have to ember up for that. It doesn't seem like we actually got any souls from that, but whatever. So is there going to be anything get as a result of that? Either way, the summon sign is gone. Did help her out. Should check real quick. 
Sirius of the Sunless Realms. Okay, you help her out with that. Okay, and then she goes back to... Firelink Shrine. Okay, okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Twin Prince's armor. Grandfather's grave between Firelink and Udex Gundyr. But for now, I guess we'll go back to Firelink real quick and we can see Cirrus one more time. But after that, we're going to be going through Irithyll. What's cool about Irithyll is that if you see that building up to the left, it's a very important building that might be familiar to some of you. I mean, one of you already knows what it is, but the other has definitely seen it before. So, I'm gonna go back to Firelink real quick, talk to Cirrus. She'll give a mail breaker, which is interesting, because that's something I could have gotten. Bought from Grirat. Doesn't really matter. So there she is. Well, I'll show you it again real quick. Not thank you for your generous rescue. Rosario's fingers work in the darkness. Well, he didn't have a... Didn't have a sign saying Rosario's fingers, though. Here's some invaders, civilians, not made alone. Deepest gratitude. The silver cat ring for using fall damage, my son. Blessing the moon. Okay. Well, whatever. Big thing is, we go back to Irithyll and... So I'll show you. I'm gonna look up to the left at this bonfire. And there's a big building, a cathedral, which should be your hint, that you've definitely seen before. I think. Can't really see it right now because it's shrouded by the mist. But I think you can see it a little better from over here. Either way, either way. You'll know a bit better when we get there and you actually see the name. So I can hear a crystal lizard somewhere. I imagine. Hear that twinkling. Over here we have, okay, just a soul of a weary warrior. I believe it's by Church of Yorshka Bonfire that the next invader will show up. Either way, we can... Is this a door? Well, guess not. If you don't, it's fine. You'll find out later. Well, that's not very nice. That's not very nice. I think I hear something. I'm just gonna poke around here real quick, see if there are any hidden side pathways I need to avail myself of. Hmm. Does not seem like it. I do hear a crystal lizard, but I guess it's over that way. Oh, so we'll be going down on those streets, too. That's fun. This reminds me... This is just the Dark Souls 2 fan in me speaking out again, which is likely unwise. It reminds me of Frozen Alayum Lice from Dark Souls 2, which, to be fair, is a bit more of an ice level than this one. Because this one is mainly... Okay, and oh, these knights are... I'm gonna assume they're weak to fire. Okay. Let's just go in and... Oh, well, alright. One, two, three... Okay, well, they stagger incredibly easily. All I have to do is make sure that I either completely get the drop on them or dodge their initial attack. Another soul of a weary warrior. Interesting. Gotta love Karthus Flaymark. Got to love Karthus Flaymark. So you're coming over here. Get over here. And, oh, I... Somebody else coming. Hello there. Hi. And one, two, and one more slam. There we go. I am glad that in spite of... Oh, and they use dark sorceries too. Will you get over here? Get over here. Slam, and you are easy enough to poise break. I gotta say... It almost feels like things have gotten easier, not just because I've actually gotten access to spells that are useful for my build, but it really does feel as if enemies become easier to poise break as time goes on, because I'm not running into those awful evangelists who are just incredibly hard to stagger. Okay, that looks like an area I could actually get to, and I think I see an item over there. That's a very conspicuous dice over there. I feel as if there's got to be some kind of enemy encounter there of note. What is... does not open from this side, and I see a pilgrim, I think. So that's one locked door that I need to keep track of. Okay, and my 
Part of this way mark is worn off. I'm gonna run into... Okay, more Pontiff Knights. Oh! Wait. Okay, that's not a Pontiff Knight. That's literally just a trick of the light. It's such a silly mistake to make. And do I... I hear a... Oh, they're just random phantoms all about. That reminds me of... Kiln of the First Flame, actually, where you had the... In Dark Souls 1, where you had... These phantom black knights walking about, back and forth in the starting area. So I see... These guys seem suspicious, but if I get the drop on them... Something seems to be up. Soul the name of Soldier and... Okay, oh, alright, and you are... Pretty slow, but your attacks are strong. Luckily, the drain hammers are really good reach. Budding Green Blossom and... Okay, Sirius will. There's gonna be a special one at the Shrine Handmade, eventually. Okay, and a... Oh, these are the Flame Witches. So I presume that they won't be as weak to fire? I would presume. Okay, they've got that Immolation Tinder on too, but... Oh, goodness. Let's try to take these guys down first, and I think... If I can break line of sight, that might work better for me, and... Okay, die, 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 and... There we go. Oh, thanks. Okay. The big thing is, I'm not sure whether... Fire would be good against them or not. I feel like it's safe to say that it wouldn't be, but either way... I'm not exactly in a position to be looking stuff up on the wiki right now. What's interesting is that this gal was initially a boss. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and two more. The combo ended earlier than I might have liked. And that miss. Interesting. So you can actually get this gal's weapon as a... We well, get that gal's staff as a weapon. It deals fire damage. It's a halberd that deals fire damage, but weirdly enough... It's a sorcery catalyst, but you can't use it for pyromancies. I do find it interesting that... Dark Souls actually quite often mentions... Flame sorceries, which in practice are mostly, I believe, a reference to... The fact that in Demon Souls, fire damage was actually mostly limited... To sorceries. There was only one miracle that dealt damage, which was... Wrath of the Gods, or as it was spe spelled there, God's Wrath. And it only dealt magic damage. And it was, again, the only damaging miracle in the entire game. S which meant that all the fire spells were also sorceries. So your magic stat, which they actually had an intelligence stat too, but it didn't determine magic damage. It dealt... It determined your memory slots for equipping sorceries. Fire damage and magic damage were both mostly limited to magic. Which is part of why magic in Demon Souls was so overpowered. Which, again, that's mostly just wiki knowledge for me, but I do intend to play Demon Souls after I get done with Sekiro and before Elden Ring, ideally. Okay. Arch Tide Knight Shard and Fire Witch Wiki Dot. I hear something coming, maybe. Fire Witch. Fire Witch, Herod Spirits of Irithil, and they are. They're actually weakest to dark, by far. And yeah, they do have a bit of fire resistance. And I hear... Oh, two Pontiff Knights! Hello! I could just let those guys pass peacefully, but... I don't think I will. I think my blood thirst prevents that. Hello there. Hi. Two, three, four, and... Oh, oh my... What? You know? You know? I paid for my crimes. What I should have done was just either gone for the weapon art or went for a... Oh, literally. I feel like the Titanic. Either way, we don't need Carthus Beacon right now. So I'm go actually going to attune Great Magic Weapon because that will be slightly better against the Fire Witches. And then, you know what? We could take... Uh, we don't need heal. Oh, but what we could take... We could try Black Flame. I could use that on the Fire Witches. That's actually going to be a pretty good dark spell. That's right. And again, I probably should use that against Dancer. It would suck to lose that Bloodstain, but it'd really kind of be 
and it is what it is situation, especially since I can't do any leveling up right now yet. Or at least I wouldn't particularly like to. Because every level up I do is going to increase the cost of getting atonement at the Velka statue. Because I think I said this before, but I aggroed Yuria in order to do the Wanderer Pale Shade invasions, but I'm still intending to do the do the relevant quest line. So I oh my goodness, you are crazy. Okay, all right. And how are we going to? Okay, there we there we go. And, oh my goodness, two, three, four, and wow. Oh, we got the Pontic Knight Curve Sword, and that's actually a decent enough Frostbite weapon, but... The thing about Frostbite is that if I really wanted to make use of it, I need some way to deal fire damage in order to trigger Frostbite again, and the effect early if I was doing it for damage. So, um... Okay, oh my goodness, oh, what, what? Ah, that did not work as well as intended. So let's... One, oh, okay. Ah, oh, please. These guys seem harder this time around for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Well, either way, getting them to do their sorcery attack is a good way to get them in a vulnerable enough position. The big thing is, I'm not sure if there's going to be another bonfire relatively soon. Because I'm actually kind of running low on Estus already. Because the fights just went significantly worse than they did last time. Okay, and... Ring hammers on top. Okay. So, we will try out Black Serpent on this Fire Witch and see how well it works. Oh, there, hello, and... How far will this... Oh, that did not travel nearly far enough. Okay, there we go. This should be a good time for it. That... It's... It's passable. But... These guys are getting in the way right now. Okay. Let's just back up real quick and... One, two, three, four... Oh, 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 what, what? Oh, my goodness. That... All right. All right, and... Okay. Hmm. It's weird how strong these guys are, actually. They do a lot of damage. They might not be able to take a lot of punishment, but in terms of trash mobs, they... What? Huh? Well, that's a big bloodstain gone. Rest in peace, every single soul I got from Old Demon King. Hmm. Well, whatever. Easy come, easy go. You know, I would say I should have equipped Ring of Sacrifice, but I actually used my Ring of Sacrifice for the Lava Pit in Smoldering Lake. Okay. So let's go and... Oh, my goodness. It... What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And, uh, please. Two, three, four, and... Oh, wow, that interesting. And, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just, uh, please. Slam it. Really? Really? Oh. It's just... I think a lot of the issue is that I was kind of rushing through. And the only way I can guarantee only having to fight one of them at once is waiting for them to come to me. It's hilarious that I got pretty far and then I've just been getting my butt kicked. <laughs> time and time again after that. Okay, so, let's see who I can lure out here. Should be a couple coming. Or alternately I could just be silly and just run, but I don't want to do that. Okay. Slam down and... Yeah, it... There's just been so much variance in experience here. It's kind of shocking. So there's another one right there. We gotta take the other one down. It's interesting that they're using dark sorceries. And really? Okay. So now that one's coming after me on foot and... Dodge... Really? That much hit stun? What in the goddamn... Uh, gotta say that and I would presume that they would be weakest uh, let's see real quick what I hate is that when you google things it always comes up with 
Oh, they're very weak to dark. You know what? Maybe we'll just spam Black Serpent on them. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just do that. But as I was saying, it's annoying how the wiki dot only comes up if you specifically search it. It's not even on the first page of Google results otherwise. And the Factor Life is garbage. They just do a lot of search engine optimization. But as I was saying, okay, this is this is good. Okay. And oh, but it takes that many hits to. Mm -hmm. It's not all that efficient, is the thing. Maybe if I... What in the... Okay. I could try hammers, but... Aside from this, my best dark option would be... Soul Drags. Which... I would have to start doing it already. Doing it eventually. So I'm just gonna equip Soul Drags... Get that bloodstain and actually equip. How many? I've got enough. Twinkling Titanite right now, and it takes. Eight, five, one, two, I believe. I'm gonna take Isle of Catalyst to plus two right now and just spam Soul Drags. And given how weak all these enemies apparently are to dark damage, I think that'll work. Because they are very specifically weak to dark damage. Okay, so we'll put on Isolith Catalyst, which we got last time in Smoldering Lake. I mean, Isolith Staff. Staff. Not a, not a Catalyst, a Staff. And I guess we'll be very... Eh, no, not necessarily. Give me something I can... We'll put on the Drang Shoes. Okay, hello, hello. Let's reinforce our Isolith Catalyst. Take one Twinkling Titanite, that'll take it up a good deal. Then a little bit more, and then right, we should allot some Estus. I think we could... Seven or four, six and five, I think this should be good, because Soul Drags is quite cheap. Okay. I mean, Deep Soul, Deep Soul. Soul Drags is the big, big one that comes from Ring City, Ring City only. So, it's time to go back to Central Irithyll and see how well Soul Drags will work on these guys. Losing that Bloodstain still hurts. Especially since Atonement would have cost half of that, so we're going to have to make up half of that anyway. Well, there we go. That's just... I think... Maybe I could put a shield on and just... Unequip the pants. Yeah, exactly. Barefoot and Irithyll. Fun. What would happen if I... How much would Deep Soul do to you? That... That's actually not bad at all. The issue is there's basically a stagger done and... Hmm... hmm. Okay. And no stagger at all. Which means this is actually kind of silly. I really need to play keep away with this. But... It doesn't cost a lot of FP, and it... But honestly, it's still... I can't honestly say it's better than using the hammers. I don't know. It's not nearly as fast. It's about whether I can approach the enemy. Yeah, me too. It was a lot more stylish, too. But the big thing is... This should work as long as I can spam at range. Yeah, I can keep them down this way if I'm smart with it. It's not nearly stylish, though. And it takes longer, but... It's a much more reliable strategy. As long as I start things from a distance. The big thing is, I'm wondering how well the shield will work. Mmm, yeah, it's blocking off pretty hard. I... Mm. I just gotta say, though... The reason I run a silly build like this is so that I can actually use spells when necessary, and it does seem pretty necessary right now. And one more done. There we go. In the end, I should be able to get Great Deep Soul somewhere here. That should make things more doable. We'll see how it works. How did it just... Uh, uh, how much did I... It was... 500 times the level, which would mean... 
25,000. So actually not all that much. And then we haven't lost a crazy amount, but still it hurts. And did I... I gotta actually two-hand that. Two, three, four. And then the other guys will come over and... Mm -hmm. Okay, this range is actually very good, but... What? Huh? Okay, the delay on that is aggravating, to say the least. As long as we keep moving, it isn't horrible, but... Mm. One, two, three. Really? 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 I didn't think you could hit me there. Ugh. Okay. Just... Mace is here. Mace is here. Three and... Four. Okay, there we go. Just gotta make sure that she doesn't hit me all that much. We can lure that guy over here. We can take him out pretty quickly. Mm -mm, but it seems like sh she's doing a decent amount of tracking on that attack. So if I move unpredictably, it might work a little better. We'll see. Dodge and Deep Soul. Thank you. Oh, but you're actually very, very staggerable. That works quite well. So if I just spam that, spam Deep Souls. Yeah, there we go. I'm a magician! I'm a magician! Okay. Kinda. Not a great one. Not an especially good one. Okay. Oh, please. I... Mmm. Three and... What? What? Okay. And that's what I get for not having any armor on. Honestly, the big thing I should do is... How long does Tears of Denial last? Because I actually can use Tears of Denial. Of Denial. Tears of Denial, Dark Souls 3. It lasts... When does it last? Oh! It lasts indefinitely. But... Okay. Okay. <laughs> so in that case, yeah, we're using Tears. We're putting on our Priest Chime again. The first time I ever saw someone play Dark Souls, they abused Tears relentlessly, so... I think that's gonna be a good idea here. And tears cost two, which means we should... More Tomb and Sansa would be nice, and we would be able to get that Dark Moon Ring. So this... we're chilling. That... yeah, but it costs a lot though, so... Can't exactly abuse that. But now that I've got that, now that I can use that, I should. Okay. So, this should make a number of things a lot more doable. We'll see. And... Okay, please, please. I'll make sure you don't poise your way out of my attacks. Thanks. Oh, well, alright, alright. Thanks, thanks. And another deep soul. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Thanks. This should make a number of things much, much more reliable. It's good that we have more Ash and Estus this time, but it's still not as much as I might like if I was doing a... Oh, tears in general magical oriented strategy. Okay, cool. Big range on that. Okay. Alright. Come on, just spam magic. Dark and... Oh, wow, you actually avoided that. Another and... One more. Goodbye. That said, I think, given that the one that uses its shield is a bit more conservative, I should. Yeah, I forgot that there are a lot of reasons people don't really complain about the difficulty of Dark Souls 3 all that much, actually, and the biggest one is probably Tears of Denial. Dodge and... Okay, well... Okay, you crafted that attack for a while, which meant we were able to just be the crap out of you. So tears last indefinitely, which is pretty great. I didn't know that. That said, I... Is that a... An effect from my... So I've still got tears, I'm pretty sure. Did someone rate one of my messages, or... What was that noise just now? Okay. Hmm. Stay out of the way of that fire snake. And will you attack me here? No, you don't have the right amount of line of sight. Oh, 
Never mind, never mind. You don't need a line of sight for that. Okay, cool. So we need to lure some of those guys over here then. Hello, hello. If you get over here, we'll take you out. And then, uh, just gotta make sure that all that fire doesn't. Hmm. Oh, what, what? What did I? Oh, because I, I didn't have it two-handed. That's a lot more annoying to manage than I like. And okay, thank you, thank you. One, two. Got one of them down. It really, really, really. Okay, that's good. And then one more, and then we will use. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you. And okay, the tree will block it. Or oh, it's not just one way. I did not see that coming. Okay, well, we can just keep on doing this. And I'm not sure what effect that actually is. And another one, and that should be all. Thank you, goodbye. So what did he drop this time? Was that actually the immolation tinder? Oh yeah, they actually dropped... Okay, okay. That's what I figured, but thank you. Immolation tinder, which is punitive flame, irritating witches, everlasting flame, and that has intelligence scaling. Sadly, it's not a very good staff. Hmm. Come on, come on. But, interestingly enough, originally in the arena that ended up being used for the boss of this area, you were actually going to fight one of those fire witches as a boss. Okay. I think in Dark Souls 1, I believe it did give Essus back, but I'm pretty sure that in Dark Souls 2, it just gave you a... I think it just gave you a healing effect. I know that's what it did in... Okay, in that case, it's definitely a healing effect. But the big thing is, I put a message in Firelink by the ladder by the trading crow. So I think I'm... It's really funny if I'm just getting a bunch here. Okay. Come on, and... Oh my goodness. What? What? Okay. Come on. That was a... Okay, the range is really good, actually, but... Come on, just Sail away that firebolt, and when will you use your... Okay, thank you, and then we'll... Guess we'll spam Deep Souls on you. You are in hammer range, but this damage is good. Damage is good. And then, one last cast should do it. There we go, Dead Witch. Okay, and... Oh, hello! Yeah, get in here, why don't you? We'll just... Spam our magic on you. Thank you, and... Cool. One more, one more, and... One more, one more, and... That was really cutting it close. Okay. Come on, just... Oh, goodness. Pass it. Oh, well... Okay, that roll was very, very narrow. Okay, either way, I think... It's hammer time again. So just dodge and slam that down, and then we can use the hammers to take you down the rest of the way. Big thing is, there had better be a bonfire soon. I'm kind of running low. I think it would be Church of Yorshka. If only we needed healing right then. Oh well. Hi, hello lizard. One, two, three, and... Well, we missed the lizard. But at least it didn't disappear yet. So another Twinkling Titan. The big thing is... We need Henri Sword for... It's actually kind of getting annoying. We're going to use Honorary Sword for its luck scaling. We use that in conjunction with Karthus Flame Arc. We've got scaling on all five stats. Fog wall ahead. So is that... Is Pontiff going to be... I'm not too familiar with the geography of Irithyll. Keep in mind, I've never been here. Ah, Crescent Moon. Permanent Crescent Moon. Okay. So, right. Written history. Pointless and... Read history. Wait, so we only got one message, so... What's doing what? I don't have anything that would... Deacon robe, deacon robe, deacon robe is... Nothing there. I... I can't tell what's going on then. That is... Honestly, very, very strange. So more of these Pontiff Knight phantoms and... Oh, a flame witch and a couple of Pontiff Knights. Isn't that great? And this over here, a large Titanite shard. Yeah, it'd have to be. 
seven shards. So in that case, I guess we're close to being able to level up either sun, sun or other. Priest shot. I guess we could do priest chime or yeah, sure, priest chime. That said, crystal chime is actually going to be better in the end for damaging miracles, which are the only ones I'll really be using. So over there. Oh, we could use this to get around from the side, I think. I hear something or somebody. It's kind of worrisome. It does not open from this side, so that I've seen a couple of locked doors. There's a fire witch right back here, and I think we'd be better off trying to backstab, or... And you can't backstab this gal. That's sad. Oh, whatever. I. Okay, and a couple more. There we go. That's good. So that was the deal. I had to go around from the side. Okay. So Church of Yorshka in Distant Manor. And then... Big thing is... Can we get this guy to come over here? Come on in. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright. So if you get... If we get you to do your magic attack, we can... Dodge and start slamming with the hammers. There we go. That is a good opening to try to exploit. There should be another Pontiff Knight over somewhere, right? Or do they move? Because I saw them around here from this side, but they weren't there when I came around. So what is a lightning gem? There's something up top over there. The question is how I'm going to get there. I probably, I almost definitely want to use the silver cat ring. Uh-huh. Illusory wall. Magic quatch ring. And then, if I drop down here, what's over here? Let's put on Silver Cat real quick. Prevents damage from flowing, leaving feline. Human tongue with the voice of an old woman, form of a fanciful immortal, and that would have been Alvina from Darkroot Garden. So we can put Pontiff Ring back on now. Love that ring. I feel like it might be something related to having tears equipped. It's the only thing that's different from normal for me, and I never had that effect before. Another one that doesn't open from the side. I would presume that's going to be Irithyll Dungeon related. Big thing is, what do I upgrade? I think the best thing to upgrade would probably be Drain Hammers. I could take them to plus six, which would be quite good. Mm -hmm. Lost a few bloodstains every now and then. But in the end, I just can't really afford to do anything up until I get access to... Up until I take down Wonder Pale Shade. And then I can freely get Absolution, get Uriah's questline back on track. But until that, I... There was another Pontiff Knight over here. It's just... Hmm. Did he just disappear? Or... Did I see a second where there wasn't a second? Either way, I need to go off left over here. That's going to be the way to... Maybe the next bonfire, but definitely next sun. This does seem like it might be Church of Yorshka. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a church, for sure. So what is over on this side? And the answer is nothing. How exciting. So this is the third bonfire at... To be fair, it's the first one that's actually deep in the area. And then, regret. Can you break these? Can't break the statues. Okay. So I will simply... Hmm. I think one of these is going to be a chameleon. Going to be an assassin or something. I know that eventually Omri will die, and we have to let that happen. But... One thing is, okay, we can get that. Probably would be a good idea, too. Proof of a Concord cap. Oh, that's cool. So, we have a couple of those already, I believe. Yeah, we have five, actually. That's impressive. From just random summonings. To be fair, in most of those cases, other people did do the work for us, but... I know better than to complain about something get getting something for free. So, everything around here... Roster of Knights. Okay, that's for Darkmoon stuff. This graveyard, I think, might be our way. 
But before that, I would like to upgrade Drang Hammers to a higher level. So we're going to head back to Firelink real quickly. Take our... Drang Hammers to... Plus six. The big thing is, we actually can't really see the scaling all that accurately. Because we don't meet the strength requirement. It's honestly really funny how that's worked out. So that'll increase the base damage by a decent deal. It's not each time to get to around... 20... Well, that's with refined infusion, which is different from normal already. Here we go. Cool. Should make things a little more doable. Just cast our tears upon area start. Going to Church of Yorshka. But, okay, let me check the phantoms one more time. PC phantoms. And that. Alva from Distant Manor. In the graveyard near Church of Yorshka. Okay. Then we could return to the bridge. Brighton and then. Then it would be Distant Manor. To the building, room of the Silver Knights. So once we go there, we gotta amper up real quick. That shouldn't be a huge problem. I do like how active Dark Souls 3 generally is. When you see those ember icons, or those human, humanity, whatever icons, well, embers are basically humanities. It indicates high levels of PF PvP activity in an area. Okay, so... Is this where your is, or... This place again? Okay, so clearly there's a drop-down, so we've seen... Actually, gonna open up a notepad document real quick, just to keep track of these things. Thank you, notepad. Okay, three locked doors. One drop down, two drop downs. That's what we're gonna have to look for. Okay, put that off on the side. Just gotta make sure that I find everything. Oh, T Blaine's, if you're still here. I know I talked about you before about possibly doing that multi-man Elden Ring run. And if that actually came to pass, as it hopefully would, I guess the question is, and I think I told you about the idea of basically being RPG classes, each focusing on one specific stat. I guess the question is, which one would you want? In the sense that I think I said that focus and... Focus wouldn't count. You couldn't really make a focus, focus build. But, and then vitality and endurance would kind of be combined. But other than that, hmm, maybe I should have used Karthus Flame Mark or something here. Yeah, probably. Well, whatever. And Brighton's supposed to invade somewhere around here. Blue Bug Palace. So I guess their swords are magic. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you could be kind of the buffer. Okay, interesting. Oh, or or strength, strength warrior. Fair enough. So Crichton is supposed to invade somewhere around here. Treasure ahead, therefore try. Oh, there he is. What an inconvenient location for us. Okay. Oh, and a Corbian. Oh, hi. Hello. And oh my goodness, you're strong. Okay. Just. Hmm. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I... I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think that would happen. Okay, many such, many such cases. Yeah, because I think... Given that having five or six people would make things kind of trivial... It would be good to both, well, A, keep friendly fire on, which would also just make things a lot more fun in my opinion. And then, in addition to that... Focusing on having a couple conditions for stat builds. One, getting our primary stat all the way to 99. And then trying to get enough of the other stats needed to... That is really weird. I don't know what's going on. To wield any weapon or item whose highest requirement is whatever stat we're building. So, for example, if you were doing a strength build... You would need or want 
enough strength to... Ooh. And no backstab. That's sad. Enough strength to... I mean, enough intelligence for the Ruins Greatsword. Enough... There we go. Enough faith for Malchus Black Blade and etc. In the end, it's just an idea. It wouldn't be strictly necessary, and I could very quickly see it leading to things being very, very difficult, especially since it would cut down our ability to build bigger. But given that we'd be able to have someone dedicated to buffs, a faith user, and a dedicated tank, I... Oh my... What? I... I did not intend to do that. I thought I had my stuff equipped. I keep forgetting about the two-handing. Well, whatever. And spin and slam. Thank you. That deals with him quite handily. Okay, cool. Come on, just... One, two, three, and slam. God bless the drain hammers. God bless these. Oh no, you imbecile! You cheat. On only, only player characters are supposed to use Estus. Dirty cheater. Okay. One and. Oh well. All right. Spin again and slam on you. Fun true combo and. Thanks, thanks. Not enough poise. Uh, get out of the way, of the hammers, huh? Okay, well, we can just do that combo again. God bless the maracas. Oh, and someone's out of Estus. Goodbye, Crichton. Yo, as long as we don't fall off a cliff. These things aren't that bad. That's the Dragon Slayer's Axe. Oh, an Undead Bone Shard. Oh, that's nice. I will say, though, that unless we're Ambered, I'm pretty sure that... We were already restoring all of our HP with a single flask. But it is what it is. So, time to go back and burn that thing real quick. So, there are two more relevant invasions. Well, one was one where we actually technically invaded in the sense that we got summoned to help. But there's going to be Alva and Wander Pale Shade over by Distant Manor. And after that, we can actually get Absolution and... Keep going with the Yuria quest line. This will. Plus seven. Wow. One fire level eight. So I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Feel free to take this time to hydrate real quickly or something. I'll be right back. Thank you.
Okay, I'm back. We emptied the tank. So, time to head back to Funky Irithyll and gotta get to Distant Manor. That's the idea. And there'll be two more invasions and we can get absolution. Oh, oh! T Boy is. This, it was leaked yesterday that when they put out Notlon, and I might have told you this, I don't think I did, that they might be adding a level level 100 level uncapped and Genshin is in a 7th ascension. And the big thing that came to mind for me and a lot of other people was the possibility of A7 passives as in a third passive for, new, for characters for any character, which would be a really good chance for much-needed buffs for characters like Dia and... I don't know, Chi-Chi, Amber. I was joking around about the possibility of Amber meta, which would make me happy. Okay. Those Corrigans are bulky. I... Yeah, yeah, the big thing is... I think... That for characters like Noelle, Barbara, and Chi Chi, if they gave them an A7 passive, there's a good chance, and I don't mean it in a bad way or a silly way, it's just I mean it in a balancing sense, just giving them particle gen on their E skill. And it would be silly to permanently lock it behind Ascension 7, but I think it's the only way that they can actually put in that significant of a change to the base kit, given the way the game tends to work. Okay, and these... Oh, uh, nothing in particular. I just... I fought off an invader. That's all, really. And, okay, oh my goodness. I... Die, die, dog, die, die, die. Okay. And that... How much is that gonna... Oh, that heals up a crazy amount. Yeah, yeah, I... I'm an, I'm an Amber fan. Or at least I was. I used her a lot at the start, just because I didn't have any other characters, really. And I... Anything that makes Amber good. Yeah. But we killed off... It was the same guy who showed up before, actually. Liar ahead, illusion ahead. Guess not. So, in other words, there was nothing of note in here. Other than a bunch of dogs trying to kill me. Dark Souls classic. But, as I said... And, oh, praise. Aha! There's nothing here, but... Get up on that ledge. I guess the big thing would be, and that one is the Nation of Pyro, but people are saying that what gets buffed is probably going to be less Pyro itself and more Cryo and Hydro, because they can react with it. And the only thing that really comes to mind would be stuff maybe incentivizing burning, or, I don't know, applying semi-permanent Pyro Wars on things to enable reactions like Melt and Vaporize. The idea of, vapor, of forward vaporize is, is and remains outright crazy, but big thing is, big thing is, and oh my goodness, lots of these invisible, visible dudes. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder if they wanted to buff Amber. I wonder what that, what would that, what that would actually look like in practice, what they could meaningfully do. Because Amber can be kind of useful in the sense that you can use her as a burgeon trigger without needing crazy high application. Because of the fact that... Okay, so if I start this early, it works. She can just target the bloom cores without having to worry about possibly hitting the enemy. But she's still not as good as, say, Toma. And it is really funny that Toma's arguably meta just because he's the only character at all who can really use burgeon. I don't dislike that. I actually did use him for an Abyss 36 star some time ago. Okay, and out of my way, out of my way. I don't even know what these guys are. What kind of enemies these guys are supposed to be. I don't even know what their name is. I think it might be Earthal Prisoners or something. I don't know. He's a fun guy. Okay. What I find interesting, and it was relevant because I had just done his hangout a few days before, but they mention him knitting sweaters in the little bit of storyline that the Rhythm Game event had. He talks with Yoimi about 
making sweaters for animals, which is one of the endings of the Hangout event. Okay, and what is that weird juice on the ground? Okay. So there's a ladder over there. Oh, hello, hello. Did not expect to see you here. And all that Estus is... Honestly, if I really wanted to, I could keep some Estus for emergencies and actually use... A healing spell for healing. I feel like that might be more efficient in the end, depending on how much focus I can use. It's a possibility, at least. Okay. Over. Gonna spit. Okay, you're gonna spit. Two, hit, and one. There we go. That did. Took fewer hits than it did the last time. I'm not sure what gives. Okay. Honestly, I could be using Deep Soul for this, but there's so many of them that I wouldn't want to waste that much FP. Hi, hello. Two, three, four. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Okay. And we got you over here. You over there. And we've already got pretty much all the souls we lost back. It's nice. Silver Ring does help, but that isn't all of it, I imagine. Okay, get a few more of those, and I wonder where that ladder is actually going to lead. Two, three, four, and what is- Oh, what? What? Huh? Okay. Interesting. Maybe I should have checked the roof. It said, I think they just dropped down from the rafters. Okay, well, guess who's out of Estus? Me. No, it depends on whether I get to Profane Capital or not. Because the two mimics are in Profane Capital. And that's the one, that's when he can hit both with a single undead hunter charm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It would be nice if I could do it, but it relies on me, like I said, getting through Irithyll, Irithyll dungeon and profane capital with in a decent amount of time. That said, I'm not having nearly as much trouble with this as I was with profane capital. And wait, do they not take fall damage? Oh, they don't take fall damage. Interesting. Okay. And I don't think they're climbing up, though, but... Where is... Oh! Invisible. Classic. The classic invisible enemy. Okay. Yeah. The big thing, t boys, is that... If I did... When we hopefully did do that playthrough eventually of Elden Ring with six people. Five or six people in co-op. Well, it would definitely be after the DLC comes out. And almost certainly have the deal do the DLC content. And I'm wondering how that might change up a faith build, because the little bit we saw in the trailer seems to imply that we might be getting sleep related incantations. Which, if that's the case, would be really, really cool. Which would also mean the ability for you or whoever plays Faith to abuse one of the better statuses in the game. Because when I fought Godskins with my Pure Sorcerer build, the only reason I was able to beat it, and it was only really a Pure Sorcerer build in the sense that I only leveled up Intelligence and Focus, but I was able to use... Oh, thank you. Thanks. I was able to use... the short bow with some Sleep Bone arrows, even at base stats for the Astrologer. And that was the only reason I was able to beat Godskins. And I found out that I could have cheesed it even harder by putting both of them to sleep, and then lining up Comet Azure to hit them both at once, because what I did was put the big one asleep and use Stars of Ruin on the skinny one, and then use Comet Azure to just blast the big one. So that could have made things even better. But it is what it is in the end, and it really does seem like there isn't anything relevant here. Wow, okay. This doesn't seem like an illusory wall, so is this just a place where dudes would drop down and try to kill me? It's kind of sad. Well, okay, at least we know there's nothing there. Or that if there is something there, that we found it. That said, there was, there was this drop down over here, so... Let's check that out real quick, and... So what besides... Oh, I guess this is just an alternate route down here. Well, alright, I assume that fall would be fatal. Yeah, that fall is definitely fatal. Sad. And yeah, this just led to the other side, so that was a whole amount... A whole lot of time spent for basically nothing, but... Okay, there's another drop down over there. 
wonder what... Okay, now we're on this side of Irithyll. I think Distant Manor might be around here. Okay. Which should mean that those invasions would hopefully be coming up soon. Hello, friend. Hello. Hi. One, two, three, four. Funny hammer. So what else? I hear a crystal wizard down there. Oh, so just gotta go back around and through and that should do it. Hello, friend. One, two, three, four, and crush you. So what else and where to hear that crystal wizard? The other drop down is enemy ahead, hidden path ahead, and this will lead to this crystal wizard. Hello, hello. And you were staying still. That's good, actually. So there's another guy off on the side. This really is kind of feeling like a lamb voice. Two, three, four, and one just made that ungodly shriek. What did it do? I feel like something might be running around to get me then. Okay. There's one around the corner, so it's good that I check. And dodge it. Oh my goodness. Okay, the big thing is we don't want to die, because that means having to use another ember to activate the other invasions. That over there. Another drop down and... What is... Oh, okay. So one of you can use magic. Interesting. I did not see that coming. You're over here, so... One, two, three, four, and... Okay, alright. Thanks. And... Some pretty... Weak homing soul masses. Okay, hi. One, two, three, four. So what was their deal? Okay, a blood gem. I do want to check that drop down real quick. Silver cat ring would make me immune to fall damage. And okay. There's water over here, and I believe that indicates distant manor. Hmm. See this. Also, the possibility of Another Scarlet Rot incantation besides Scarlet Aeonia. That would be cool, too. Okay, so, let's put on Silver Cat again to handle these drops. And, okay, there's nothing here. Sad. Drop down again and land light on our feet. Exciting. Put on Right Eye again, and the question is... Go down there and there's... Oh, are those the leech guys again? That is going to suck. That said, I could probably just avoid that and use... Bonfire. Oh, but if we're Ambered, we might get invaded by Alva here already. That would not be pleasant. Green Blossoms. Okay. So I'm going to have to equip Fire Orb or something for all that. Deal with those couple of leech guys. They are very weak to bleed, though, so it's something I could try using. Well, aside from the fact that I don't really have any usable bleed weapons right now. So is the distant manor over here, or... I see enemies. Hmm. Some back on that side, so I'll need to check that. If only we had something like Rusted Iron Ring in Dark Souls 3. That would be really, really nice. And I think that, I think that would be the manor. I think. I see some kind of fire over there, so I'm presuming that'd be a bonfire. Try jumping, and somehow I don't get the idea that that's actually the case. This screen ahead. Try jumping. Maybe I'll do that after I... After I kill these invaders and don't need that ember anymore. Well, that said, having more HP is always good, so. We got tears, I think, after that. Put on Fire Orb. That's your best pyromancy right now, and the enemies over there would be some of those leeches. Oh, it's one with Firelink Greatsword, so they've been going through the game for a while then. It'd have to be on New Game Plus or higher, unless they just had someone drop a... Soul of the Lords for them, which I suppose is a possibility. So definitely we're going down there eventually, but is that... What could be up top there? Maybe more Pontifice? It's a possibility. 
That said, if I run into multiple Pond of Beasts, I'm just gonna spam Pyromancies. So the big thing is... The other invaders are around here. It's from the Distant Manor Bonfire, which means... Go down the stairs and outside the building on the small path to Irithal Dungeon. Pale shade, turn left to enter the water area, right turn past the enemies to enter the building. Room with the Silver Knights. Okay. So I suppose that'll mean having to deal with Silver Knights. Okay, dash. Hmm. Something over here, and that is... Just a few green blossoms. Alright. So, so... Okay, so we're down another bit of water. And then... Knights over somewhere, and what is that? A cursed thing. Okay, and... Well, alright, i not sure what that's supposed to be. And do I, I do have both equipped, which is good. Okay, and just... Hmm. How can I engage this thing? One, two, three, four, at least, at least. They stagger pretty easily, and they might be weak to bludgeoning specifically. Not entirely sure. Yeah, the sooner we get invaded by Pale Shade, the sooner I can just get Absolution and be done with that. Oh, dodging that way does not work. Okay, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Dodge it. Dodge to the side, not forward. I mean, not backward. So it'll just roll catch. Got rid of the big bugs, and... Somewhere, somewhere... There will be Silver Knights, and therefore... Oh, hello, hello. Or we can just attack you before you actually do your attack. No dodging necessary. Hello there, hello. Stash in, hit you a couple of times, and... The question is, are those leeches, or are those... The bugs. Hello there, hello, and just dodge it. Okay, we messed that up again. Come on, just... Oh, please. I needed to get rid of that. Dunk by, dunk by, and... Okay, whatever. Die, die, die. Okay. Drop a good amount of souls, too, actually. But is this actually the right place to be, or is this... What is that thing? Is that a... Okay, it's just... These are just more bugs, so... This is not a problem in the slightest. Then... Ah, oh, friend, you don't deserve this. So is someone gonna drop their armor set there, or is it just a comment on the futility of actually fighting them? Oh! The poop ashes! Okay. It might, it might come as a surprise to you what that lets you buy. Okay, okay. The answer is poop. You can use those ashes to buy poop. Okay. Thank you. This be a love. Oh, so Sigward should show up here, but the answer is always poo. It sucks, but it's true. So in that case, but he hasn't he hasn't shown up here. What did I fire ahead? So in the building there should be past the room with silver knights. Wandor pale shade. Well, Wandor pale invade. So, there is, hmm, that's an Estus, but, what if we try sneaking up on this guy? What if? Can we, oh, well, there we go, there we go. Got a bit down, and someone is shooting at me from behind, so we should fight in this area over here. I, okay, alright, dodge, and, one, two, and, okay. It's actually quite staggerable. Dodge and one, two, three, four. Slam and then a couple more hits and okay, well, alright. Hmm. Couple more and hit. Okay, well. I would have died, but my tears popped. And this is why this spell is good. Okay. So that's the closest thing to actual durability we can get. And, yeah, oh, yeah, it's insane. I, it honestly took me a bit to remember it, because 
I might have mentioned before, but my first Dark Souls experience was a friend playing... Okay, well, actually, I should avoid these guys for now. I'll try to get Wanderer Pale Shade to show up as soon as possible, and then just kill him. And then... Then I can go through the area a bit more freely. And all that would be somewhere else. If we go up the stairs, I think. I'm supposed to invade on these stairs, I believe. So. Invaded by. Oh, well, dogs. That's really bad timing, don't you think? So, where is he? Hello, hello, dogs. One, two, and. Knock you down. Thanks, and... Where's the other dog? Human Firefly? It's the effect of a spell called Tears of Denial, which gives you a single free revive. As in, single chance to not die when you would otherwise die. Which is an incredibly good spell. It's incredible. Dodge and... Okay, well, one, two. Chain our spin, and thanks... Are you gonna... What are you gonna do? One, two, three... Slam. Thank you very much. One. And just... One, two, three, and... Oh, well, alright. I... That was dumb. Okay. I thought I could interrupt that affinity cast. It was not the case. Spin and kill the Pale Shade, and... There we go. Yeah, it... I didn't even think about that, but it's basically a Zelda Fairy. Thank you for bringing that up. I didn't even think about that. Okay, well, the big thing is, I can get Absolution now. I can get Absolution now. And then I can actually level up again. So, we have freed ourselves of one of the sillier things we had to be doing. Which means it's time to go back to Undead Settlement real quick. And what would the fastest way... Okay, Dilapidated, dilapidated Bridge would be the fastest way to the Velka Monument. And then we can actually talk to Yuri again. Exciting. So I feel a little justified in waiting as long to actually level up as I did. And losing that bloodstain. Actually, I feel less justified about that part, but, you know. So let's kill this rat. Hi, and okay. One, one, what, 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 oh, but we, wrong thing, wrong thing. Right, okay. One, two, three, dead rat. Lots of dead rats. It'd be really funny if we lost that giant bloodstain here. Good thing it didn't happen. So somewhere around here is... Well, there are more rats. Let's get rid of them. All rats. And... Dead rat. Go down here. Velka Monument. No fall damage, even though there was a ladder. And get Absolution. Dissolution. No, I don't need that. I don't care about that. I've got the ring. Oh, 50,000. Well... Because it was... Oh, so it's a thousand times level. I thought it was 500 times level. Well, there we go. So we had just enough, more or less. And so we killed Pellshade enough times. We haven't sinned anymore. Yay, Dark Souls Catholicism. So then we can return to Yuria. And actually get the Pellshade set. Because it spawns in right by her, which makes it really funny. Because normally, if you're just killing Pale Shade to try to get the set, you probably have to kill her too, or except being killed by her to pick it up. But, we can pick it up for free, and then also do the remainder of the Lord of Hollow's questline. So, I'll go back here real quick. I'm gonna have a tiny bit of popcorn real quick. Some of the rest in the bag. White cheddar cheese corn is one of the reasons I'm still alive what I live for. As you can see, down around here, you've got a corpse with the Pale Shade set. The Sneering Mask and the Pale Shade set. Is that the mannequin set from... I don't think it is. Let's see real quick. Pale Shade Robe. Those who kill in the name of the Sable Church. All undying hoes. Rise so much fear and content. Neither honor nor exultation. You'll be nothing but withered moans. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Sneering Mask. Kindly small body with surface, Monica Harlots of Death. Darkly shriveled hollow. Which implies, I suppose, that Wander Pale Shade might be a woman. Lord of Hollows, can we buy anything else right now? We 
Dark Hand is useless. Guess we could buy this, though we don't need it. Which means we got this and this and this and this. I think we need to buy all of Orbeck's spells to make him vanish, because eventually Yuria will demand his death. American Weed. Fine work, Irithyll, Day's Work. Moon Worship Nobles, Pack with Treasure. But I can find, send the village, find choice. Worthy of that name. Okay. Talk. Okay, so we need to send Patches over to rescue him, I believe. But I think we might need to reload the area first. I'm going to talk to Patches real quick just to see. But Patches can be sent to go and rescue Gryrat. Rayrat. Otherwise, he'll just die over in Irithyll. And we don't want that to happen, especially because if he dies in Wathford Castle, which is the third area, that death, that death is inevitable, but the Azure Seal drops will give more items. Patch of score, Boutique of Wonders, Sumptuous Selection. Rod, Rod, Wathford Dungeon, dead or maybe not, still standing. Okay, so once we reload things, we'll be able to get that going. And will this kill us? It won't kill us, that's good. Yeah, it... Back when I still regularly ate sweets, I was a big, very big caramel popcorn person. I'm not anymore, but that's mostly just because I don't really eat sugary foods. But what's really good is, oftentimes they'll call it Chicago corn, because it's big in Chicago. It's cheese corn, cheddar cheese corn mixed with caramel corn. I used to, I used to be obsessed with that specific blend of popcorn. It's really, really good. So all of it's supposed to invade here and then drop the Murakumo. Oh, it's, it's delicious. There are a few things more delicious, frankly. And oh my goodness, you, wow, okay. Two and just one, two, what? You're, you're kidding. And you immediately followed up and, what? You're kidding. So now we need Amber again. Stupid. Yeah. At least we didn't have a Bloodstain to lose that time, but still, I just... Uh, okay. We're starting... Well, we probably should have waited until destroying that enemy encounter before using another Amber, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So, a couple of guys over this way, and a... Pontiff Knight over here, so let's just take you down. Goodbye. And the others will come back to try to get a gank up, but it doesn't work if we just kill the guy already. That's fair. I... I eat a good amount of fruit. That's the sugary stuff I eat, but... And it does have a decent amount of sugar, but... Frankly, I'm very much of the mind that a lot of unhealth in food is related to processing... Which I think is a decently accurate opinion, but... Oh, goodness, I... Alright. It's about tears, but... Once you go outside, I think that's what makes all the show up. Okay, and really? We got a second grab. A second grab. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Once all the shows up, we can hopefully try that out, but... One, two... Finally, the Fire Witch is dead. Well, in that case, all I have to do is pick the fruits and eat them. It's up to you. Oh, but I... Mm -mm. Come on, just one, two, three, four. It should be another one on the other side. Just tighten that short and a... So there you are, there you are, okay. What was that icon? Okay, okay. Oh, right, because they're all at home and you're not usually at home. That makes sense. That's... What are all the fruits you have access to, actually? I'm curious. So, in that case, we... Griffle Dungeon is around down here, and... I think all of this should invade. That's a fun sound. All the, all the, all the... Okay, there we go. All the Seeker of the Spurned. Hello there, hello, and just spin and... Oh, what? Okay! Interesting. I was not expecting that. Let's run away and see if we can't use our tears. How far are you gonna 
Okay, that's good. We can actually use that pretty well. Oh, but the question is just, can we... One, two, three, and... Oh, but we don't have enough Ash and Estes to use the skill. That was stupid. Two, and... Oh, wow, okay. Hmm. Interesting. I... Oh, please, that... It's a very strong crossbow, too. Okay. One, two, three, and slam. Okay. Hmm. Can you use any Estes or what? One, two, oh, but I don't want you to fall off. That's the thing. One, two, spin and slam and just... What are you doing now? What are you doing now? And just slam down or not. Or not. Slam and spin. Goodbye. And that is the sum total of all the dark spirits we have to deal with. At least for now. Well, there's... In theory, we need to be Ambered. Oh, they're insane. And God bless them. They're the only thing that really allow me to actually fight here. They're definitely overpowered, but when you have such a dull, really crap build as I do, I need to take every little advantage I can get. But, as I was saying... And how much do I need for my next level up? 15102? Okay, well... So I'm gonna go back this other way. There's dungeon, and then... There should be a couple of other bonfires. The big thing is that I can actually freely... Okay, so there are two more invasions, one in Intended Graves and one in Painted World that I need to be Ember for, but by that time it shouldn't really be important. No, that's still a while off. But in addition to that, there's some more in Ring City, but none of those, they invade you Ember or no, that's not something I'm worried about. Good plan. Gotta summon Gothard and... Hmm. Gothard and Pale Shade before Pontiff. Either way, we're... We're in a good position now. We are in a very good position now. So I'm gonna go back around this way. I missed a few things, and I didn't go as far as I could in that area with the Silver Knights. So I'm gonna go back, get that item from those giant bugs, which actually, now that I think about it, this area doesn't remind me as much of a lamb boy, so it kind of does, because it's got streets, but it reminds me just as much of Canehurst from Bloodborne, in the specific sense that, and, hello, okay, that one's already dead. They have all these giant bugs, because they have the blood liquors in Canehurst, and a lemon tree, there we go. Orange, apricot, laurel trees, cherries, grafted. Oh, like Godric from Elden Ring. Okay. Lemon tree. Railroad. Interesting. The thing about that laurel tree is that if you wanted to, you could definitely use it for... Oh, and a mangrove and this. Oh, great heals on the mangrove. That's cool. I can't use great heal, though, I imagine. Yeah. I would need a lot more for that. What's its description, though? Let's see real quick. Great heal, epic talents entirety, those who do are amply rewarded, is that... I bet you could use those laurel leaves for cooking. If you like using bay leaves in cooking, that could be a good way to use that laurel. That said, if I recall correctly, well, with all those mulberries, blackberries... Mulberries are toxic, right? Only birds can eat them? Okay, okay. As in, use your own laurels? That's really, really cool. Because occasionally we grow tomatoes and chili peppers that we'll use, but nothing like a whole laurel tree. But if I recall correctly, some laurel species are poisonous, so I was gonna... No, that's right. That's right. Typically in English... They're referred to as bay leaves, but they come from the bay laurel, so referring to them as the laurel leaves isn't isn't incorrect. So yeah, that would be fair up there, and I guess that would be Cathedral of the Deep, presumably. Okay, okay. I might be confusing them with gooseberries then, most likely. Okay, okay. Interesting. Next chance I get to upgrade, I get a little bit more endurance. I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna get 
all my stats to 20 by the end of the game. Even with the DLC. Because that would be good. That would be quite useful. In particular, it would hopefully allow me to use Black Fire Orb on Dancer later on. Which would be really, really useful, but it's all about actually getting the spell. And getting the stats to use it. Well, because we'll be able to free Carla once we get the key from Profane Capital, but not planted. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So the laurels were just already there. Small apples and... Huh. So, what would you say that your favorite is, or the one you get the most use out of? And over there, and... You're gonna rear up, or not. And we'll just crush you again. Thank you. Green Blossom, and... Hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, I bet those would be really good. That said, the only cherries we have in the house are cocktail cherries from from my dad makes an old-fashioned or something like that. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Little bug again. Mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. Stop, stop climate change for the sake of Italian cherry trees. Okay, but Sigurd should be here. Sigurd of Katarina. Then, bugs in. Oh, in a well outside cleansing chapel. Oh, huh. Patches in return. Mmm, mmm, okay. That's where he is. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can unlock another bonfire and then find him here. Because, okay. Because if we do his quest line, we'll get him to help out with another boss fight later, among other things. And then... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going and see if I can't find another bonfire around here. Wait, oh! These Silver Knights are a one-time only spawn. That's interesting. At least that one. Is there anything else over this way that I can find? Gotta find a way to fight that guy without getting hit by the arrows. Go past that and... How many of these are... Mimics? Let's see. Okay, so that's actually a normal chest. Divine Blessing. Okay, I know there are a couple in the dungeon. Oh, Smose Hammer. And... Okay, but... Is the tree still alive at least? Leo Ring. Oh, cool. So this is... It's not the same as the Ornstein and Smo. Smo one, but... Ornstein and Smo room. So how do I want to... Hmm, hello. Hi. So what if I... Oh, my... What? Okay. Cool. Oh, but I stole my tears up. That's cool. Just stay away, stay away. Hmm, hmm. Wait, wait, so is it dead, or...? Is your bow, or... Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, well, oh, well, and... One, two, three, four... Overhead slam, and just roll away. Can't continue that combo all that well, so we just... Go and kill, thank you very much, and two large Tide Knight Shards. How much? Okay, so there's one over that way, and what else is here? Hello there, hello. These guys aren't- Oh, what? Okay, okay, I wasn't expecting a lightning attack. Interesting. Okay, and- Okay, what? Interesting, and- Watch it- Oh, please, please, I- Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should cast tears. Just do an attack. Do an attack. I dare you. I dare you. Just go and cast tears or something. And there we go, and just- Okay, dodge, dodge. What? Are we just... We were trapped. We were just trapped. Okay. So in theory, if the climate improves, you might be able to get more fruit from it again. That would be good. Okay. So just one, two, and three, four, and another overhead slam. And if we can get that combo to connect again, we'll be good. Just dodge and one, two, three, four. Finally. Okay. 
two more large die match shards, and now we have we have eight. So I could take something else to plus eight then. Question is, I mean plus six, plus six. Oh yeah, I was not expecting that lightning attack. Downright insane. Let's use cheers again, and what's really nice about this is that it means I can take better advantage of the HP bonus from using an ember. Okay, I think there's something there. Okay, so Irithal Dungeon is down. It's a side area. When we fought that Alva guy, that was the entrance there. We'll go back in a bit. That said, Pontiff. Pontiff is more relevant. I think we need to find... We should try to find another bonfire first. Okay, dogs are coming. Dogs are coming. Hi, dogs. Hello. Just dodge out of the way. Hit the dog. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Kill the kill the dogs. Kill the dogs. Okay, good. Okay. Not much damage. Wait, another another dog? Oh, that one just didn't actually die. So something is shooting magic at us from somewhere. Okay. So another one of those cloaked guys. Okay. So I'll take you out and... Oh, there, hello. One, oh, two, three. Okay, and that was not enough for a stagger, which is good. So, let's just dodge out of the way and move in and... Oh my goodness, dogs? Dogs here? Now? What? What? Okay, I... Oh my goodness, I... Okay, we need to heal real quick and... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, just... Can I, can I, they didn't fake their death, they didn't fake their death, but it's just, the dogs are annoying, that's what's going on. And just two, and now that you've been knocked down, we can just do that again, and got a lot of uses of tears if we need. Yeah, I, I was proud of myself in a certain sense. So I will simply, and does that dog have some kind of buffer? What? Hmm. We use the area over there. We could. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Die. Okay. So we're all out of normal S's. I would say that maybe actually using miracles for healing during non-boss fight situations might be a good idea. That said, it's a practicality question. Hi. Hello. One, two, and. So what else is going to be over here? Either way, not having to deal with those silver knights is going to be nice eventually, but... And, oh, dog! Hello. Two and... Mm, okay. Die. Die. What? What? Okay. So how am I going to... Oh my goodness. I... I could try... No! No! Ah, oh, dang it. How'd that guy even hit me? He had one of sight? Did he move, or...? Those guys don't usually move at all. Literally. Sniping's a good job, mate. Good work, out of doors. Promise we'll never be out of work. I can't do an Australian accent. Okay. Yeah, exactly. TF2 stream when. TF2 stream. TF2 stream when. Eventually. Okay. These are tears. So every ash in ash in Solhask is one use of tears. Makes me a shot more focus. I mean, more attunement, more attunement. Mm -hmm. Big thing is, we don't need to worry about killing, killing those silver knights again ever. So. Mm -hmm. So I could upgrade. It's a plus four actually, which means I should. Next time I'm at a bonfire and can go back to Firelink, I should focus on upgrading. I should upgrade my power from at least a little. Oh my goodness, I- what? What? Okay. Does not expect me to get into a roll. I wasn't trying to roll. Okay. Hello there, friend. Giant bug. The long hair on that makes me wonder if those bugs weren't originally human women or something. It's possible. And, oh my goodness, I- thank you, thank you. I- With all the souls I've lost and how quick these enemies are to kill, I feel we somewhat obligated to actually try killing them every time I run through, especially since it shouldn't be too many runs now. Depends on how much Estus I end up using. Big thing is, 
No more silver knives, so I'll have a lot more assets dealing with all these dogs and some such. That said, if I'd taken some kind of soul arrow or soul drags or I guess I could try using You know what, I think I will. I think I will use Fire Orb on the dogs. Because they really, really suck. Yep, no silver knight up there anymore. Good stuff. Since the dog shows up, we start tossing fire at him. Come on, come on. Get over here. Don't think you get really dodgy, so... Fire and... Oh, but... Interesting. That isn't as good as I might have expected. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodging. Out of my way. Out of what? What? Excuse me? Huh? Huh? Alright. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Right. That is a full restoration. Kind of crazy, honestly. Either way, the tracking isn't all that good, so as long as we stay moving, we're not getting hit, but come on, just out of the way. Okay, before the dogs show up, we can just dodge Oh my goodness. Just, oh please. And one, two, three, and oh my goodness. Oh, please, please. Uh, come on, just heal, heal. And no! No! Stupid, stupid dogs. It's... Honestly, once I get over there, I should... Switch to Soul Sword Twin Blades. Because the big issue is... When I'm using the hammers, I literally can't use them with a shield up. Because I don't meet the strength requirement, which... Frankly, it would make more sense if I couldn't use them at all, because it's just wielding two, but... For whatever reason, Dark Souls 3, again, lets you use paired weapons. Doubled, even if you don't need strength requirement, because you get the additional 50 strength for wielding. If you do it that way, because... I don't know, either they didn't think about it, or it was a dual bird balance choice, who knows? Either way, it works for me. But... Cell Sword, I can wield one-handed, which means it's just one curved sword. But it means I could use it with the shield, which would really, really help with the dogs. It, this, this is why I have multiple weapons. This is why I have multiple weapons, which means I really should be availing myself of them. Either way, I do need to go back to Cathedral of the Deep and free Sigurd, so... We will get around to that once I unlock another bonfire, hopefully, or... I don't know, maybe get a shortcut to the Path of Pontic or something. That's the question, whether... There'll be another bonfire before Pontiff. Okay. So now that the bugs are dead, we'll switch to our sharp cell sword twin blades and put our shield up. Use the shield to walk the dogs and then just cut them up a couple of times, and that's how you deal with annoying mob enemies. Okay. May God have mercy. May God have mercy on little old me. And do these. It's so funny that just a simple roll makes that entire table shatter into pieces, and also just... It's funny how cleanly that upholstery breaks. you think that fabric would tear a bit more roughly, but I guess not. So... Dog's here now. Hello, dogs. Wait, what? Oh, is in breaking the chair. That's funny. I didn't know you were a... Pro wrestling fan. Okay. Oh, we forgot to put up tears. That's right. That could have been bad. Okay, there we go. Okay. I remember when people really liked doing that whole Mankind and the under Undertaker and Hell in a Cell meme. So that actually, I guess they're just weaker to slash. Maybe. One, two, three, and oh my. What? Okay, so I cannot even try to kill that mage guy before the dogs, because the dogs will immediately come and just kill me. Alright. Interesting. I know, I saw someone say offhand. Yeah, I always... I cannot afford to not focus on the dogs. That... Male streamers like me... 
should try to do something like WWE in the sense of focusing on competitive games within a group and doing sort of fake beef for the sake of entertainment. And for what it's worth, once we finish up with all the actual normal objectives in Dawncraft, Larry and I are probably going to go to war, basically, and just start boiling up each other's stuff. But we'll see how it works. We'll see how that happens. I mean, in the end, it's... I don't think we could really convincingly pretend to hate each other. That said, once Dawncraft is done, I think... We'll be doing a Dokapon Kingdom long campaign with a couple of other guys, which that would lead to real beef. It is the friendship destroying game. So that could lead to some interesting, interesting incidents, but we'll see. Put that back on and. Right, I could actually put on pants. Or shoes, given how much less the twin blades weigh. So we're going back, we've got our buff up. Let's not die to the dogs these time this times. Yeah, exactly. Well the big thing is is I spent five years with Larry. It's one thing to do acting stuff with people you don't really know or doing stuff purely professionally with. But I don't mean it in a sense of I'm worried about the friendship. I mean in the sense of if I wanted to pretend to hate him, I don't know where I'd start. <laughs> okay, and just... Oh, goodness, we got, got shredded. Come on, die. Die and die and... Oh, my... What? Oh, my lord. Come on, just die, die and... Thank you, thank you. Okay. So let's get that big old blood scene back and kill this guy over here. And... Oh, my goodness. One, two, three... Well, that's the issue, is that we usually like the same food. Okay. We get along too well for that. The only time we could get that kind of thing going is in a Dokapon Kingdom game, where we actually ended up hating each other. Which might actually not be... Which would not exactly be the same. It would probably get more toxic in a way that might not actually be entertaining. We'll see. We'll see. So dog's over here, and... Oh, the dog doesn't see me right now. Well, now it does. Okay, cool. Get over here. Thank you, thank you. One, two, three. Yeah, I do too. It's a shame that they reduce its distribution in Generation 7, though. Even though even though I do understand why it was done for balance. Okay, and... Oh my goodness, I need to... I need to heal real quick. And, no! Again? Again? How does that guy even... How does he even... He literally didn't even have line of sight. Oh, stupid. Okay. The definition of insanity is making the same mistake again and again and expecting different results. That's what I'll say. So it's time to pop tears again. It's just... Uh, honestly, if I'd instantly healed, if I'd immediately healed instead of trying to run away, I don't think I would have died there. Okay, the big thing is, I gotta get to the church with... Oh, but I'm pretty sure I need to kill Pontiff first. Before. Before the church. Before the scene with Henri. So in that case, I won't be able to use Henri's sword for the Pontiff fight. That said, Cell Sword would be good. If I focused on parrying, which I probably would do, I... I'm pretty sure that... Let me just check. Is it... It just says Slash, but I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that the... Repost animation for... Cell Sword is still... Thrust damage? I'm not entirely sure, because it is... Stabbing the sword in the enemy. That said, given that it's still... Given how cutting-oriented it is, it might still just be a... Oh my goodness. How did that bang off the ceiling? I was that close. But given that... Hmm, the big thing is that Pontiff Sullivan is a hard boss. Pretty infamously hard, especially on higher new game cycles. But a number of his attacks, most of his attacks are parryable, and some of them are relatively easy to parry, quote-unquote. 
So I think I'm gonna have to try pairing him. And he's somewhat weak to fire, so what I'd probably do is take Tears, take Karthus Flame Arc, and put Karthus Flame Arc on the sword. And then Tears of Denial just for the buff. And then spamming him as much as possible when I've got the opportunity. And then trying to go for parries, maybe? Or I could honestly just go for parries and then try to blitz him down when he's doing his phase transition. He's a tough boss who hits like a truck, and I am weak and fragile, so I'm going to have to really try to get him down. We'll see. And just... Oh, goodness. I, all right. All right. Come on, just one... Okay, goodness. Come on, attack me. I... Yeah, it... It's truer than I might like. The annoying thing is that somehow that dog... Somehow that dog hit past my shield. It's not enough for dogs to basically teleport. They have to sometimes break your shield, too. That's what Dark Souls 3 said. That's what they said. Come on. Come on. Okay. So the dogs are coming. Dogs are coming. And... Come on, just... Get over here. Get over here. Oh, I should probably have the other... Cre no, actually, both Crest Shield actually resist magic the same amount. The change they made in Dark Souls 3 was making... The other Crest Shield resist dark damage more. That's right. Okay. So that one's dead. They're dog lovers and me haters. They love the dogs and hate me, which is why they let the dogs just absolutely brutalize me all the time. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. And then, so the question is, what if I... Okay, so this is a spot where I can not get hit by either of those, so I'll just... Kill that dog real quick and oh my goodness, I okay, die, 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 die. What 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 die die okay, cool. Heal, heal. That was closer than I would have liked. One, two, and so where can I go to avoid getting hit? And oh, there was just a third one, or wait, is that a third one or a Okay, that was just the other one. So its position was a bit different than I expected. Mainly because I couldn't see it all that well. So is there going to be another bonfire I can use? I'm begging, I'm praying. Can I even use that elevator right now? Arm required, large titanite shard. That sounds a little brutal, huh? Illusion ahead, and... Is there... Wait, what? Oh, it just kind of looks like a fog wall. So where will this take me? Where is this going? This is... Where is this a shortcut to? This is... Oh, there are Pontiff Knights right here, and this is... What is... It's a shortcut back to... Distant Manor? Oh, I think this is... Church of Yorshka. That's Church of Yorshka right over there. So this would be a shortcut back... Over this way from Church of Yorshka. That's cool. Hmm... So I would presume that Pontiff is going to be relatively soon, I think. I think this is where Pontiff is. Maybe in... I think maybe past this cathedral. Ambush ahead. Down here we can drop down and get this. Take a little bit of damage. Take a large Titanite Shard. Okay, I guess the question is, I might be able to get a free cast off of... Tears of Denial at a bonfire and then heal it. I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, is... Oh, hello there. Hi. Hi. One, two, three, and... Oh, goodness, I... All right. One, two, three. So going up this way was a very good idea. Yep, those ones are weaker. Good stuff. So what is on the other side that I was trying... Oh, hello, hello. Wasn't expecting you. Hmm. But, oh, lots more of these guys. Lots more of these guys. Two and three and... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we should actually... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's go back to our paired attacks. One, two, three, four. Good stuff. Good stuff. One, two, and... Oh, you're here. One, two. Another one right there. Soul Sword is... It's faster, and it might be a bit better at base. 
in a certain sense, but Drang Hammers, they've got more stagger and their damage base is a little better. And also, Cell Swords are, even if you evenly scale your strength and your dexterity, Sharp Infusion still outperforms, so it's not getting as much out of your strength as the Drang Hammers do. They're very much a purely dex weapon as opposed to Drang Hammers, which or at least can be a quality weapon if you use them right. So I hear, is that a knight up there? That is a knight up there, okay. So let's put our hammers back on. See if we can get this guy down. Okay, just, I see him, hear him chasing me. Hi, okay. Hello, hello. And just dodge it. Hammers, hammers, and, oh my goodness, okay. What, what, what? Huh? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So that's one of those. Down. Two locked doors. A couple more we need to find, but it's not crazy crazy. So we take our swords back on and we go to... We're gonna test out seeing if we can... Will the bonfire remove the tears effect? The bonfire will not remove the tears effect. Only reloading an area will. Actually, in that case, if that's already happened, uh, I can at least go to Cathedral, Cathedral of the Deep right now and help him out of. Oh, but we had to go to Cleansing Chapel, help him out of the well, help Sigurd out of the well, and then do his quest line. Good old sellsword wind blades. There's some chapel. And he's supposed to have been dumped in the well right outside. Hmm. Alright. Put our hammers back on briefly, I think. And just beat out the hollows right outside. Help Sigurd out of the well. Which presume would be right here. Ah, there you go. Oh, goodness. How are we gonna help him? Me. Talk. Well, I've been Sigurd. Been had swapped my armor. See it anywhere. Haven't seen it. See, planning. Great fortune. Got a really master planner. Then, yep. Pickle, replacement, head and think. So we gotta give him. He's a friend indeed. Gotta go back and buy the armor from Patches then, which means... We gotta go back and get our blood stain. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm gonna go back to Church of Yorshka. That should be good. And once that's all done and dusted, we can rescue him, talk to him briefly again in Irithal, and then hopefully take down Pontiff. We'll see. Frankly, this is going better than Smoldering Lake. The enemies aren't nearly as ridiculous as they were. Just... The jumping Gru were some of the most obnoxious enemies I have faced in any video game ever. Okay, Pontinets over there, but they don't see me. That's good. So before we lose something, let's actually just take this and... Oh, wait! Oh, wait. Is this... Oh, but we would have been able to get... We could have dropped down normally. The issue is... That's a bottomless pit. Oh, they were. They were a lot of fun. Oh, but I needed to... That's right. Forgot to put my tears up. Okay, die and... Die. Die, die and... Die. Oh my, oh my, oh my lord. I... Please, please. Let's put my tears up and... Come on, come on. There we go, and... Goodness, goodness. Da dog, da dog, da dog. Oh my, oh my, oh my lord. And what? No! That whole blood scene's gone now. You're kidding. It's the dumbest thing. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> okay. And the stupidest thing is that I deliberately checked to make sure that I could use tears at a bonfire and get all the all the FP back. 
Stupid, stupid. Well, you know, that's one way to prevent overleveling. It's just... Okay, I... Unless I'm actively about to fight an armored enemy, I can't afford to try using the hammers. Because I can't use them with a shield. And if I don't have a shield, the dogs just kill me. There's nothing I can do against the dogs if I don't have a shield. It just... So annoying and hmm. weirdly strong with magic too. I right. come on, you. Okay, two and of course you just stupid, stupid. Well, then usually you can rely on making it work, but it's just sometimes they bypass the shield because of jank, which is stupid. There's no excuse for that. It, it's not an attack that would logically be shield-piercing, it's just, for whatever reason, the hitboxes line up in a stupid way. But, yeah. Well, that's really annoying, because it means that getting Sigurd's armor is going to be hell now, too. So that's going to be expensive. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe I'll learn my lesson, probably not. The big lesson is just, don't rush Dark Souls in the couple moments before the DLC comes out, and that way you can actually get sleep, so you're not an idiot when you're playing the game. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because honestly, a lot of it is just sleep deprivation. You know, it's easier to forget everything you're trying to do if you just haven't slept. Okay. One, two, and... Uh, please. One, two, three, die. Okay. Is there tears again? And put the flask up and uh, just... I still haven't leveled up. I still haven't leveled up. Oh, seriously, it's the only thing that lets me survive. In a lot of cases, or... It's the one thing that can compensate for the fact that my skill expression leaves a bit to be desired. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So we'll switch back to our hammers. I should clear out a lot of stuff in my inventory, really. Mm, but just not having 18 strength and therefore not being able to actually use... Uh, one, two, and... Wow, okay. Two, and... Just hit with... Wow, it died this time. Another pot of knights over here. You know, it would be nice if I had Deep Soul right now, but whatever. Whatever. Okay. Oh, and there's Sullivan. There's Sullivan. Hello there. Hello. So are there any other shortcuts I can find or make or... Oh, and this is the drop down of that. Okay. Interesting. Then critical throw ahead. As in, use critical attacks on him. I really do wonder what is actually making that sound. So Gothard and Pale Shade are going to be around here. Summonable around here, and I should try doing that, but... Oh, and there we go, there we go. Another, oh, well, one of these guys, too. Cool. And another one, another. Thanks. And that's another locked door from before. We'll use this. There we go, another shortcut. Okay, nice. So there's only one remaining locked door here in Durathol. Okay. So Church of Yorshka is just over there then, so we can go back, see if we can buy the armor. Probably kill some enemies along the way to make that easier, hopefully. So what's in here? This is Ring of the Sun's first boy. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. That should be useful. So go ahead, use a soul drag on me or something. I mean, deep soul on me. Or not. Or not, I guess. How far away do we have to beat up? Oh my goodness, I... Come on. Please. Go back to Church of Yorshka. Free our friend Sigurd. And one, two, three. Kill. Okay. And there is going to be a fire witch and another knight. Hello there, hello. So we'll just go over there and- oh, okay, cool. One, two, three, four, 
slam and dodge and hit. Goodbye. Thank you. Hmm. The worst part is, is all of those. We got a lot of those souls from killing invaders, so I just didn't think to go back and spend them because I thought, didn't think it was really going to be necessary at that point in time. So now we're going to see how many souls Patches is going to charge us for the Katarina armor. And I'm probably going to end up crying. Because I might not be able to buy the stupid thing. I probably won't be able to buy it. Okay. Well, I can pop a bunch of soul items. But still, it just... It didn't have to be this way. Alright. Well, it... Not in this case. Not right now. Not right now, it's not. And frankly, sounds more like mockery than anything else. Okay. So I'm gonna go talk to her. Benefactor. Derogatory. Kurara, hey, haven't seen him at all. Sure, and tell me. Kurok left a gold mine. Oh, tell him. Irithel, Frozen Scroll, Deep End this time. Can we... Oh, but I... Wait, wait. Oh, but... Hmm. What that means is I... I'm gonna have to kill Ponta first. Sigurd. Katarina. Irithel Dungeon. This location, Estes Soup, Small Sewer. Breakable patches locked up in a cell. Meeting. If you went to Irithel Dungeon. Armor found by the fireplace. Cell key. Basilisks. Cell door. Hmm. Profaned. Okay. Then Yorm. Yorm. Patches and. Katarina armor is going to be. Hmm. It's working well. Pure shield and the Katarina set. And the Katarina set is expensive! Katarina set's expensive, so he's gonna go off and save Grey Rat. Eventually the old Grey Rat. Okay. You know, a lot of people call them that. And that's a reason a lot of people don't use them, because they think it's silly. I'm not kidding. So time to go back to the Church of Yorshka. I gotta Ember up, actually. Actually, but oh, maybe I should. Hmm, let me think. Eh, seven Estes should hopefully still be fine, but I gotta use an Ember in order to summon Gothard and Pale Shade, and they'll give me their gestures after that. Sure, but not everyone thinks like that. That will be all I need from them, and then put Cell Sword back on. And actually, if I'm gonna try to parry Pontiff, the best parry tool is actually the Cestus. So, take all those off, and then we can actually hopefully equip some armor. Drink shoes. Herald Helm. Almost Night Helm. I think this is. I think this is where Pontiff is. I may be wrong. Good chance I am. Oh, but we have to... Oh, but I don't have Flame Arc up, and I need Flame Arc up. Because I'll be using that for a weapon buff. Do more damage to... Good old, good old Pontiff. Actually, I'm not entirely sure that that... specific... fog was actually the way to Pontiff. The messages seem to indicate it, but that isn't... perfectly reliable all the time. The thing is, let's equip some actual armor. Try to keep medium rolls, but that will put me as close to weight limit as possible. I guess cleric and bully robe could be okay. Sure. Okay, more cleric robes. I actually don't hate this. Mm -hmm. I will simply go around the side then and avoid those pontiff knights. Hello there, hello. 
Not my problem. Not my problem. It's gonna run. It's gonna book it. Thank you. And how far are you going to chase me? Absolute imbeciles. Okay, and thanks. Oh my, oh, what, what? Okay, well, the summon signs are here, but... Oh, come on. I... Hmm, I don't like this at all. So taking this shortcut is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Hmm, and where did the other guy go? Hmm. Well, it... I hear some of them moving back. What if I... Will they see me? Yeah, they'll see me. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and... Wait, I ran out of stamina for that. Stupid. Die. Oh my... What? What? Die. Die. Go ahead and die. Okay, I... I can summon them. But I can't... Big thing is, I want to get them out of the way for the sake of the summon. But the actual fight is... I can just book it when the actual fight comes. I should kill some of these guys then. Okay. So I've already been here. Bridge is off over that way. Yeah. And is that another Pontiff Knight? Oh, it's the side of one. This isn't fun. I wonder if I can get the drop on you. Maybe, maybe. Hello there, hello. Slam! And... Finish you off or not. Two, three... Alright, cool. Ah, great side. I am not going to be trying to... Do this here. And this is Blackhand Gothard. And the Pale Shade Summon Sign should be somewhere around here too. Hello, friend. And where is... Phantom Blackhand Gothard summoned should give the buy my sword gesture. There we go! Okay. So where is Pale Shade then? I think he might have been around this way, off on the side. Either way, I... Yeah, goodbye. Sorry! Sorry. Okay. Phantom Blackhand Gothard was sent home. Then in that case, we have our... Friend the Pale Shade to summon somewhere around here, though I'm not exactly sure. Summon sign is going to be in Gothard's is not shown up. Oh, and that one's reappeared. And this is the Lender of Pale Shade. Oh, using the using the Morian Blade. Interesting. Either way, I am going to go back to... I have to go back to the bonfire. I can't afford to start the fight with this little Estus. Under Pill Shade Summoned. Hello. And. Dual Bow. Sorry. And those are all of the summons we had to do now. Two summons just for gestures, and the other one was Cuculus, and we did that some time ago. So. Patches should probably be. Gone. Excuse me. Gone right now, I presume. So in that case, I will simply reallot my Estus. Probably remove this. Yep, he went off to rescue Grey Rat and Irithal, which will ensure that Grey Rat can be sent to Lothric Castle, where he will die. Nice. Okay. So I think having two blue Estus will already be more than enough if we're only using it for... Ah. I'm only using it for Karthus Flamark. Nameless Night Helm is pretty good. And we can uh, over here me. and actually reinforcing my... Oh, but we have to do that at Cornex, right. Water Essis. This should be good. Pretty big. Thank you. And can we... Do we have any Essis shards or bone shards? No, we don't. Oh, right. Dark Moon Knights. Age of the Old Royals. Elite Knights Shrouded in Shadows. Thank you, thank you. Let's reinforce the flame and use those. Alright. Take it from... Oh, but no more spell buff. Interesting. Oh, but we have just enough to take it to plus six, which... I think we'll do that. I think we'll... Wait, actually, do we? We're using this weapon. We should 
focus on the twin blades right now. Let's reinforce our twin blades and there we go. Quite good. We got this right here. We got our Cestus. That does do a parry. So we'll try parrying Pontith and see how well that works. And the Cestus' parry is actually, by certain metrics, the best parry in the game. So we'll see how well it works out for us. Got. It's tied for the. It has the shortest start up. It's tied for the longest actual active frames. That said, if I fail the parry, it won't be great. Okay, so we're embered up. Let's run through, hopefully, and get to the gate for the fight against Pontiff. Oh, well, alright. I wasn't expecting that. Hello, hello. And we got a couple more of these guys. Let's keep on rolling. Well, even if I win, I might cry anyway. We'll see. And there he is. Good old Pontiff Solvon. Let's briefly use our car the display mark and get our parry ready. Try parrying, yep. So he'll leap at us, and we can parry that if we're smart. It'll take some effort and... Oh my goodness, okay. Cool. So I... Mm. Okay. Oh, what? Oh my goodness, okay. Come on, just dodge it. Okay. He actually isn't as strong as I expected, damage-wise, but... Okay. Good combo. Crazy combo. And just dodge. Mm. Do your overhead swing. Overhead swing. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Come on, just... Oh, really? Really? That's when you do that attack? Okay. Dodge. Oh, please. Please, I... Mm, I don't think I can really try parrying. I don't think that's actually something I can reliably do. Okay. Dodge. Oh, please. I... Is there a way to increase speed, or...? Dodge. 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 Oh, dodge. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I definitely can't use a shield, but that parry is going to be. Dodge. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Well, that's nice. Okay. So if I can manage that somewhat reliably, I should. Okay. Well, we're dead. So a single parry there takes off about a fifth of his health. And then, once I'm hopefully able to, once he does the phase transition, then I'll just blitz him down. That's the idea, at least. But now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. But that is really nice, being able to get a fully free Tears cast when I rested a bonfire, which would have saved me, would have saved that big blood stain. Hmm. So now we run, now we run. And then we, what are you doing now? And really, really, what? 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 Okay. Weird. That's oh, stupid. Okay. Dodge, dodge. How is that fire witch? Why, why and how are you chasing me so far? It's ridiculous. Okay. I just... It was a nice idea to try to get through that way, but... This is going to be painful. Hi, Pontiff. Mr. Solovan. He's got a... That initial jump attack is parryable. If we do that, we can start the fight off dynamically. Oh, well, we messed that up. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, please. I. Do I have more... Is my equip load at more than 50%? It might be. The Cessus might have actually made a difference. I'm not exactly sure how much it weighs. So I... No, I'm at the right amount of health. That's weird. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. 
Outright ballin' with that free tears cast, though. Outright ballin'. Mm. I guess... Maybe it would be better to actually try to take down that Fire Witch. Because the others don't really pay that much attention to me. But that Fire Witch is... Annoying. Two, three, and... Well, actually, never mind. That Haunt of Night seems to be... Oddly attentive this time. What the... Okay. Weird, weird, and... I just... What in the goddamn? What the hell gives? <laughs> I just... What am I gonna do? Start casting Spooked? Uh, do the bathroom more easily? That's not what I mean by slacking off. Yeah, literally, literally, you're the one. It just reminds me of that picture of the funny looking cat with the big ears saying, Big flop at playing Dark Souls 3. Which boss will break him mentally? And the caption is just, It was space. The dancer of the boreal valley. So I'm looking forward to her. Not really. That is. Alright, okay, I. Didn't kill anything, so there's not good anything in Papal, it seems. Well, time to fight Pontiff again. Praying to God. Okay. But the damage on this is really, really good. I wonder if something like Hornet Ring might be nice. I don't know. Okay. So can we parry this initial jump attack? It's got a... Don't... Oh, well, we... Uh, we... There, there must have been a tell that we just didn't see. I okay, cool. Dodge and mm. that overhead swing from right to left is the best one to try to parry. Okay, but for odds I'm actually doing that. Yeah, just if only had done that one earlier. Come on. Okay, let's just dodge. It. Oh please, I. Oh, come on, just... Out of my way! Out of my way, okay. Really? Really? Okay. Come on. Uh, please, I... Dodge, dodge. The idea of pairing gives a fun idea, but it's just... If only there was just... Ring that makes your S just faster and dodge and... Can I... Well, the damage itself is good, but it's not as good as a... Hmm. Come on. Just go for that one attack. Dodge it. Uh, dodge it. Oh, please. Ah, uh, okay. Basically, the idea is to start off the fight with a visceral. I mean, with a repost. By reposting him as he jumps at me, and then get another one on a right to left swing. His right to his, right to his left. And then... He does his phase transition, he sits on the ground for a bit while summoning his clone, and then we abuse the power of paired weapons to hit him a bunch during that time, and then just finish the fight out as fast as possible by trying to just DPS him down. That's the idea. That's the idea, at least. Which, you know, the best laid plans of God and Streamer often go awry, but... Come on, just dodge it. Oh, please. Keep on dodging. Are you gonna fire snake it? Okay. It. You tried. You tried to do it. We were able to use the use the little bit of railing to actually block that, which is good. God bless. At least this isn't Smelter Demon. That would suck. Okay. Well, maybe I could try a shield berry. Whatever. That blood stain has nothing in it. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Jump it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Just... No, not one we can really... Is this... There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, is this... Is this face transition time? Face transition time? And just... Okay. No, it's not. Dodge. Okay, just go for that attack again. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. And... Oh my goodness, and... Wow, okay, and... I... 
We did pretty well for ourselves, actually. Almost. <laughs> but the good thing is, I kind of know how to parry him now. And if I can pull that off reliably, if I can pull that off a couple of times and then either do it one more time or just hit him a couple more times to get him. Actually, two parries and then just hitting him to get him to half health. And then at that point, I could probably safely just try to, yeah, get him to half health and then blitz him down a good amount of the rest of the way with, you know, paired weapon attacks combined with card display mark. But, I don't know. It's all a question of what attacks he decides to actually use. So... I, I would prefer not to put myself at the mercy of Dark Souls 3 enemy AI if possible. But we'll see. Either way, as soon as... As soon as his sword is visible, basically, as soon as he raises it, that's when I need to parry. So... Fire on the sword. Cestus out. Parry the Pontiff. Ideally. Hi there, hello. Jump! Oh, well, we... Oh, uh, we were too late that time. Dodge. Dodge and dodge. Okay, cool. Heal. That's just... Dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh, well, I don't think that one's parryable. I'm pretty sure that one isn't parryable. Okay, well, alright. And heal, heal. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, thank you. Oh, please, I... Oh. Honestly, it feels like whether I can parry that first attack is determines how well the fight will go. Big thing is, as soon as I see that sword raise, after half a second, that's when I... That's when I need to hit. Dodge. Okay, thanks. Just... Dodge. Dodge. Oh, please. Just... Oh, come on, I... Oh. You're kidding me. Okay. I was too late parrying that first attack initially, and... Okay, thanks. 178, which isn't actually that bad at all. I saw another streamer trying to play this game regularly, and they were doing less damage than me. They were trying to use an actual build, it just didn't work for them. Yeah, honestly, as cool as the parries are, aside from the initial one, I should just probably try to good fight normally. Okay. I mean, it's not bad damage at all. Good paired weapons. Fire's gun on him, so slash, so... The best would actually be thrust, but... Yeah. Which... I'm gonna try the parry strat one more time. If it doesn't work... I'm just gonna get dodgy and fight him that way. It really is a gimmick. It takes... It would take a lot more skill expression to do that reliably. You know... I'm not interested in, interested in wasting my time. I'm not interested in wasting your time. So if... The parries just aren't working. I'm gonna spot him normally because it should be fine. I've got, I have Carthus. I've got Carthus Landmark Tears of Denial. I, I've got a good amount of firepower, pun intended, to take him on. I, oh my goodness! I, you're kidding. Just, what are you going to do? Really, really? Okay. Just what? I. Epic Irithol of the Boreal Valley moment. Yeah. yeah. One consolation is... Aldrich should probably kind of be a joke. Because I could either use... Karthus or just any other Pyromancy. And... Beat him up pretty easily. Yeah, I would probably just spam stuff like Great Chaos Fireball on, on Aldrich. And that would definitely be the trick. Because his one range attack is his funny Dark Moon thing. I mean, his arrows and 
the magic missiles, which aren't crazy to deal with. What jewelry? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I... What was I spamming pyromancers on? Oh, well... When I was fighting the... Sandworm, I was using... Oh! Wolnir, Wolnir, Howard Wolnir, yeah. That's silly, yeah. Oh, there, hello, and just dot- There we go, okay. So the timing on that, have to be smart about it. Get a couple of free hits in, then we can just- Okay. That probably would have been a decent one to try to parry, but- Dodge- Oh my goodness, I- Alright, and- Oh, you're kidding. Okay, heal, heal. Just dodge it out. Dodge it. Oh, come on, come on. I interesting, interesting. And you're really good at heal punishing, huh? Okay, and just dodge it. Oh, come on, just... What? What? Okay. Okay. So the parry worked there, actually. The parry worked fine. The issue is that once the real start started, he got very... I guess the question is, is phase two going to be harder or easier? Because that's when the second guy shows up, and from what I've seen of other people fighting him, he kind of tones down his own attacks when that happens to compensate, but... Mm -hmm. I guess the big question is, do I go to Anorlando or Irithyll Dungeon first? Probably Anorlando, probably Anorlando. Because Irithyll Dungeon is the way to profaned capital. Which, to be fair, means that I could, if I really wanted to, I could probably fight Yorm before I fought Soldon. But, you know, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Come on. Just roll and... Fire Snake goes up that way, or it doesn't. Thank you. So that was a decent selection of attacks that time. Let's go through. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 50,000 souls definitely was not worth... The bracelets. I mean, the absolution, the gestures, but if it works, it works. Hi there, hello. Jumping. Are you gonna jump or not? Are you not jumping? Wait, what? You're kidding. Oh, I guess we didn't approach fast enough. Well, whatever, right? Dodge and dodge. Oh, please. I Come on. Just. There we go. Okay. So that overhead's good enough to deal with. It's. That's what we need to focus on. You can get you to do that overhead, you can dodge it. Oh my, what, 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 what? Okay, thanks. Okay, cool. Let's just dodge and dodge. Okay, slam's cool. Just go for overhead and, oh, please. Dodge and dodge, okay. Go for that overhead swing and, okay, whatever. Come on. Dodge Ow. Oh, please. Oh, come on. I... Okay. Alright. Oh, please. I... One, two, three, and five. Oh, please. I... Okay. Just let me... Overhead. Swing. Dodge it. Mm. Okay. Do okay. Dodge. Okay. Mm. Well, we... Wildstar Karthus, which is not good. Not quite good. I... Okay. It actually is that time to buff, which is nice, but... Aw. Let's do this thing. Dodge. Hit. And... Okay, please. I... There we go. Another parry. That might be... Phase 2, I would think. I would hope. 1, 2, and... There we go. 1, 2... Three and oh what I okay I was not expecting that I didn't know you could do that okay well maybe if I maybe if I one two three and okay at least the clone goes down pretty easily but I what really shocked me was just the fact that he made a big explosion during that phase transition. However, however, when he does his... 
When he does that summoning attack, he's kind of a sitting duck at then. So I should take advantage of that. The big issue is... Well, actually, at the start of phase two, he actually went for another one of those overhead swings, the ones which are the one attack other than the initial jump that I can kind of reliably parry. So I... Much to think about. So now that you're out of the way, do up that. Try this crap again. Mm -hmm. It is a very cool fight, and frankly, it, it's mainly a matter of the way I'm approaching it, but still. Okay, so as long as we approach him as we run in, that's when we can bait out that jump attack. Okay, jump it. There we go, and repost. Thank you, thank you. Fairly well, fairly well. Okay. So if you go for that overhead swing, dodge it. Dodge, thank you. Can we. Oh my goodness, I. Dodge, and. Oh, quick stab is not fun to deal with. Dodge and. What? Okay, cool. Heal. Okay. Oh my lord. Dodge and. Two, three, four, five. Six, okay. Six part combo is it's like a dance. Dodge uh oh, please. And okay. Can we Oh my goodness, that attack was not fun to deal with. So dodge it. Swing it. Dodge. And oh please. I What what okay. Dodge there we go, another another nice repose. We could use this time to reapply Karthus, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or, what are you gonna, okay. Use your explosion, thanks, and then we can, oh, well, all right. Can we, okay. Oh, that's what I should have done, that's what I should have done. I didn't even, oh, but I don't have enough Estus, that's right. Okay, dodge it, okay. Oh, thanks. I was, I was stupid, I didn't even think about that. Thank you, though. Okay, well. So all this one works. Okay, so we got two pontiffs. Can we... I... Okay. Oh, alright. Thanks. What if I... Oh my... Oh, okay. I should have tried to do that attack, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, whatever. One, two, three, and... Pwn's dead. Pwn's dead. Thanks. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dodge it. Heal. Heal it. Okay, alright. Mm -hmm. Heal. Okay. Dodge. Oh, one is down. One is down, but... I. Oh, you're gonna summon your clone again. One, two, three, four, and... Alright, cool. Okay. Yep. Yep. I figured. Thanks. Okay. Dodge it. Dodge... Oh! Okay, the big thing is... You can parry that attack. You can parry that attack, right? So it's gonna be like fighting Ligarius, like, you gotta... <laughs> yeah, it is like fighting Ligarius, if you can parry the jump attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed to say, that it took me this long to realize that Solvon's kinda... The Martyr Ligarius of Dark Souls 3. Because he uses magic heavily in conjunction with two melee weapons, one long, one short, and is really, really annoying. But if you can manage to parry him, he gets better. Kinda. Relatively. But yeah, using tears during the phase transition. I didn't even think about that. That was... that was inspired. But mainly I'm just kind of stupid right now. Okay. Let's go for that. There we go. Parry and repost. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Just hit and... can we dodge? Dodge and overhead and... cool. Quick swing and... Will you? So, oh, well, we, I don't think we can 
parry that toad off. Okay. The old ant dog. Oh, alright. I can't see myself. I can't see anything. Okay. Alright. Well, that was a very dumb way for that band. Pontiff really said, I'm summoning an ally. The camera. Hmm. So just... The fact that a parry is about a fifth of his health bar means that I can't ignore, can't ignore the possibility. It's not something I should focus on, but if I can get a parry, I should try to at least. Okay, and then after Sullivan, there's Anorlando, and Anorlando isn't all that long, but it's not all that Anorlong, though. Come on, come on. Go out of the way of that and thank you, Fire Snake. Mm -hmm. The big thing is, like I said, the only two attacks that I know are parryable and that I can actually at least sometimes parry are the the initial jump attack and the left to right swing. There we go. Stab you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There we go, and just... Mm -hmm. Dodge. Quick slash. Okay. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get a quick... Thought I could get a quick cut in. It was not the case. Okay. Thanks. And dodge. Dodge. And thank you. Oh, I... I don't think that's parryable. I don't think that's parryable. Annoying. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Dodge. Okay. Hit. Do oh my. Oh my. Oh my word. Oh, hate that combo. Okay. Just don't. Oh please. I not. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Honestly, it. I can parry that first attack, but I don't know how to bait out the overhead swing, and he's just not doing it anymore for whatever reason. So what I do is I parry the first jump attack, and then I just take out the second sword and fight him that way. And that will be a much more self-explanatory self -explanatory and simple way to do it. Yeah. Don't need to do any tricks, don't need to try to show off, all I need to do is kill this guy. So that I don't have to keep trying to kill him. Ah. The big thing is, there was... One of those drop-downs already. There's just one door that does not open from so such and such side. And one... Oh my goodness. And one remaining drop-down. The one above Church of Yorshka. But I'm pretty sure that that one's going to be in... After Pontiff, because that would make it. That's when we can talk to Yorshka, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's hope this is the one. Okay. Oh, oh, we did it! We did it too early. Yeah, that... I'm just gonna let myself die. Though. Okay. I was getting overzealous with that. The big thing is, I realized I should probably. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. Now, having Cestus be next after Power of Blades, the way to do it. So, in case I see him prepping a jump attack or something, second phase, I could try quickly switching to Cestus and then. Preparing that jump attack, because I know it's possible. I've seen that happen. It might be beyond my pay grade. It's probably above my pay grade, but we'll see. Come on, come on. Thank you. Just dodge out of the way, Pat. Thanks. Then we will fight this imbecile at least one more time. Okay. Urethal of the Boreal Valley. Irithal of the Boreal Valley. Okay. 
We run in and we get that started. Hello there. There we what? Huh? Oh, I think it's definitely because of we didn't have enough stamina at first. That I would presume that's a big part of it. Okay. Just dodge. Mm. Attacks are good. Oh my goodness. I okay. What? Okay. Oh, please. Okay, well. Ah. Oh. Okay. It's just. The main issue is that I didn't notice that I'd completely run out of stamina while crossing the fog wall and then doing casting. Oh, okay. That said, I think that's something I might want to try using drain hammers for. Maybe. Because a true poise break probably wouldn't be as doable with cell swords, but cell swords are meaningfully faster too, and also. Pontiff also resists strike damage, so that's one of the reasons I don't want to use Drain Hammers on him. We'll see what happens. I might try a Drain Hammers setup if this doesn't work. If it doesn't work this time, I'll try Drain Hammers once and see if that does the trick. Oh my goodness, I... That was really annoying. Okay. So we'll run through the fog wall. Heal up. Burn an Estus already. And then... Yeah, it... There, there... Time spent without playing souls is time spent badly. Okay. No, wait, what? Huh? Was that too early or too late? I can't even tell. Excuse me? Alright. The big thing is just, I need to wait for... Okay, uh, I need to walk until he stirs. Okay, okay. Okay. I need to walk until he stirs. And then if I run after I see him moving, that should put me in the right position time-wise to get the parry off. Because getting that parry off... Starting the fight with 20% 20, 20 or so of his health already gone is... I wouldn't say crucial, but it's nice. Either way, it's just... Being able to get the parry off is... That was weirdly fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. The big issue is that if we use... Well, actually, if we reapply Karthus midway, then we can use our Ashen Astis and make that work. I don't have enough FP to use Flame Arc and Tears at the same time. Okay, there we go. This should put me in position. There we go! Okay, so it was. Yeah, it was too early. So that worked. Cool. And just a couple. Nice. And... Oh my. Okay. Cool. And... Okay. Alright, and... Slash a couple of times. And please just dodge out of the way of that. Could have been a kill if I hadn't dodged that. Just dodge... One, two, dodge, and... Okay, please. Thank you. Oh, all right. The more we stay behind him, the better, but... Just can't panic roll. One, two, and... Oh, okay. Dodge, and... You know, for a quick attack, or... Oh, we don't even need to reapply tears, do we? No, we don't. Okay, cool. So then, will you... What will you... Oh, well, you'll... Okay. You'll go out of the way... Dodge it. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Cool. Oh, but this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Okay. Now that... Okay. Now that they're actually fighting in sync, I... I could have tried to take them down better, but, well, whatever. I'm stupid. Okay, cool. And just dodge, dodge it. Okay. Come on. Come on. Where's the stand? There's a stand. Okay. At least... Okay. Dodge. Silly Moonlight. Fake Moonlight Greatsword. It is really funny how he just casually has a stand. Especially, I especially like how they repeat each other's moves. 
and just out of the way. Can I reapply tears or what? I can't. I'm gonna have to just free, free ball this one. Okay. I could have parried that. I should have tried to parry that. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Huh. We got closer. We got a lot closer. Okay. I kind of know what I'm doing now. Kind of. The big issue is I... Well, the, the issue was I didn't have a good window of time to cast tears. Not that I saw. And to be fair, he isn't as aggressive with a stand-up. But I didn't want to tempt fate. Though in retrospect, I probably should have. The big issue is that I stayed away too long during his phase transition and allowed him to get his stand up without getting in, in any hits. Because if I'm fast and aggressive, I can actually kill his stand during summoning. I just, it didn't end up working. Because I didn't go in and try to kill him. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was trying to do, I just couldn't make it work. Okay. Let's put that up, SS up, and put our SS back. Then when he starts moving, we go in and go for that parry. I think we can get kind of reliably in. Oh, that was too early. That was too early. Whatever. Uh, okay. Dodge. Okay. One, two. Dodge. And. Okay. One, two, and. Okay. Cool. One, two, and. Three. Okay, or. There you go, and mm -hmm. just dodge, thank you, one, two, dodge, okay, dodge, as soon as we see the sword raise, that's when we, okay, oh, well, we, we still got hit, oh, whatever, right, oh, we got a brief stance break, okay, good, so, there we go, and, okay, one, two, and will you, there we go, okay, summon your stand, why don't you, two, Three, four, five, okay, all right, thanks. Die, there we go, okay. Big question is, will we? Hmm, I might need to rip Black Arthur's Play Mark. Oh, well, hmm, just dodge it. Hmm, can we? Oh, is he gonna do something to stand her? Let's just do that then. Oh, but I don't have enough. Estus. Oh my goodness. Tommy could not be worse. Okay. And now I have stupid, stupid. You know, at least I can use the furniture. And oh, but I I still don't have enough Estus for that. And that's right, I need to use every single class just for This is stupid. This is getting stupid. I ah, stupid. Hate this fight. Okay. Could use a cheeky flame arc real quick. How am I gonna get? Hmm. Just, can I get the stand? Oh my goodness, I... Huh? Okay, cool. Right. One, two, and... Oh my, oh my lord. I'm... Tough fight. Tough fight. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Okay. Really, really, okay. I really should try that parry, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. And just one, two, three, and... Oh, but it did... Some damage to him, it seems. One, two, and dodge. One, dodge, and don't. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's heal. Heal. We'll use your stand again. Okay. One, two. Can't afford to really go for a full combo. Oh, oh. One, two. Die! Die! Thank goodness. So that's done. Okay. Soul Pond of Sullivan. So that should be yours on the other side. Ember Restored, and I think. I didn't get as many parries off as I might have liked, but. Took advantage of his moveset to end his miserable life. But yeah, originally in earlier versions of Dark Souls 3, the boss in this room is actually one of those fire witches. It's interesting. Big thing is, now that we've killed Pontiff. I think Grey Rat might be back in Firelink. Which would mean being able to buy the armor set because of Patches was able to rescue him or something. The fastest way I would be seeing what's up with Grey Rat. And he is. He's back! 
Which means Patches is back, which means we can save Sigurd. Sad, cutting things so close, but here Onion Knot. All paid off. Should be of some use. Oh, but that's interesting, because we haven't bought the Katarina set from Patches yet, therefore, just pretending to be Sigurd. That's a lot of fun, actually. Goodbye. wonder what his dialogue would have been, been if we had, sit, had bought the armor first. Oh, well, whatever. I'll play through the game again one day. Let's see that dialogue, maybe. But that was a relief, and that was a pretty big hurdle, and I'm glad that I managed to get over it. Really just about dodging, right? Wonder, selection, purchase, and let's buy that Katarina set. Katarina like shape, Katarina armor, Katarina gauntlets, Katarina leggings, and do we need... I don't think... We, do we need to get the pure shield too? Well, whatever, I... okay. So in that case, we'll just... How much do we need for another? Level up about... 23,000, so let's just use... This. Okay, cool, let's... Get a quick level up. Thank you, thank you. Nourishment. Then we can get a little bit more endurance. Hmm. Okay. Honestly, I'm in such a bad state. And I've got all these souls. I'm just gonna start popping them. So Sullivan's soul gives you... You can choose one of his swords to get for every soul of his that you have, which is really, really cool, actually. But the thing about that is... There's no way to combine them into a paired weapon, which it's interesting because the sort of normal penultimate boss, the Twin Princes, is... You can craft both of their swords, and then you can additionally combine their swords into one super sword. But you can't combine the Pontiff's weapons into one, which is interesting because, well, actually, there's a mod called Convergence, which... It's a little controversial, but because of how much a damage sponge it turns it's pretty much every enemy in, and the heavy emphasis it puts on magic. But, but, it gives you the ability to make paired pot of swords. And that alone is very, very cool. So we'll level up a couple more times, and then get a little bit more faith, which... I don't think that lets me do anything particular right now, but then we can get a little bit more luck. Okay. So actually, where does Henri go? She wasn't in the Church of Yorshka. Catacombs, I'll leave still look. After you've killed Wolnir, you're into the valley, you're waiting for a while, and they cause her to leave. Yorsha couldn't be found, what by Henri? Henri is not told kill one here room with the wooden bridge oh okay yorshka quiet resolve Solvan. yorshka statues chameleon spell word of hollows wedge before one here okay so we need to go back to one here church of yorshka hmm and Yuria, Pata, and Orlando, Temple of the Dark Moon. Okay. Let's just use some more of these souls. For how much I can. Oh, uh, this won't be enough. So I should stop using those. But Sullivan imprisoned a god of the old world, team, the abandoned cathedral, to be fed to the devourer. That was Gwendolyn being fed to Aldrich. Question is, is. Are we going to be a tr in Church of Yorshka right now, or will she be, will she be by Wolnir? And that's the question. Gotta find her there, and then I should be able to get Dark Moon. I mean, I should be able to get her special sword. She's not here right now, so then she would still be by Wolnir, I presume. Hmm. Okay. Because once we get Henri's sword, that will be a decent option to use. So, back to Warner. And Anorlando and probably Irithal Dungeon. Right then.
So presumably she'll be outside around this way. <laughs> Trying my best. Something about before. The fight. And oh, she's up there. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Hmm. Well, I. I'll figure it out. Maybe. Big thing is, let's put our hammers back on. Should be helpful. Oh, but we need to take off a few of these. And oh my goodness. Okay. So we put the chime back on. Oh right, because we should. May as well use tears. Ashen flask, and I suppose. Oh, but magic weapon is actually better resistance-wise. But there's also the ability to cheese in other ways. So we were supposed to get up here then, so... Oh, uh, and lots of dudes, lots of dudes. So it was this way, it was this way, okay. So there's Henri. That's just... Oh, well, hello that way. One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh my goodness, I... Big thing is, I don't want them killing Henri. That would really ruin my day. Okay. Cool, and just... Come on, come on. Oh my, oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. And just one, two, three, four, four. One, one, two, and please, please, I just don't kill Henri. Don't kill Henri. Please don't kill Henri. Don't kill Henri. Don't kill Henri. Don't kill Henri. Die, die, die. Can I? Okay. Just dodge it. Dodge, dodge it. What? Now our ember's gone. God have mercy. Stupid. Just, I gotta remember these tears before that. It's just so costly, though. The choke point's nice. The issue is there's only so much we can actually manage. Our reach isn't crazy, crazy, and stamina goes down fast. If only the combo is a little. Mm, we'll see. Damage is good. Damage is good, though. It's just... The skeletons could very easily kill her. And I don't want that happening. That might be a surprise, too. Even though we will have to accept her death eventually. Okay. Hi there, hello. One, two. Just one, two, and... Cool. One, two, three, and... Oh my goodness. Do oh my... Okay, cool. Just... Oh, please, I... Come on! How am I gonna... One, two, three, four, and... That's the issue, just that... I... Oh, what if I... If I go back down here, I can... Hmm... Oh, and that's another way around to the bonfire. Okay. Use this to make that work. Okay, just... Issue is we have to fight all these skeletons normally. And I suppose we could. Oh, because there's no way back over there. Just have to. Will they break that? Will they break the bridge? I. All right. Just dodge, dodge, and get over this side. I should be okay. But come on, just please, please, and two. And out of the way. Also, there was apparently a lever over here that I never lifted up, which makes sense, frankly. And mm, the more I take on it once, they seem to actually be keeping some of their distance to an extent, but come on, heal. Just die, die. I, use of choke points is crucial to surviving this fight. And wait, what? What? Oh, so stupid. I feel like the best way to do it might be luring all of them and then breaking the bridge from the other side. Sort of taking them in a circle. It's kind of hilarious that, of all things, the skeleton encounter is giving me trouble. Oh, whatever. Oh, I didn't even realize that we have that pilgrim turtle shell on our back. That's why. Mm -hmm. Well, alright. 
figure out how to break this thing from the other side. Okay. And our blood stain is down there. But it's just getting to Henri like that will be real trouble. And there you are. Cool. Just dodge out of the way. Mm -hmm. If we roll over, go down this path, I can. Maybe something like Blessed Weapon might be helpful, but even so, I can't really. Oh, come on. I. Alright, alright. Mm. Okay, I. Maybe actually just finding them on this land bridge might be good. Alright. There's one of you over here. Two. Three, four. And. Okay. You can just fall to your death. Okay, we can make use of terrain like this. Okay. Cool, cool. And one, two. What will determine whether they come up or not? That's the question. Two and just one. Two and just... Mm, oh my lord. Okay. Hammer and... Hammer, swing, and... Heal, heal. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I, just... What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? I... Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, that's right. I just use force. Okay. Yeah, I will. Put my chime in my other hand then. And put a shield back on. Just use force to force them off. Okay. Shield of one's gonna be good once I get strength to wield it. Those extra souls should hopefully be helpful. It's actually more relevant in the. Oh, but right, I need to. Tears, tears. Tears and force. It's a bigger buff than the ring one, actually. So let's just tune force. Yeah, yeah, I do have it. I do have it. Cool. So we got our tears up. We got force. Push the skeletons off that little land bridge, hopefully. Fun! So fun. So that's actually right over that way, which is useful. All this to get Henri to move. All this to get Henri to move. Okay. That and Orlando Irithal Dungeon. Okay. It's interesting that the Estes Soup is actually there, regardless of whether or not you take... You bring Sigurd there. Because it implies that maybe... The statement that he was the one who cooked it might be deceitful or variable based on... I don't know. Someone else would have had to cook it if he didn't. Okay. Hello there, hello. Come on, come on. Keep on falling. Oh, if you stand here it actually works really well for... Come on, come on, just... Push and... Oh, but if you're not cohesive yet, you can't do that. Oh, okay, cool. Come on, come on, this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Then just... Oh, well, we don't have enough Estes for... No, don't have enough FP for that. Interesting. Well, I... Okay, well, cool, cool. Force in. Heal, heal. Okay. Then we can heal over there and blast you with force. Get you off the edge. And then... Can we... Oh, come on, just... Blast. So we can force off the edge. Come on, just... Take you down. We got one of them. We got one of them, but that is... Oh, please. I just... Oh, come on. I need to heal. Heal. And we got our tears, but I... Come on. Oh, my... What? Ah. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Stupid, stupid skeletons. So there's no way to get back to the Volmir, the other side from the Volmir bonfire, which means okay. Yeah, if only I could use Wrath of the Gods or something like that. Oh, whatever. It's a spell buff on this compared to something like that's still not great. Okay, but Isla's staff is good with dark. Spells still. Okay. Hmm. 
Lock and lock and lock. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay, and that makes the bridge start breaking. Alright, okay. Maybe if I just rush talking to Henri. Eh, no, not really. Big issue is that I can't get back now. I kind of screwed myself. I very much screwed myself. Oh, so they don't even try to go over now. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. The question is just, how do I lure them to a spot I can fight them? And it does seem like, no, no, no time using force. I just gotta... I gotta get better and probably more aggressive using drain hammers. It's the only way I can manage this, specifically. So, we'll put our flame mark back on and pray. Okay. Oh, but can't use that shield. I could use a helmet or sellsword helm. I'm using the sellsword swords before, so fitting. Oh, but you have to reload the area to. Okay. Ah, okay. So guess who needs to go back to Firelink? May as well level up real quick. Guess we could give the Firekeeper soul to our friend, but. right now. Well, whatever. Thank you. I'll go up real quick. Nourishment and a little bit of luck. Then vigor or something like that. Nine more levels. We may as well give her the power keep her soul. Cool. This is lies within me, within my bosom. She will understand. Heal the dark sigil. The serpent's got the way. And that requires paying for the level ups we got from Yol. And for a number of reasons, it would simply not be worth it. Go back to Wolnir. Okay. All right, all right. Try this garbage one more time. The misery of the light. And did I. Right, it was. Oh, I didn't have the charm equipped at all. Hmm. In that case, actually, we could cast tears real quick and then unequip the chime after resting. For the sake of low, because the only thing we needed that for is, of course, tears. Okay. Now we've got our equip wood back down, and we can try killing as many of those skeletons as possible. Ideally. Okay. It's just... It's so funny that... Talking to her takes all this. Maybe I could try using something like Firestorm, actually. That could be a good idea. Or I could approach from another side, maybe. Not sure. Okay, and just... So what is your aggression going to be like? Actually, if I'm go like this... Not that aggressive, and actually doing it in an open space seems to be a little bit better in some regards. Because it means we can't get grouped up on. Okay. So, it's gotta make sure they don't do that annoying jump attack. Hi, hello, oh, oh, I, oh my goodness, I gotta go this way. Okay. Oh, we're invading another world right now. Oh, alright, I guess. Two and. One, two. Oh, please, I... All right, all right. Thanks. Okay. Well, that might actually be good for us, because it might... That means I, always, I could have maybe quit out beforehand. Interesting. So, where's Trespasser John and... Oh, my goodness, you... Okay. Well, you are aggressive, I... All right. Hmm. Okay. One, two, and... Slime me down, thanks. One... To slam. Okay, cool. Just all right. User, user Estes or something like that. And I. Okay. 
What? Okay, dodge it. Do what? Excuse me. I should have used my Estus. Oh, and he had tears too. Imbecile. So, he was doing a real Twinder's build. Okay. Alright. Either way, this might mean being able to talk to Henri Freeling. I hope. Tears aren't up, and of course the bat skeletons are right there right now. Stupid. And more of you. And our tears are gone, which is very annoying. And just like that, maybe. One, two, and. Two, and. One, two. How many more, you guys? One, two. And. One, two. And. Okay. One, two. Good range on the hammer. Two, and. There we go. I think this might be the last one. Finally! Stupid skeletons. Okay. Hi there. Meet again. Horse anywhere. Smoldering light. Like so deep. A lot of wind straight forward. Broken your debt. Have to do for now. Limbs got your way. Ring of the evil eye. Head of the light. Both in your day. Got your way. So did I mess that up or what? Let me see. Henri. Not necessary, necessary to kill Horus. Eventually we for the church, even if you don't mean the catacombs. Church of Yorshka Bonfire. Here we had Firewink. Apple of the Dark Moon. Done correctly. Wedding ceremony. Except the sword. On your straight sword. Ceremony. Take the fire instead of winking it. Spell off the pilgrim. Okay, cool. Well, that's done. There were these massive piles of bones. Okay. There's also, of course, this over here. I wonder if... How many homeward bones? We, have, we got three, but I don't need to use those. But that, that was actually a shortcut, which is cool. Oh, that's sad. The other bonfire by... Abandoned Tomb is decent, too. That was by... Where Sorg invaded. Okay. So in that case, we will go back to Church of Yorshka, and she should be right there. Maybe. Travel to the Church of Yorshka. Hopefully talk to her. Future goofy off the expounds. Hmm. Okay. I already got a ring of the evil eye, and there you are, hi. Good to see you. Managed to find Horus. Even alone, unkill the word seeker. Bless their souls. Our reasons. We have indeed kissed alone. Word from you. Flames got your way. Quite resolved. Okay, cool. And over in the corner, uh, over here, is a pilgrim who will kill Henri. Currently disguised as a statue, I believe. That said, we actually want her to kill Henri. Or to progress the quest line. So we can go back to Firelink and probably, I believe, talk to Yuria. Should be nice. Finish some of that up and chill. Hello, friend. Hello. Hi. I uh, desire what follows. Afraid I must say, much consternation. Lord of Hollows, in peril of thy rule, yearly I'll soon unravel. Kill him. When in reach, may name Anvi. Anvi, join thee in wedlock hollow. Guides through time is right, make thy salutations. Taking her spouse. Okay, cool. So there we go. So she'll give us something if we kill Orbeck, but. Orbeck, I believe, will leave on his own. I think we might have to buy all of his sorceries first. Once we give him the crystal scroll, we can exhaust the stuff and he will depart and leave his ashes. Maybe die. Okay. Oh, but do I have to kill Orbeck for that to happen, or...? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, statue before the rotating tower. Take the fire instead of linking it. Go back to Sullivan's place. Okay. Oh, we got 
our tears and we got our fire. Okay. See how this works. Should probably unequip this and put our shine back on. Just uh, use tears again if the time comes. Okay. Oh, but for general purpose, we need. Uh, we want swords out and use them with as a shield against the dogs. So I will try to ensure that happens. And oh goodness, things keep moving. I just well, whatever. Another scimitar. Okay. Then I guess we could put our put our shield back on. Okay. It is a shame that I can't use that yet. Oh, but... Mm. I... Mm. It would increase soul income, and meaningfully too. But it wouldn't be good as a shield. So I guess I'm just gonna be silly. That over there is, I believe that's Arch Dragon Peak. I think. Well, oh, and a... Hello there, hello. Crystal wizards all around the shop. Let's just kill a couple of them and, well, all right. And come on, come on. This is not a great way to deal with them. And you're kidding, you're kidding. Okay, cool. Now they're struggling tight tonight, but we need the rest of that bonfire. Okay. What is over here? Arch tie night shard and only one of those right now. We got one chunk. Can't upgrade anything yet. Okay. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Pretty soon we should be able to just buy the stuff anyway. And I believe upstairs over here we can get there, and that might be where might be where Yorshka is, I'm not sure. But Yorshka is the Dark Moon proper head of Dark Moons. That oh, but I had to Reload the area to make that thing reappear. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Whatever. Okay, okay. So, what would I have to unequip to be able to use the hammers right now? Because the hammers would be better at killing those lizards. Let's just... Hammers back on, and I guess we're... Deacon Rob... Okay, cool. We're in a decent enough state. Oh, but also we need to... Go back to the cathedral real quick, help out our old friends over there. Okay. So using the shield just for the soul drop bonus should be good. I don't think I need to meet Rex for that to work. I wouldn't imagine. Let's equip. Okay. Ooh, ooh. One, two. And 92. I think that's better than before. And there we go. Crazy strong hammers. Give you your armor back. Pick a replacement, ahead and think. Throw armor. Hello. My armor. To salute you out of here in a jiffy, meet again. Rejoice. Okay. Where are we out of here in a jiffy? Okay. So in that case, I gotta go back to the... Hmm. The place where the Silver Knights were before. Back to Distant Manor. That should be a good way to get. Mm. Should be able to find him and continue his quest line. Then I'll move on to the next place, which should be familiar to you. Maybe. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got our hammers out, so we can kill things with hammers. Shield of want for more soul absorption, which again, I'm pretty sure is independent of whether we meet Rex or not. Go over here, kill the bugs. Thank you, thank you. No bugs, dodge, thank you. And, alright. That would be 990, which... Wait. I should check, because it seems like I might not be benefiting from it if I'm not meeting the requirement. 
Okay. All right, die, die. Goodbye. Green Blossom. And then, a few more hits in on you. Thank you, goodbye. And then, and then, and then. A bit more, a bit more. One, two, three. I guess maybe it would be worth unequipping the shield and seeing if that makes a difference. Okay. One, two, three. And okay, it does. It makes a pretty significant one, too. So even though the shield actually won't benefit us defensively, we need it up. We should try our best to keep it up. I mean, we could use it in two hands, but I wonder if you're ever using a shield two-handed. Okay. Cool. Die. Good stuff. And this should hopefully help make up for all the souls we lost and get us to a good, good spot. And there he is. There's the Estes suit too. Sleeping. Hello. Hi. Talk. Wake up. Must have dozed off. Rather warm here. All too long. Good to see you. Miss my chance. Deep as gratitude and a little surprise. Emit force. And there we go. Just like how his equivalent Dark Souls 1 gave us a hit for us. Joining me for dinner. Sure. That's a soup, some stewing, normal soup from time to time, make a toss. More sigra, sword and sworn duties. Okay. Then what happens if I drink that as a soup? Deep dungeon, profane capital, yorn, giant lord. Promise to keep related to yorn. A lot of things, a little nap. Nice toss. Okay. Cool. Let's listen to him sleep. It's not creepy, not creepy. Hmm. Okay. Let's drink the soup. Thank you, thank you. I guess we could. To avoid wasting time, just go back here. Okay. And then we can continue onward to an interesting place. You'll see. Back over to Sullivan. Again, I always have to remember I gotta put tears up. The fact that tears only takes 15 faith and nothing else is legitimately ridiculous. It's. There's no justica justification for that balance-wise, which, to be fair, I don't hate it, and I should have been using it a lot earlier. I didn't even really think about it, but if I had done that, a lot of things would have gotten a lot easier. But I just... it never came to mind for me. Okay, time. There we go, and... Twinkling tight night. Thank you. We can continue on over this way, and... You might recognize that place. You might recognize that place. I think we'll get the name popping up on screen relatively soon. Oh, more Pontiff Beasts? Okay. Hmm. Alright. There are giants over here. Big Cathedral over that way, but... What's around on this side? Something... Stalking over here. And that is... Nothing over this way, though. So what if I go up on this part of the bridge and- Oh! Deacons! Deacons! Oh, but, but. Let me. Okay, I can't walk around over there. That's just... So it's over this way. How far are they gonna come? Okay. Oh, that- You'll find out eventually. You'll figure it out. Oh, and here's- Here's a lever. Down to this part of the boss room. Interesting, interesting. It's funny that that's in the boss room. I actually didn't even really notice the lever during the fight. As in, the deacons over there were shooting at me and I was wondering how far they would pursue me. Up here, I believe, would be Yorshka and her covenant. Maybe. It's pretty. That stained, gla stained glass window. Mm -hmm. Let's simply move on. I just wonder if there are any more illusory walls here in this. Oh, it looks kind of like a door on the wall, but the seam there in the shadow is reminiscent, but there's nothing there. Weird. Maybe if I know interacting, it won't do it. 
It's okay. It's okay, don't worry. And then, and then, monstrosity ahead. Monster ahead, which means we should flame mark it off and just start smashing this thing. Thank you. I'm, oh, you are. You are taking a lot to take down. I. Okay. Alright. Interesting. What if I circle around it? Oh, we can poise reg you, stagger you decently easily. Thanks. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. And dodge that. And what are you going to drop? Goodbye. And you're going to give us some amount of souls. Oh, but I. Oh, I didn't have the shield up. Did I? Maybe. Golden Ritual Spear. Golden Ritual Spear is a spear that can be used to cast. It's for Dark Moon Knights, cast spells. Can't use it right now. Title Pontiff. Brother Spade, Sorceries is very short period. Welcome back. Okay. That was all that was up here proper. No, not yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll come in time. Let's just go around outside. I think this might lead us outside. Oh, a hello, friend. Die. Oh, okay. Well, oh, interesting. You moved pretty far. There you go. There you go. Just a, oh, a simple gem. Wait, can I? Can I go on this part of the rafters, or? I don't think so. Okay. Well, whatever. Over there is... Is that a crystal lizard, or? No, it doesn't look like anything over there. So is... I don't think I can actually go anywhere there. Let's see. That is totally blocked off, and there's nothing on that other side. All right. Let's actually real quick sell sword, put on flame arc, and start cutting some dudes up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shields out, and oh goodness, not the blue deacons. These are the ones who were difficult to deal with back in the back in the fight. And oh my, okay, all right. Take that down and dodge. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Enjoy that. Oh, you lived. You lived on that? Interesting. Okay. All of these guys are actually really tanky. Okay. What kind of drama? Then, does not open from the side another door. Another door like that. Two locked doors. And there's one drop down. Right. Okay. So where is... That deacon. Oh, hello, over there. And these guys dropped soul drags. So I could farm haunt, I mean, Eldritch Faithful stuff from them if I really wanted to. It's an option, but in a group like this, they're actually surprisingly annoying to fight. Oh, what? One, two, three. Okay. Dodge it. One, two. Then. One, two. Any of you dropping soul drags? No, no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. One, two, three. It seemed like the fire was staggering them better. Interesting. Well, whatever. So what and where? What and where? <laughs> Still got our tears up, which is good. We can't go that side. Now it's just totally closed off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're on this way, and what if we go over on this side? Oh, is somebody shooting at me? Silver Knights, I think. All right, all right. Suit yourself. Okay. Let me just... Mm -mm. Anything to drop down and get? Or no, it doesn't seem like it. I should. This blood stain is powerful. Or at least, if I die, I'm going to leave a big blood stain. I don't want to do that. What is... Who is... Who are you? Oh, a Drang Knight. Hello. Interesting. Well, alright, I... Hmm. What if I... Just... What if I... Oh, my... Okay. Okay, alright. Drang Hammer's on one and... Twin Spear's on the other and I... Run! Oh, oh my... What? Alright, I... Hammers would probably be better against them. So the Twin Spear one will drop 
the twin spears, if I recall correctly, but the stagger is... Hmm. Let's put our hammers back on. And then just put foil mark on the hammers, and then we could probably, hopefully... Hmm. How are we gonna do this? We could... Oh, well, we... Okay, alright, and just... Oh, please. Stay out of my way. I... I was expecting bees, not you. Okay, well, whatever. I... Oh, they had Dark Moon Blade on there, and they're... Drain Knights with Dark Moon Blade? Oh, interesting, I... Alright. So that's what was going on this entire time. Oh, and this leads to... That. Okay, cool. One, two, and... Slam! Thanks, thanks, and... Oh my... Oh, what? Alright, I... Okay, heal, heal. Before anything really bad happens, if I... Okay, cool. Can I tears or want I one uh, please I want dodge mm -hmm. Let's kill one of them. I don't think they respawn. I hope they don't respawn. What is he gonna drop? I mm -hmm. need more ash and assist and how did we get that SS back? Well whatever I dodge dodge it. Okay, alright and what okay, please I I need to use tears again. I need to use tears again, I Okay, well, alright. Okay. That wasn't horrible, horrible, but what are these guys even doing? Dodge it. Slam it. Oh, well. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, well, I, I thought that would have worked. Okay, cool. Dodge, spin, and two, and I. Okay. Don't have enough for Karthus right now. Okay. Hmm. Spears are actually really tough to deal with, but oh, I didn't have the shield equipped, so I didn't get as many souls from it as I might have liked. Okay, cool. But I, oh, right, right, right. I just, okay, cool, well, and you're surprisingly dodgy, I, okay, two, three, and, okay, one, two, die, okay, give us your spears. And there we go, Drink Twin Spears. We can't use those yet. And where did the other one die? Because I killed him, but... There's another item back there. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's got to be a... Bonfire soon, I hope. Still have our Tears Effect dot, but that won't save us from everything. How much Titanite do I have? I have only two large shards right now. Okay. Soul of a Weary Warrior. What might be inside this part? Oh, hello, hello. Hi there, hello. Two, three. Just... It's an underground passage. Definitely leads to something. Not sure it'd be a bonfire. Probably not a bonfire, but... So I'm definitely overextending myself. Could get a couple level ups right now if I'm smart. Okay, getting close. Getting close. Gonna pursue me. Oh, this is. You're a magic guy. Okay. In that case, we'll just put our shield back on. And, hello, hello. One, two, three. And then. Good amount more souls from that. So we can just. One, two, three. So what's gonna be on here? Dark stone plate ring. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five. So you're dead, dead. And then. Big thing is, I hope there's a nearby bonfire. Otherwise, I will be in a bad position. Restored one Estus. How did it choose which Estus to restore? Oh, whatever. I. Hmm. Well, alright, I. Didn't expect an actual giant to be here. Two, three, four, and just... At least they're decently easy to take out a dodge, dodge, and you can stagger him too. Wow. Okay, dodge. Okay, dodge. One, two, die. Goodbye, giant, and... Okay. I'll make sure we have the shield up, and we did. Single tie, night shard. The cool giant is literally just a giant. Standard enemy giant. I wonder if any more of these are gonna sh get up. Okay, yep, you will. 
two, three, four. Slam, thanks. Okay. Got a lot of your health down, which is good. And sweep, stomp. Okay. One, two. Oh, goodness. Sure, why not? Always. I will always listen to drama. An ember. Maybe drop something? Let's see. Another regular Titan, I'm sure. Okay, whatever. Get the flame arc again in case any of the others actually get up and start fighting. Which doesn't seem like it'll be the case initially. There were two of them that weren't dead, or I guess maybe weren't sleeping deeply enough. Over here is nothing? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay then. Just ice and snow. Where is... Hmm. Anything here? No. Nothing there. How much more for... Level ups are getting expensive, expensive. Okay. Hmm. So what's past here? Is this gonna be a... In a tower now? Is this an illusory wall? Yes! What do you mean, personal choices and anxiety? It can mean a lot of things. So there are two pontiff beasts down here in the water. I am going to avoid that for now. True dark. Hmm. Mostly out of Estes, and I don't like that. Okay then, okay. I'm just gonna go up top, then another, this is a bell tower or not? Hmm. But it's just kinda, it's so vague. Okay, we're invading another world right now, okay cool. There, there are so many things that life choices could potentially mean. Without any kind of frame of reference, it's just, okay, cool, I guess. DS3 Elden Ring, not sure. Oh, is in they... They say you're trauma dumping or something, even though you're literally their roommate. Okay, let's use tears. Then use... Mmm. Mmm. The yeah, eye. Some people are just insensitive like that. Okay, so let's team up on them. And who is this guy? Go and get your healing off. Come on, come on. Just. Come on, just. Oh, well, we. Alright, alright. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, well, we, okay, okay, I, all right, I, what, what, okay, Gother is annoying, really annoying. Dodge it, dodge it, okay, thanks, two, three, and slam, okay, all right. One, two, two, and, okay, don't do that catch. Are you trying to fight them or not? Are you trying to fight them or not? I really can't tell. What is this dark spirit even doing? Just, we're trying to kill the same guy, you imbecile. What? There's nothing wrong with a gank if you're a literal, literal invader, you stupid. What in the goddamn? Play as a team, you piece of shit. Oh. Okay. No, okay, okay. Well, I wondered, because they were... If it was a fight club, I expected more people to be there, frankly. I've seen other... I've seen other... I've actually gotten a number of fur on fight clubs here. Rota sacrifices five clubs, it's just, there were only two people there, so I figured, okay, they must be actually trying to fight each other. Or, you know, actually trying to kill each other. No holds barred, which, I guess, just wasn't the case. Oh, whatever. And here it is, good old Anna Rolando. Okay, cool. To slam, and just... Okay, we gotta fight this guy on. Oh my, what? Uh, annoying place to be. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, I can't, because I don't have force on me. 
And these hammers don't do a lot of knockback. Well, I died. Okay. Oh, I didn't have tears up. Oh, that's right! Because since I did an invasion, it took my tears buff away. God damn it. Okay. it reloaded my world state and therefore stripped me of all my buffs. It's the dumbest thing. It, it literally always is. Honest to God, it's... I don't know, it's just, I... I don't really need to do a real... If I'm getting the covenant rewards, it's gonna be by cheesing it, by just farming the items. While maximizing item discovery. I could not give less of a damn about actually getting the items through, through PvP, especially because my build simply is not suited for that. I don't have a build that's good enough to actually hack it legit, especially since anyone else who's still playing DS3 these days is utterly just twinking out their builds and getting, I don't know, Splitleaf Greatsword on a soul level 30 character. It's just... It's not the thing that I have the tool set to really deal with right now. It's whatever. Okay, well... May as well kill some of these giants. Oh, can we... What if we hit the head? Oh, is that a... Oh, can you get a visceral or not? I don't think you can get a... You can! You can get a visceral on the head. That's crazy. Wow. We broke his skull. Yeah, that was impressive. I didn't think that was even a possibility. But that was a lot of fun. Okay. Either way, I... I didn't think those deacons would be shooting at me. I need to go just dispatch them real quick. Okay. Can't come down in here, which is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I... I didn't have my soul shield up. It's hard to remember that I'm not like... The coolest thing is that that critical attack actually broke, completely broke its skull. I mean, broke its helmet, which meant it, oh, come on. I... Oh, but it... hitting the big one pushed the other one back. That's really funny. Okay, die, die. Out of the way, out of the way. It's weird that somehow they can use pyromancies as a sorcery, basically. You know, everyone can use flame sorcery except the player character and what? Huh? I didn't see you. Oh, whatever. Okay. Come on, come on. It. Oh my goodness. I... Okay, cool. Come on, just die, 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 die. And you're kidding, you're kidding. Whatever, whatever. One more, one more. And just heal, heal. Stupid, 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 stupid. I... Okay. One, two, and... Need one more. It still isn't enough. Okay, whatever, die. Die. Okay, alright. As long as we have tears, as long as we have tears. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I presume they, they don't think the professor would be able to tell. Okay. Two, three, four. This not actually worked pretty well. So, two full combos. I mean, two paired hits will. Take down the deacon. Okay. Have our stuff up still. And... None of them are dropping soul drags. They'll have to come back later. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Oh, one of the... And he... Does he laugh about getting money from you having to buy his book or something? Those are the worst. You know, I've had professors before who've written books. And, but, they've always talked about, you know, being able to get the books on something like, oh, alright, okay, cool, cool, cool. Four. And all of them are his. That's just, that's scum behavior. Okay. Come on, come on, I just, uh, get this back, and okay, his head's close to the ground right now, but, and of course I need to... Use a flask. Another flask to get the buff up. So stupid. Okay, and just a couple more. Just a couple more. And 
Dodge, dodge it. Okay, cool. One, two, and die. Cool. Was that necessary? Not really. I don't know. Okay. Time not shown. So then we go back up again. Okay. You know, I... I try not to advocate for violence, but have you seen the movie Oppenheimer? Okay. Watch... Watch the beginning of Oppenheimer and do what he did. Okay. Oh, but I... What in the... Okay. What? What the hell? We couldn't even roll. The word... This... I hate this game. It's just... It's what I get for having literally 16 vigor in the game. But still. I just... The fact that they could just do that. The worst thing is honestly just having basically zero attunement. Honestly, I'm going to level attunement to 17 before I level all the others to 17. Because it raises the possibility that I might be able to have... The main issue is that I have such low focus that if I use Tears or Karthus, I need to use an entire other Ashen Flask in order to get enough FP to use the other one. One's big and the other is tiny. Karthus doesn't cost that much, but my FP bar is so small that after casting Karthus, I don't have enough to cast Tears. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, die. Die. Then just out of my way, out of my way. One, two, and okay, force. This doesn't do damage. Okay. But just even rolling on wake up couldn't do it. It just shot at the worst possible time. You know, maybe if I had some kind of actual serviceable projectile that I could use on them, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I could try using soul drags or something. But there isn't really, I wouldn't imagine there's a really good sniping spot to do that from. Okay. And the range on that fire attack is just way too much. Okay. Okay, cool. Die. One, two, three, four. Dodge. Thanks. One, two. Okay. I am going to try my best. Uh, not die again. And oh, but I'm I'm really stupid. I didn't have the didn't have my shield equipped. It's... The most annoying thing is that it doesn't work if it's not actively equipped. If it's just in hotbar, it doesn't do anything. That's so annoying to have to remember, especially when you're sleepy. I'm gonna kill Aldrich, and that's probably gonna be all I get done today. It's not bad, but... Two, three, four... At least these giants are quick to kill. Die, die. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have... So many Titanite shards that they're starting to go in storage. That's crazy. Three... There we go, and just... Are you... Did we break the head, or... What happened? Okay, cool. One, two, three... Thanks, I guess. Ah, oh, stupid. I just... One, two... There we go, you're dead. Okay. So we need to use another one to use tears again, and I am... Starting to go insane. Oh, and this time they dropped their poop. Thanks. Okay. I just... Only... Yeah. I was holding out for a while, actually. But... We should use that right away in case I need to use tears again or something. It really is. It all returns to poop. Yeah, how am I gonna deal with those silver knights? I feel like maybe if I tried to 
go around the other. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Rolling, healing. This is a relatively safe spot, but relatively. Relatively. Okay, cool. Come on, just. Mm. If I were you over here, make some of that work, but let's just. Oh, there, hello, and one, two, three, four, and slam, okay. And of course you got your lightning sword. Just dodge and slam the hammers down it. Oh my goodness. Dodge and one, two, three, four. Yeah. One day. Oh, Dragon Slayer Great Bow? Oh, that's really good. I think that might have been a random drop chance true. I'm gonna need to use that eventually to slay a dragon. So, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. It all returns to poop. Eventually. So can I... Backstab you? Let's see. To keep those tears up, so... Oh, well we did... That did not work. That did not work. Okay. Slam, and then we just... Continue the combo as much as we can. Thank you, thank you. Come on. One... One... Two... Three... Oh, well, we fell instead. Dumb. Slam it. Oh, alright. I just... Okay, cool. One, two. Die, die. Okay. Yeah, that was nearly a one-shot, and I did not like that. One, two, three, four, and... Oh, Silver Knight Spear. Okay, I... Interesting. Forgot about that one. Dodge it. One, two... Three, four, and overhead slam. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're finally free. Was this your last day of school? Either way, congrats. Okay, so this is the shortcut right here. Okay. Which would mean, among other things, I can and probably should. How many orange time night charts do I have? Can and probably should. Oh, okay. What do you mean wouldn't be here? Next Friday? Are you gonna die when school ends? Or- oh! Or graduation. Oh, okay. Fair. So there is a shortcut. Where's the bonfire? Makes sense. Okay. I'm just gonna continue onward and... What am I doing? Dropping down there would be nice, but... Can I get there at- oh? Was that the- what is over there? Huh. This A. So this was Dark Moon Tomb, but- wait. Nobody's there. In that case. Ember. Weary of Miscreant. Try dash attack. Nope. Time for hints. Oh, okay, so there's a- Lover over here, but what will that be to? And that, oh, rotating tower! Rotating tower! It's okay. Well, I've never taught anything in my life, and I could never teach because I don't have that level of patience. Well, it's just like the one in Anne Arundel. That's what's going on. So, where is... Bonfire where? Bonfire where? Oh, I think we need to... Oh, that's cute. That's exciting. That should be fun. So there are a lot of things I... Oh, interesting. So do you that use that as an opportunity for relevant stuff then, or... Hmm. That's where Pontiff was. So now we're over here. Okay. Miss Italian. Do you recognize it now? Do you recognize the name? Pizza's here. Okay. Well, you didn't see it. Maybe they are. Do you recognize this cathedral? Do you recognize... Do you recognize this name? Either way, we have an opportunity to go back and level up a couple more times real quick, so I'll do that. I'll do that. 
<laughs> ah. Got a couple of levels real quick before I mess things up more. Level up, it. Thank you. Get a bit more attunement. That should be enough FP. And then I guess... What do we want more of right now? I guess more Vigor. That should be good. Vigor's good. Big question is, can we test Karthus in tears together now? Yes! I finally have enough to cast both Karthus and Tears so I have to worry. This is a good day. Okay. So I will head over to Anual Wando again. Ouch. Wait, I have the same voice as your teacher too. Okay, this is worrisome. Maybe, maybe it's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of situation. It's okay, it's okay. I hope you enjoyed your Coca-Cola. Okay. Oh, but right, I need I need to cast tears. Big thing is, big thing is. It means I might have a secret twin. And that's scary. That part is scary. Okay. So Yeah, exactly. Should get him to stream with me. Maybe. No. No. Okay, so we've raised this up, so what if we go back down the stairs? Well, actually, that might not be true. Maybe it's a situation where there's an evil twin and an evil er twin. No, and I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna go bald. It doesn't run the family. No man anywhere in my family line has lost his hair. Which is something I feel quite lucky about. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well... The entire point of doing it like this... Is so that I can stream all I want... And not get recognized by people in real life. And that would kind of go in the way of that. But... But wait, actually, wait. Okay, then we go down, then we go down. So how can we... Does this only go two ways, or... How far can we... Oh, we can make this go down even farther. Oh, no, it only has two levels. Okay. But... If I ever did anything in real life, I'd have to get a wig. But I don't think I'd ever do that in the first place. But even still, if I did, I would get a wig. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Being able to hashtag slay anonymous. I didn't say that. Okay. So let's go over and fight these silver knights again. Oh, well, alright. Didn't expect that. One, two, and... Oh, well, alright. I... Okay, cool. And one, two, three, four... What? What? Okay, alright. I... Interesting. Hmm. Let's use tears again real quick. And right, I also forgot to put my shield back up, so that'll be good. Hello, hello. Just one, two, three, four, and overhead slam, and oh, we missed. We missed. Dodging. Mm -hmm. Well, how fast do you hit your pizza? That's the question. More Titan headshots that we can't even carry. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and overhead slam, thanks. Okay, one. Yeah, just jump off, fall to your death, why don't you? That would be great, that would really make my day. And then just one, two, three, die. Torch corpse, die net shard. Okay, fair. Wait, what? Don't get a BBL, that might kill you. Okay, well, take your time, have fun, see ya. So what else is... Hmm. Other... Other guys... Oh, there, hello, and then you'll put that away, but before you do that, we'll just slam you in. Oh, well, actually, how much stamina can I use? It's all about continuing the combo as long as possible. Okay. One, two... Overhead, thanks. Couldn't go for a spin, slam, or anything, but we'll be alright. Okay. Then, oh, but wrong one, wrong one. 
There we go. Then we can get our shield back out and use tears when necessary. So let's eliminate all these silver knights if possible. One, two, three, four, and slam, and well that that will make you fall to your death. Wait, it won't. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. So I guess we'll have to find some other way to get down there. Okay. Just slam it. Two, three, four, and that's actually a decent attack to try to counter. Due to its follow-up and one, two, one, two. Okay, cool. Let's just up again. Hate jumpings. Oh, you were telling me to jump. Okay, but what do you hate? Me. So we need to go down here. Some other things. And closer and closer to more levels, hopefully. Hmm. Eventually, I'll get 18 strength. And then, I know you don't. That was the joke. Well, maybe because I said that, now you do. Either because you changed your mind because I'm too smug. But, as I was saying... Go down here. Pursue you. Well, I appreciate that. And, oh, well, alright, I... Mm-hmm. We need to. That's smart. You don't want me to get too big of a head. I mean, it... Uh, it would... Frankly, beyond everything else, it would just be unsightly. Okay. Let's use our car this way, Mark. And then they don't cut the pizza. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that common in Italy, or...? Goodbye, goodbye. Actually made you fall. And we can get those souls, thank you. So what's down here? The other remaining spot. Oh, this is just the other way up. What if I went... Could I drop down here? Could I make that drop? I bet I could, I bet I could. Let's just run down here and see what happens. Jump and... Hello! That wasn't bad at all. Maybe if I... But sometimes you ask, and they just don't do it, and then you get mad. And you... Oh, but they just sent us back down here. Nothing of note actually happened. It was obtained. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay. So in that case... There's stuff down here. There's that slanted roof. Some more silver knights. Stuff down here, too, and I... I do feel like I should try to check that out, but... Ha. Huh. Also, Anne Orlando proper, and that just... There we go! Quantic attack. Okay. It's funny how many they just drop pretty much for free. And there is... We'll figure it out. How much more? How much more? Anyone over here? And this is... Oh! And that's so we could get the Dragon Slayer bow normally. Interesting. What else is down here? Anything over here, or... Otherwise, I'll just go back using Homeward Bone. Yeah, that's all. Okay, cool. So in that case, what's left is Anna Orlando, mostly. Let's go to the shrine briefly. We can get a quick level up. Hmm. Alright. How much large do I have? I'm still not enough for anything I really want to level. Welcome home, sweet. Mm. Very well. Because eventually I will be using Crystal Chunk instead of Priest, so I'm kind of done upgrading, frankly. Tally, that might be good. Probably. Uh, well, Endurance or Stamina is also always nice. Okay. Cool. Hello, Flames Guide V. So, I'm gonna go back to Anne Orlando, but I need to take a brief pee break and then maybe get, eat a little fruit. So, I'll be right back again. Thank you.
Okay. I'm back and I'm alive. Maybe. It's the idea, at least. I'm back to Anno Wando. Oh. Oh. That's not good. You okay, or...? I didn't know that... Spicy food triggered an illness response for you. Either way, actually, there are a couple of pontiff beasts down in a watery area that I want to beat up. So I'll do that. Oh well. Well, if it works. Hmm. I'm eating some rye crackers right now. Rye to now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, but right. Cheers up. Yeah, yeah. Really tasty, too. Okay. So, flame mark on the twin blades. And then we switch back to the shield. Oh, nice. The spicy gorgonzola. That sounds good. Yeah. More or less, more or less. Mm -hmm. Let me take out some of these guys. But would the hammer or the cell sword blades be better right now? I think it would be cell sword. Hammer, if I wanted to go back. Well. I'll save as many resources as I can before fighting the giants. Oh, thanks. At least I was immune during that knockdown. That was actually nice. And, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Die. Thanks, thanks. Mm -hmm. One, two. Good, good. One, two, three. Cool is to get to the other side. Like the chicken crossing the road. Okay. Alright. Come on in. Just. Hmm. Okay. Timing is a little off with that. Dodge and. How do we wanna. One, two, and. Oh my. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's use that to block it. And then we can. Use that. One, two, three. Then we. One, two. Okay. So, oh, but we're, we keep forgetting to equip the right. Have the shield equipped so we can. Oh, whatever, whatever. I don't need. Oh, that match. We'll be fine. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Either way. Gotta go down. Have our buff equipped, so we need to go down and kill those pontiff beasts. That was what I was about to do. Oh, don't you worry. I was as in this one or the one with the dark quartz. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited. It's just okay. Eliminating one at a time. Yeah, that's the idea. I could try pyromancies, I suppose. Hmm. Cart the sway mark and to dual wheel beams. So in what way could I get Okay, cool. So that one's engaging me right now. Doesn't seem like it's gonna call its friend or something, and really? This this time it cannot be worse. Oh my goodness. I okay. Dodge, dodge. Okay, alright. I didn't know they have lightning. Huh. Interesting. I wonder how much health it'll have when I come back. It's always the invasion. It's always, always, always the invasion. Okay. I have wood here. Well, that's one heck of a name. Okay, and where are... Okay. So we go down around... And... That's broken, so we need to go down this way. And then eliminate... The Dark Spirit, which... I guess should be done right now. Hello, hello. Hi. Goompy has died. Just one. Oh, well, alright. We. Come on, one, two. 
Or you fall to your death. That works too. Goodbye. Yay! Okay. <laughs> if it works, it works. Okay. Oh, but I, I forgot to put the shield back on. Whoa. I would have got some more souls if I did. Oh well. And there you are. Okay. Hmm. How much are you gonna... And it got all of itself back. Fun. Oh, what? Okay. Right, we... It got all of itself back. And we lost our tears buff. I hate... I hate... I hate... Oh. You know, I would say maybe I should just unequip a covenant item. But I get summoned so rarely. And usually, I mean, that summoning was fun. And also, I'm four years away from... Four concords away from being able to get Dark Moon Ring, which is just this ring, but you get two additional spells instead of just one. Right, we gotta put tears up. Which was fun. Which, I mean, which will be nice. And four more helping out opportunities of Blue Sentinel, or eventually as a Dark Moon Blade proper, would help with that, but it's just... It is what it is. So I think I can definitely get to Aldrich today. Kill Aldrich. Probably just by spamming pyromancies. It would be the simplest way to do it. And the big thing is that I determine how I'm going to fight an enemy usually by looking at its biggest weakness. And if I have a way to target that weakness, that's what I do. So if it's elemental, then I'll go with magic. Unless it's lightning, because I don't have any kind of lightning magic yet. Or if it's a physical type, then I use paired weapons and pick a relevant buff. The best buff I can use. And Aldrich is specifically weak to fire, if I recall correctly, which means... Using fire on him should... Using pyros on him should be a decent way to take him out. And also just... It would give me an opportunity to use... Some of the better pyros I have. So that'll be fun. I mean, in the end, it... I think the idea that a lot of people have that magic in a Souls game is inherently kind of a cheesy or cheaty strategy. Ignores that... You have to really plan things out and prepare things for magic to work. Because you need to know about enemy resistances to get around them, have ways to deal with enemies that are good against magic, etc. Because... Well, the big thing about it is that in most Souls games, Pyromancy kind of exists as a backup for other magic magic builds when they run into something that resists their primary damage type, such as, you know, magic or lightning or even dark, I suppose. But in... Ah. What's interesting is that in Elden Ring, actually, where magic builds are argu arguably maybe at their strongest when they're good, they're also really, really bad when they're not. Because aside from, unless you actively build faith, you can only use magic damage and physical damage on an intelligence build. Nothing else is ex nothing else is accessible to you. And you know, in the end, it won't really be a huge problem for me because I'm going to be doing this silly build again. But it does mean that even though you can do a funny, funny big laser beam. Magic can't just cheese every single thing. Okay, cool, and just... What if I... One... Oh, oh, alright, and... Okay. Big thing is, if we can hit the head, we can... Dodge, dodge, and... Hello there, oh, what? Okay. Alright, and dodge, slam, and... Okay, please, just... Out of the way. Oh, please. I... Great! What? Okay, alright, and... Mmm, I... Excuse me? I... Okay. Hmm. One, two... Uh, you've got to be kidding me. I... Dodge it, dodge, dodge it. Uh, uh... I... Alright. Tears... I know, I know. I'm just... Trying to find a way and a place to cast them again. And it... It's eluding me. I mean, I guess... Oh, I... I should have been using this wall. This pillar, but... Oh, is the other one? The other one has noticed me. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. So what I'm gonna do now is... 
Well, I was gonna try to use Homeward Bone or something, but that's not gonna happen. What? What? Okay, go ahead, eat me. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was certainly something. Hmm. Big issue was, frankly. Oh, yeah. No, they do hit pretty vertically. I was just thinking. Kind of like Bloodborne, you can damage body parts at times to make fights easier. Or open up for a visceral. So that's what happened with that one giant. We broke his head and got a visceral, I mean a critical on his head. It's only a visceral. In, El in Bloodborne, in any other game, it's a critical attack. But, how to remind myself. But, you can get a critical on the Pontiff Beast by breaking their heads. So I just... I need to be more aggressive, but not too aggressive. Whenever they finish off an attack, I should go for the head once and then be ready to roll away. Because being able to get that visceral is going to make that fight possible. I don't need not even easy, just actually possible. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even say slow and steady as much as just sensible. Okay, not greedy is fair. But I do need to be somewhat aggressive. I mean, not even just somewhat. Decently aggressive. Okay. One, two, three. Use these pillars to block it. Then. Okay. Wait, actually is... I'm not sure. What? How much relevance does having the shield equip or not equip have? Oh, whatever. Alright. All right. Die. Die again. Thank you. One, two... The Pontiffs are fun to beat up, at least. That said, they... They're technically a way to farm the Soul Dregs for Aldrich Faithful Covenant. But until I really find a way to totally beef up my item discovery... Because right now, I don't have any anything augmenting item discovery other than just my relatively high luck. If I wanted to farm them from them, and I probably will do that eventually for the Gru and Phelan Keep, so that's fast, among other things, I would be... I... that Bloodstain is gonna suck to get. I think I'll simply not focus on it right now, maybe. I should have this off for tears. Okay. Hi, Pawn of Beast. Hello. I... Probably gonna screw me, but whatever. Come on, just... Just... Okay, cool, and... Dodge, dodge, thanks. Oh, wow, okay. Thanks, I didn't expect that. Just dodge. Okay, alright. Just don't... The other one still doesn't notice me, which is good, but I... Okay, alright, I... Hmm, interesting, I... Heal, heal. Just... Let's tears it up, tears it up. I... I'm not going to be able to live. I won't be able to survive this fight. But I uh, just... I'm going to get that bloodstain, leave, and... Yeah. Okay. How much do I have? I have that. Shrine Bonfire, cool. Thanks, thanks, and... Get a level up, probably, and then just... I need to buy more Homeward Bones, among other things. Should really put that back in the hot bar. So what do we want right now? I think, just for the sake of a bit more damage, probably just level up dexterity a little. And that, that's a decent increase right now. So, let's buy a couple of... How many Umbral Ash? And we can do that later. I don't need to give her the poop ashes right now. Get a few more Homeward Bones. Right over here, and let's get seven. That's a an auspicious number. And we'll return to Pontiff Bonfire and pray. Mm -hmm. 
Bontiff, Bonfire, Tiff, Sola. I'm not saying anything. I didn't even really notice, but it's interesting how much stamina casting tears costs. Because it does make sense in the sense of it's not really a buff you're supposed to use during a fight. Though you can manage it if you run away fast enough and far away enough, but. Hmm. I guess the fastest way to get back there would be just running around the giants. This is where the Drang Knights originally were. I... I don't need to do any more semi-grinding runs like that. Uh... She's enough, frankly. Okay. So we're gonna reapply Flame Arc. We're gonna go down here. Try our best. And then... Hmm. The nice part about this is that means we have enough still in the tank for another tears cast if we need, if we want. Okay. Right over there. Then we get that shield back out, even though we can't quite use it yet. Then we we're this part of beast over and we try our best to hit the head. Two and jump. Thank you. And can we hit that? Well, we didn't hit anything. We didn't hit anything. One, two, three. Oh, alright, alright, and just heal, heal. Thanks. Dodge, thank you. One, two, three, and four, five. Oh, well, one more, one more. Did it, did it die? What? Oh, oh my, oh my lord, I... We're very close to killing it. One more hit will do it. Okay. Run in it. Okay, die, die. There we go, one Ponty piece down. Okay. And we didn't even have to reapply tears. So let's just... So going for the head is not really going to be an option in any meaningful sense. That's, that is a shame. So, other one's coming. Oh, one human drags. That's fine. Okay. Jump it. Okay. One, two, three. Dodge. Oh, alright, alright. And interesting. Okay. One, two. Oh, well, alright. And one, two. Dodge. Okay, well, okay. Now we can just do that while you do your lightning breath, and... Second Pontiff Beast down. Oh, Ring of Favor. That should be good, maybe. So anything else in... Oh, there's a there's a bonfire down here. It's actually really funny. Okay. That wasn't that bad. So a deep gem, and what is over here? And you are... Oh, this is... Archdeacon McDonald, this is Aldrich Faithful. Sure, let's do it. We're evil now, we're evil. Aldrich Faithful. Okay. Ten proof of the covenant. Don't need to offer any human drugs yet. And it's. Oh, the covenant is unlocked by that room. Cathedral of the Deep, far beyond the edge of deep waters. And disturb loyal spirits of those who would trespass the room. Cathedral. Automatically, while it's equipped, so let's equip that. Let's do that, why don't we? evil. Okay. That would allow us to theoretically get human dregs. Eventually. Either way, we can... Oh, we're invading another world right now. Let's let that happen. Let's, let's let that happen. Hmm. Alright. We're in a good level range for that, actually. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, another one's shown up too. John. I think I saw this guy already, actually. Maybe. Unless there are multiple people with lowercase John is their name. Which is possible. Okay. First off, tears. Then we'll flame mark up just until we run into them. But where are they? That's the thing. I really can't tell. The knights aren't dead, and I... Nothing is... 
Okay, so they're down there. Seems like they might just die on their own, actually. Okay. Let's just drop down here and... Took a bit of damage from that fall, but... Dynamic entry is... A good idea. Hello there, hello. Hi, John. No honor. Honor is no question. All we gotta do... Is approach. Hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. And one, two, and... Slam didn't work. Not quite. Okay, so... Oh, thank you. Nice Estus. Hmm. You gonna go for that big katana again, or what? Hmm. Just... One, two, and... Successful roll catch. Nice. Nice, and just... If you ask this up, I will kill you. Okay. Oh, well, we... Oh, stupid. I... Mmm. Use your Estus and then die. Use your Estus and die. I'm chasing. I'm chasing you. Come down and... Slam... Oh, well, if I'd done it... If I'd done a plunge attack, that would have done it. I would have done it. So can we actually... Mmm. Mm -mm. What if I... Slam... Oh, well, we were, we were close. If you use Estus, if you use Estus, you're dead. You're dead in me. Why are we lagging out? Why are we lagging out? And I, oh my, what, what, huh? That connection just totally crapped itself for some reason. And I, well, ugh, oh, please, and I, well, what if I, mm -hmm. is it another Aldrich Faithful? Is that the other guy, or is it? Mm -hmm. No, literally, I, I was weirded out by that for some, some for sure. Let's actually get that back up. Thank you! You finished the job for me. Fairly well. Fairly well. Well, more human tracks. Exciting. First pastor of the Ruined Cathedral defeated, and... What's interesting is... Oh, but I should... I forgot to put the shield back on. Okay. Oh, whatever. How much do we need for... Hmm... A lot. Let's go and water reserve. Try to get another level up real quick. Which. Maybe we'll put that into strength. Maybe. Because I don't use enough armor that more vitality would be really good right now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, I did not intend to do that. And then Okay, sure. Okay. I'll be good for the good for the hammers at least. And then and then Travel back to Amorlando. So we got that part done. And so I think we're gonna take down Aldrich and then go to Irithal Dungeon on Sunday. So Irithal Dungeon, Profane Capital, aren't that long. Irithal's pretty huge, wrangling. So, I should have expected for it to take a long time, especially given that Pontiff's a hard boss, too. We'll see. And we're invading again. Okay. Cool. I wonder if and what the cooldown is on that, because I might actually have to unequip it to progress through the area. But, the fact that we're kind of lower level, frankly, might be a good thing. It's probably a good thing. Okay. Karthus. Ashen Estus. Switch back and... Shield up. Okay, cool. And where is... Where are they? They were over here, which means... Oh, they're high. This is Ember's Delph. Hmm. I'm gonna try to chase you over or something. Oh, is that power within? That might be power within. I bet that's power within. Hello there. Hi. One, two, slam down. Thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. One, two, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I what? You gotta, you gotta. Get over here. Okay. I have no interest in a fair fight. 
You can stay over here as long as you like. I'll just pass through. Here. Maybe I could go around the other way to try to force you out. He's expecting me to be impatient, and frankly, he's kind of fair for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next step, R2. I was told that this was the best way to bait out an attack. Okay. Come on, Delph. Come on. Oh, pfft. okay. Let's put that back on. So no more tears, but whatever. Oh, wow, okay. Big poke. One, two, spin, slam. Okay, now you're going back. Thank you. Uh, all right. Okay, pop that and that's just dodge, dodge. Okay, can I slam and... Oh, well, I dodge. Okay, please, please, just... Oh, you gotta be... You gotta be kidding me. One, one... Ugh, kidding. I just... Drain hammers are a fun weapon. Well, my build's terrible, and... I could make better use of them if I use them some other way. What if I woke up the giants? What if I tricked him into waking up the giants? What can I do? I mean, the big thing is that he obviously has no interest in actually going forward until I'm dead. Which means that it wouldn't be very interesting, but if I absolutely had to, and I wanted to, and frankly I kinda do, I'll just guard this place. I'll wait for him to advance on his own. Hello there, hello. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm playing dirty. So he isn't taking down the Drang Knight, so it seems like he doesn't know. Know about the giants, most likely. Just gonna wait up here. Have fun. If you don't want to do anything, don't do anything. There you go. Okay, cool. The giants are wakey. One of the Drang Knights is wakey. Now which way are you gonna go, and how can we make your life hell? We got one flask left, and Flame Mark will probably run out soon. Definitely, okay. He's probably trying to pull a runner. Which would be the best place to see where he's going? I just, I don't want to use Separation Crystal. There's part of me that just, if I leave, I'm giving him what he wants. Uh... I got one Estus left, and my build is crap. I can't play fair. I really can't. Okay. If only I... If I had one more spell slot, I could equip some projectile to poke with and pass through him. That would be nice. But I don't. Where's he going? Yeah, the only rule is to finish the game. There's no such thing as cheating in Dark Souls. Unless you're using cheat engine and hacking. Anything that they put in the game is something they wanted you to use. Where is he? Where'd he go? Aldrich Faithful. Another Aldrich Faithful showed up. Okay, fun. Yeah, just keep... Where'd he even go? Did he use Chameleon or something? Exactly. Where did he go? Is he just hiding and waiting for us to leave? That is a valid strategy. I actually respect that. Oh, there he is. Imbecile. Okay, he was waiting for me to come over here and... Let's go back to the giant. This is much of an... <sighs> Coward as me. Okay. Over here. Let's gang up on him. Okay. Okay, cool. So Delph is clearly running out of HP. Was he attack- oh, trying to attack me or- Oh my, what? Please, and I- oh, come on, just- He's better than me, he's stronger too. He was avoiding using that Estus. Interesting. Well, okay, I- 
Mm. One and that didn't hit. Okay. So who is pro he might go for me if he knows what he's doing. He's paid any attention to the amount of essence I've been using. Two and Okay, we can only go for two hits, really. One. Mm. Two on one, two on one. And alright. Just got a vulture. Vulture. Focus on attacks from behind it. One, two, and okay, all right. We're, I'm out of assist, which is bad. Come on, just okay. You focus on me. We can. All right, okay. I don't have anything left, which means I have to be really, really smart about how I handle most of this. One. Mm. Why is that not working? Okay. Oh my, oh. One. I, okay. Two. One. Two. Okay, well. How much Estus does this guy have? Well, I presume if he, he doesn't look like he's using a build that uses any kind of skills. So I presume all of his Estus are purely in health, which, oh my goodness, I, come on, come on. I just, I'm trying so hard to, if we can take advantage of his greed. Okay. He is trying to take me down, so if I... Hmm, if I make this unworkable for you, I can... There we go! I didn't do all that much, but more human dregs for me. Okay, cool. Fun. Oh, but I switched the shield off when I shouldn't have. Whatever. I don't know. Power of teamwork. All I had to do was all I had to do to win was dodge. It's like Toho. So, so go over here. Take on these guys. The power of friendship. Powerful indeed. No comment. Really, really. Okay. All right. I. Oh, all right. Fine. Okay. Hitting another world is Aldrich Faithful. And that was perfectly calm. <laughs> right in the middle of our dodge, we got teleported. Our... Hmm. Where are they all? It would frankly be really funny if I ended up getting all of the... Where is he? It's okay. Fey tail. All the stuff I needed. All the resources I needed just by actually doing real fights. It's possible. Let's chase that guy over. If I could force him to run towards the deacons, I could make that fight go really silly. Someone is getting crushed. So... Where is... He's over there actually fighting them. Which means it's a perfect time to just... Clown on him. One! One! Okay, alright, and... Please. Hmm. One, two. Oh, I should have gone for the combo proper. One, two. There we go. No more of you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Duty fulfilled. Human dreams. Okay. This is fun. It's not the nicest thing for me to be doing. <laughs> yeah. But I, the thing about it is, it's a really good time to do it, in the sense that I'm at a level range where I'm getting a lot of chances to invade. The issue with that is, you know, I actually do want to be this area, preferably today. Okay, but that, 
Pummel with the lance is... Is the one with the lance gone, or is it just out of sight? Okay, it's, it was just out of sight. Hello there. No, the really cool aim, but literally out of sight. Out of mind, and overhead, slam, and dodge. Thank you. One, two, oh, alright. One, two, and... Oh, what? What? Okay. Hmm. Just dodge, and one, two, three, four, and slam, and one more. There we go. Okay. Tie nut shard, more... A large tie nut shard, that's good. That's six, which... Might be enough for upgrading something relevant eventually. But, oh, oh, we should. More tears, more tears. Oh, but that side's open right now, that's fine. No demons left, sadly. I don't know, maybe not sadly. This should be locked by some contraption, as one does. The more we explore, I do have enough for a level up right now. Should probably do that sooner than later. It is funny that I technically accidentally kind of twinked my build by just dying a bunch and therefore not leveling up. What? What sounded like Quad Retainer? Mm -hmm. Over here. Try jumping! Oh, Visions of Victory. Oh, probably because of pushing the demons off there. And this is where the giant blacksmith, the blacksmith of the gods, it... And Orlando and DS2 was. DS1 was. Giant's Cold. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, I. Invading another world. Aldrich Faithful. Can I make a message? Okay. Well, we got through a little. Gonna have to re apply the buff, though. Hmm. I wonder how far up I can get. We'll see. Cathedral Trespasser time. So I assume we usually get summoned kind of ahead of where they are. So. I wonder where they actually are then. We're down here. And the Silver Knights are still doing their thing, which means... Oh, there they are. Okay. So let's accost them over here. They're kind of stuck on that path, so if we guard the edge of that path... In conjunction with the knights, we can be silly about that. Hi there, hello. Hi. Where are they? Super Ember's time, and they went down there, did they? Oh, I guess they just don't know what's going on then. Hmm. Where did they go? Just trying to get back up, or? Hmm. Yeah, take your time. I'm glad these guys can't hit me. Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're out of Ash and Estes, and are they... Are they trying to force a fair fight? I don't like that. I only fight when the odds are heavily unbalanced in my favor. Wait, who died? Did they die? That is... Oh, did they go down there to fight, or... What happened? I... It's interesting. It's true. I'm a cheater, a liar. A little evil. I'll cop to that. So they're tossing fireballs, which means if we go around and ambush him from the other side, this should be more than doable. Can I get through here? Oh, no. Seems like a good place for one of those fatty messages. Okay. Nice thing is that Karthus Waymark lasts basically forever. So I don't, don't have to worry about using it too early. Oh, another Aldrich Faithful. Faithful Fennec invaded. It's weird that we haven't gotten invaded ourselves. I guess it's probably because we're kind of low level right now. Okay. Nice! Okay. Cool. Oh, they're using Chaos Bed Vestiges? That's evil. It's actually evil. One, one, two... Okay. I should use my skill. Well, I was getting invaded by plenty of watchdogs if they're on Ember and no Ember. And I figured Aldrich Faithful would be different. I mean, the same as a result. That is apparently not true. Okay, well, alright. 
So this guy has frayed blade, which is interesting because either he did things in a really weird way to do Rin City before this part, or he's doing on a new game plus or something. Okay. Giants, come on, giants. Gotta chase you down. Okay. One. Mmm. You're trying to skip. Oh, okay. Come on, just. Alright, alright. More we can. Okay. Deal with. Mm. If we can trap you more or less, then the Chaos Vestige Bad Vestiges spam is gonna get kind of brutal. Okay. But no, this guy having Frayed Boy is crazy. What? Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, thanks. I was not going to go for a duel. Okay. Oh, we could roll catch. That's good. Successful roll catch. And just... Thank you, thank you, and... Roll and... Goodbye! Goodbye! Thank you. Okay. That was fun. You know this? There's nothing like invading, nothing like getting invaded, really. That said, I've never actually gotten... To be fair, a player only invaded me... Only invaded me a few times. Never act I haven't gotten a kill on an invader in DS3 yet. Okay. I'm just... I need to remember to have that shield up. And we're already invading another world. Okay. Okay. Alright. Is Aldrich faithful? Well, we are faithful. To Aldrich. Hmm. The big thing is... At... 10 human drags turned in, you get a really good... Item. Well, you get a really good spell. Well, decently, you get... You get Great Deep Soul, which is actually pretty great. Which could be good as something to use against Dancer, because she's weak to dark pretty significantly. We'll see. Okay, so... It's gonna go down this way, and... Hmm. Toss in. It's down there. Okay. So could we get... The Drain Knights seem to be dead. So what about the giants over here? Hello, hello. Hi. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Let's just... Oh, okay. Ah, smart, you jumped out of the way. Hmm. So where are you gonna run to? Let's chase you down. One. Hmm. One slash. Dodge. Slap. Or miss. Or miss. Okay. Question is... Where can we push you? Where can we chase you? One. Just have to... One, two, and slam you down. Thanks. Just assume we're gonna S this up. So let's just slap. Oh, but we... Ah, oh, we failed that... Failed to do that plunge attack. One. Okay, you're stuck here. One. Okay. Roll catch unsuccessful. One. One, spin, and slam, thank you. Dodge it. Oh, wow, that was big. It was really big. Okay, cool. So just dodge. Thanks. We need to lure the other guys over somehow. Dodge, slam, and... What was... I didn't have any kind of thorn stuff equipped, so what's going on? Faithful G invaded. There is... Where are they? Must have dropped down somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hello. Come on. Time for the gank, time for the gank. Okay, you're down here. What if I... There we go, and just one, two, and... Oh, well, we could kind of make that work. That was good. Getting that plunging attack off is crazy, and I... One, two, and slam... Oh, well, that didn't work because of how you were. One, two... That was evil. That was outright evil. There we go. Okay. Nice. 
No, seriously, I feel bad. Only a little. It's what you signed up for going to Anna Wonder while Embered. I think it was Embered. Yep. Peter Griffin was Never Amber and Anne Orlando. Worst mistake of my life. Sounded more like a New Yorker than Peter Griffin. I should die. So. Already? Okay. Alright. Head down here in this part of the cathedral. Oh, more deacons. Cool. Hell. There's gotta be another bonfire here somewhere, I presume. Oh well. Kill Aldrich or something, and Aldrich Faithful, yes, honey. So there's another another friend of ours in here already. Nameless Knight. Okay, so they censored that themselves. That isn't censored at base anymore. Okay. So it's time to team up on this poor sop. Okay. Oh there. Oh well. Almost. One. Two, and slam you down. Nice, and just presume you're gonna try to S this up. Won't let that happen. Oh, no. Oh, please. I, mm. Come on, just get over here. We're chasing. Oh, and I ran into the other invader. Stupid. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, okay, and. Mm. We're already back at full. More or less, more or less. So this might be a little. Unless we... Oh, please. Not. Mm -mm. I'm gonna move in on the mirror. One. Okay. One. Two. And slam the hammers. Nice. One. Oh, or not. Or not. Or not. And just... One. Or chase you over and... Once you get stuff in, we'll just... How can we... Mm, waiting for stuff to run out or... What? Okay. Well, okay. We can chase you again and... Backstab, or I thought we could have backstabbed that, but you changed your direction. You changed your direction. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, you could continue that combo for a long time. Interesting. Well, all right, keep on. We could have made use of that stagger button smarter. Okay. All right, just card this way, mark it up, and shield back it. One, uh, two, and slam the hammers down. And okay. One, and one, two, and oh my goodness, you. Okay. What we. Ah, uh, please. One, or nothing? Nothing? Wow. And. Okay. I could have continued that combo, but it's smarter, but. One, two, and catch. Slam almost, but. We should. Ah. Uh, Please. Fire bombs are... Slam and... Thank you. Cool. Just one, three, and... Well, we... Okay. One, two, and... That's not... Okay. One, two... Finally! And that was close, too. Tears come in clutch, as always. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was a fun fight. I, I'm i glad that I'm getting a good amount of PvP engagement in. I, think, I didn't think it would happen much, because one, I don't really ever accept to get invaded by NPC invaders. I don't really do co-op, I don't summon help. And I also don't... I figured I would be getting Covenant rewards almost exclusively by farming the item manually. Which I'll have to do for pretty much everything other than Aldrich Faithful, but for Aldrich Faithful, I think I'll be able to do it that way. I'm already invading another world. It's just wild at this point. So where is... I know there was another bonfire over here in the original. As in, in Dark Souls 1. I'm not sure if there's a corresponding bonfire in this version. We'll see. All right, time for more fun. How many human dregs do we have? We have seven, Artorius. So someone thinks he's a big shot. Someone thinks he's a big shot. Okay, let's use this. Figure out where this guy is. Then hopefully pound his face in. See if it, we'll see if it happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I'm just happy that this game and this specific aspect in this specific section of the game is this active in the year of our Lord 2024. It, it's pretty surprising to me. So we killed the Dray Knights, Mr. Artorius. So where is he proper? Can we get him from behind her? What's interesting is that the reward for maxing out Aldrich Faithful is by submitting 30 soul dra human drags is get the Archdeacon Staff, which is a sorcery staff that scales exclusively on faith. What's really interesting is that Besides the fact that it allows you to make use of sorceries as a faith build, which normally isn't really that relevant, once you get to 90 faith, it becomes the strongest sorcery catalyst in the game. In a base sense. The Sage's Crystal Staff is still arguably better if you use its special weapon skill. But just at base, just casting normally, it's the best option, period. But of course, you still need the intelligence requirement for any sorcery you'd be using with it, and there's no equivalent to the Dark Souls 2 simpletons and skeptic spices to let you use souls without meeting normal requirements. So it's not... You need a lot of investment, but it's interesting that despite not being a multi-scaling, if you have high HP and, I mean, high intelligence and faith, it is arguably your best option. Once you get to really, really high, literal all stats max levels which won't be relevant for me for a very very long time if it ever is but it's interesting to think about so where is where is this person where's Artorius I get the impression that they might be AFK because mm -hmm. I literally don't know where they are they might have they might have gone down here it's possible and I do know that there's actually a spot in Irithyll where you can hide and clip down some stuff, but they might be using that, which is kind of a scum tactic. Oh, oh hello, I'm, I'm the other Aldrich Faithful. Oh, hello, I'm interesting. So they were hiding over there, fun. I should have known. Okay. One, two, and... Well, you tried. You tried. Good enough. Okay. Simple. So my hunch was right. Maybe what I could have done was kick him down the ladder and have him fall to his death. Maybe. Mm -mm. Silly way for things to happen, really, but... Eh. Hmm. So we're back here. So Aldrich is obviously in the ONS room. Um, and we're already invading another world? You're kidding. Okay. Just, uh, oh, wow, we, okay, cool, I, all right, I, mm -hmm. That's not gonna be fun. Going down to the ground floor, going up on the stairs. Oh, and a normal village spirit. That's fun. Okay, well, let's buff up. I see your comment, so... Take your time, take your time. Smart on you for not giving me any time. I wouldn't do that to you either. Mm -hmm. No courtesy, no courtesy. Hi there, hello. Dodge and... Mm -hmm. Dodge, swing, and no roll catch. Oh, well we... What? Alright, what? Oh, wow. That was impressive, actually. Oh, two shields? Okay, I really should have waited. I should have waited. Guard point? What do you mean, guard point? As in poise? I have basically no poise. I wasn't even using a shield. To be fair, poise is not really usually relevant in Dark Souls 2 anyway. Oh, that was... That was tears. Okay. Let's go around this way. Hmm. See if... Yeah, no problem at all. I mean, it's like you said, it's been a while since you played. Already invading another world. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Oh, we could open up the... Open up the lever. We could open up the shortcut. That would be nice. Okay. 
I mean, that's sad. There isn't that much around the other side. It's just somewhat faster, so if we invade again, <laughs> have more time. Okay. Dundragon. Sounds like some kind of Pokemon. Okay. And we can put our shield back on. Funny shield. I'm not sure if it affects invaders, though. Well, is in invasions. Warrior of Sunlight and... Oh, so they got someone helping out, but... I don't think that's the person. This charming man, oh my goodness. Of course, of course the Aldrich Faithful would be a Smiths fan. At that point, it's just free. Okay, most of Ember's Dundragon. Hello, hello. That's just... Oh, Bursting Fireball. Hello. Let's just... Take you down and oh my oh oh my lord. Okay, well, all right. I'm interesting and I one two two three. And, okay, all right. I mm, mm, got to run. We got to run. Got mm, to make use of all the stuff I have. And, mm. How much healing is that warrior of sunlight gonna have? <coughs> Having to actually deal with two guys is oh you're healing. That's fun. One, two, and goodbye, warrior. No more of you. Sorry, I killed your friend. One, two, three. No more cleric build. Okay. Dodge. Wah, 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 wah. One, two, and slam again, and thanks, thanks. Oh, we, okay, interesting. We can... Mm -hmm. What if we knock you over and... Okay, all right. Let's just... Slam, slam, and knock you over the edge, or what? Oh, we can... Oh, stupid, stupid. Mm. Thanks, go ahead, just use that more, use that more. Thanks, thanks. Carth this up again. This guy is... He does run fast. He also... Mm, dodge it. Slam, spin it. Overhead, thank you. It's just... Dodge it. Okay, dodge, dodge it. At least it's damage proper. It's not all that intimidating. One, spin it. Slam! Fare thee well. I just killed the Pope. Now I feel bad. Okay. First pass you defeated. No, seriously. I might have used that Silver Knight to my advantage, but I did just win a two on one, and I'm feeling a little good about myself. Poke down. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's evil! Okay. Okay. So. Let's see what's over here. Let's see if we can use that contraption to moonlight arrows. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this. All these invasions are gonna be pretty good clip fodder. Let's push this lever. Open up this door. There we go, so we'll get in here a bit faster. What? what? Oh, it summoned a deeper curse. I did. A little mean, but still. So that animation is not playing right now, then. But something I realized that I didn't know because I hadn't used any buffs until... I wasn't using any weapon buffs until I'd already gotten and started using Untrue Dark Ring, the one that makes you look like a human even when you're hollowed. But... It makes it normally your weapon your weapons will start glowing in addition to the particle effect, just like in earlier Souls games. But like this. And oh goodness, hello there, hi. One, two, and mm -hmm. let's team up here. Team up with this. See, you killed that one Drang Hammer guy. You got another Drang Hammer guy to contend with. Isn't it funny how that happens? Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you. Mm -hmm. That looks kinda like Miko Ash. Kinda. One and. Oh wow, you. That was quite strong. Two. You ever. Gotta see. Can we bait you into multiple attacks? It. It's a lot of fun. The thing about it though is. That L1, L2, R2 combo is really strong, but. You have to successfully bait players into it, and it's easier said than done. Okay, hi. 
So my tears popped, which... Let's put that back on. Let's be evil. Fair. Fair. I mean, in the end, isn't that true of every weapon to some extent? It's all about baiting them out, baiting them in. Okay, well... Where can we catch you? Oh, no, no more Carthus Swim, I guess, so... That's just... Who are you gonna pay attention to? Who are you paying attention to? Hmm. If you're, if you're, you're kind of reliably going for two, which means one and oh wow, I, interesting. Really? Okay. Well, just go ahead and spend your estus. Go ahead, spend your estus. And we don't have any. We can't use our weapon art. Can't even use our weapon art, which is uh, you rolled away. One. We're varying between one and two. The only thing we really have is our L1. And, oh, alright, and, okay. Hmm. That's just... Huh. You know, if all else fails, we can wait for another Aldrich Faithful to show up. One. Hmm. What if I dodge, slam, and, oh, okay, I... Hmm, alright. I thought that that rolling attack might be better to use, but... One. Two, and one. Two, and... Oh, my lord. Oh, my... Okay. He does, yeah. Are you running out of Estus, or...? I can't poise break him. Yeah, they finally made poise work in Dark Souls 3. Just for this one fight. To make my life harder. You know what? I can't fight you in a fair one-on-one. -on -one. You, know you, know, you know who could help even the score? Giants. Giants. Deacons. Have fun! Have fun! I'm waiting over here. I've got the high ground. Status. Mm, that's still gonna be a lot for another one. Take your time. I can wait all day. Well, I can't actually, but I can wait a deal decent amount longer. Exactly. It's like Sun Tzu. Hi. Hello. Hmm. I could try to go for the punch attack. It'd be funny. No, they'd see that coming. Okay. It sucked that he basically killed that other Aldrich Faithful in one quick swing. The other guy probably hadn't leveled Vigor at all. Okay. Hmm. Well, take your time. I'm just gonna wait at the end of the area and see what you do to me. Hmm. Okay. Sullivan was a highlight, and so were all these Aldrich Faithful invasions. Guess the big thing is, since I pushed that lever, I wonder how that'll work out in practice. Hmm. How much Estus do you have? I think they might be running out of Estus, which would be nice for us. Hello, hello. Hmm. Okay. How about we just lure you over here? How much Estus do you have? Fun. Okay. There we go, and we got a quick hit on. Yeah, go ahead, use more throwing items. Go ahead. I think you're running out of Estus. I think you're running out of lettuce. Okay. Come on. Get in close. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Just go for an attack, use an attack. It's just, the main thing is that this is a battle of attrition. I need to get this guy to use their resources. Once you run out of resources, I will hopefully be able to knock you down. Maybe just more Aldrich Faithful guys will show up. Honestly, this makes me, I need Dark Moon Ring. How many proofs of the Concord? I've got six. Mm -hmm. What if I? What if I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I'm going for a plunge attack. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to satisfy you. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of plunging. Okay, cool. Every time you throw a firebomb, it's a free hit for me. I have no assets left, and I think you might be the same. Where can I chase you? Can I chase you over by the giants? That's the question. The main thing is that I don't have any kind of... 
don't have any FP left. I don't have any SS left, and I just... Okay, well, that... That's an attack I can kind of use. But I have to be early. Hmm. Gotta take you down. A lot of hits. It takes a lot of hits for me to get you. Not a lot of hits for you to get me. Where can I catch you? I don't think he knows that there are enemies over here. Does he? Maybe. Let's see what happens. I'll make you show up. Can I find a way to aggro these guys? You know, maybe if you use something like a seed of a giant tree, I could get... He could get them to aggro on me, which means I could draw them to him, but... Hmm. Hi. Hello. Hmm. Slam, and... Oh my... Oh, okay. Hmm. So we can manage a few of those. If we could find a way to make that connect... I could... One... Two... One... Two... And... Oh my... Hmm. It's gonna suck. I don't have any Estus left. Nothing at all. If we could get you to go by the giants... Go by the giants, we could... Oh, please. More firebombs. Come on. Giant, giant, giant. So where are you out to a... You had more Estus? What? You're kidding. Okay, I hate this guy. Uh, bro is fighting like the DS1 Iron Golem. It's just... The issue is that I can't poise... Yeah, even with... Even with that rolling attack... I couldn't poise break him. Okay. Okay. And he still had S just left over. Really? Okay. Hmm. So the door is open. Hmm. And we're already invading another world. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. It's not like these aren't fun. And I can't reliably get these all the time, so I should take them as they come, but... I was really thinking, okay, I'll go through Anna Orlando and kill Aldrich. Then it just didn't really happen that way. Hmm. It's a dark spirit. Your backup has arrived. Oh, Blade of the Dark Moon. Fuck. Okay. Let's kill that guy. Hmm. Dark Moon Blade. Are you having this guy clear stuff for you? Or? Hmm. Out of Estus or what? Oh, well, we. Hmm. There we go. One down. That means. We can look for a host of embers and. Ring Knight paired great swords. Ring Knight paired great swords. You've got to be kidding me. One, two, and. You already. Okay, imbecile. Well, that's ridiculous. How do you pop my. Okay. Hmm. I. I don't know if this guy's on New Game or if he got someone to drop them for him, but. Oh my goodness. One, two, and. Oh, I did not intend to kill. I'm hitting a dark spirit. I don't want to be. Dodge it. Slam it. Okay, I... Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I... Alright, and just... What? Dodge it. Mm, are you gonna heal? Are you gonna ask this? Yeah, you're gonna ask this. Ah, oh, stupid. Main issue is just we're hitting each other, and I... Okay, we... How'd that poke off? I didn't think I'd see Ring Knight Parrot Greatswords until I actually got to the DLC where enemies could use them. Okay. One, and... Uh, what? Oh, and right, the Dark Spirit can hit me. Yay. Yay. Okay. So I should... Try to keep my distance as much as possible so that I don't end up... Killing my friend. Quote, unquote, friend. Dodge. Spin. One, two, and... Oh, please, I... 
And that's the issue. We're stepping on each other's toes. Well, all right, cool. Thank you. One, two, and three. It was an idea. I would have gotten more souls that way. I'm almost more of a mad spirit than the invader. I mean, I am an invader, but I'm almost more of a mad spirit than the actual Rosaria's finger. Okay. Oh, well, all right. So there's the deep accursed. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna end up immediately invading another world, aren't I? Probably. Yep. All right. All right. So finding that deep accursed is gonna be something. No, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, per se. I do kind of wish I'd actually gotten to see the doors open. Because they opened a little and I saw the deep accursed dropping down, but I didn't get the rest of that. Oh, okay, okay. What if I... Did they die already, or...? It doesn't seem as if... Here. Yeah, I... It doesn't seem like the invasion's actually going... Yep, it aborted due to timeout. Okay. One, two, and... Okay, cool. Dodge. Ah, oh, please. And I... Mm -mm. Okay. In that case, we will... Return. Mm -mm. I've got enough souls for one level up, at least. That's, uh, that diva cursor right there. I may as well try to kill it if I can. Hi there, hello. Are you gonna escape? How far are you gonna go outside the vehicle? Hmm. Let's get over here. Dodge it. Okay, cool. One, two, and... Oh, well, alright. I... Mm. Interesting. Fire's good, but I... Dodge, dodge it. Okay. One. Oh. These guys are weird. Weird. And... One, two, and... Dodge. Dodge it. Oh, please, I dodge. I, oh, I, oh, come on. And I, oh, is that a visceral? Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Pick up the item in Aldrich's Ruby, which isn't all that useful, but the big thing is we can go straight in there now without having to worry. So I've got a couple of quick level ups to... A couple of quick level ups to do. I'll do that real quick, and then... I think I could just nuke Aldrich. It's an idea. But I do want to poke around the rest of Anna Orlando first. And I think, depending on... I'm not sure which location is actually the Church of the Dark Moon. So that's where the marriage ceremony is supposed to be. We'll see. Thank you. Level up and... Take nourishment. Intelligence. And we'll take a bit of faith then. Just get that fire as strong as possible. Okay. Farewell. Farewell, flames got thee. And we can use... Let's use this. Should be. Oh, that's actually a very generous okay. amount. Okay. Then we'll... Mm -hmm. Faith is up. Should be good for the power flame. Farewell. I just wonder... Oh, but we could also... I could probably... How much do I have on my power flame? How many Titanite do I have? I don't have enough Titanite to take power flame. But oh, well. Sad. So, we'll put our hammers back up. Still don't have enough strength to actually wield the thing one handed, but two handed is fine for some reason. Got a shield I can't use and a hammer that I can't use, and somehow it works just fine. Okay. So, we'll poke around the remaining little bit of Enerlando, especially now that that deep cursed is dead. And then, maybe if I'm lucky, bubbling up a little might slow down the pace of those invasions. Just a little bit. But actually, depending on how much I get... Yeah, I've got enough to actually get soul dregs now if I want it. Which is really, I mean, great deep soul if I want it. Which I eventually will. Big thing is, will I fight Dancer before... When will I actually fight Dancer? Come on, get over- and we're invading another world already. Okay. Dodge it. Okay. One, two, three, and just one, two, and- oh, okay, all right, and- Stupid. Okay. 
18 strength, I can wield this thing one-handed, which could be nice, maybe. Either way. Okay! Oh, they rage quit. They quit because they got invaded. Were that scary. Were that scary. Okay. Mm. Well, either way, I should heal up real quick first, because... Lost our buff. That would make us a little bit weaker. Let's just do that. Doors are open now, which is quite good. So, so... Hmm. Put our flame mark up, and then the area around that side. And another thing. Some more things in the bottom of Enorlando Cathedral. One, two, three. Thank you. And slam. And, oh my, okay, well we, all right, mm, interesting. Wasn't intending to fight multiple and I, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. I, okay, and just, uh, 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 mm, okay. Heal and just, one, but did I really, really, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to deal with two of these guys at once. That's the real thing. Okay, cool. Heal. Heal and dodge it. Can I? Mm, mm, but he knocked off on the other one over there and I. Okay. Well, I died. Hmm. I wonder if we'll get another invasion. But again, the big thing is I can pick up Deep Soul whenever I feel like it. Great Deep Soul should help out a little. Drain hammers are fun. They're good for PvP as long as you. As long as you're playing with a schmuck who's going to end up taking your full spin. But, you know, because even with our crappy build, we still dealt pretty good damage. It wasn't a one-tap. And if you optimize for it, that combo, the L1, L2, R1, R2 combo, can be an actual one-tap, which is as good as it sounds. But it was not an option for me. And, oh, okay. All right, I... Okay, fine. More invasions. Okay. So that three flashes in and out before that happens. Dark Souls PvP. There really is nothing like it. So where are they? The wall? Oh no, are they gonna... Are they gonna have the double shields? Are they gonna do the double shields? Or maybe they might just be using Havel shields, because the original wall video was just using Havel shield in Enerlando. Well, it is Enerlando, so... Another phantom? Oh, you... Ah. Oh. Well, you know, this is... It's why those things exist, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Okay. Let's try this one more time, and... wonder where you go. The wall. The wall. The wall. No one on Earth can make it fall. I just, I just remember hearing Mary Chain. What about Jesus? Okay. Then I've actually never listened to that band. Just know it exists. To be fair, there are a lot of bands, a lot of bands to listen to. Oh, did they, are they up there? Or? I haven't seen anyone take any damage yet, so I don't know where anyone is. Oh, we've teamed up with that guy before. But the fact that. Only Afro's wife very publicly cheated on him, and they had a very public divorce, to the extent that gaming content creators can be referred to as highly public. But it happened, apparently. So I've been told. Okay. My lord. Oh, what are you doing? So they're not back there, but... Where are they hiding? Are they down by the pawn of beasts, or what's going on? Okay, so Jin's over here. Hello, old friend. Oh, I I think he took that to mean that they're up high. I don't think that's true. Like I said, there's an exploit where you can actually clip inside some of the geometry down here to hide from invaders. 
And I, I know you can mimic it yourself to get them, but I don't know personally how to pull it off. Yeah, I... This seems to be a pretty safe bet. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Well, they're not. They're down here by McDonald. They were using this bonfire. Okay. It's buff. So who do we go to first? Who's our priority? I... Uh, hmm. What is... Another? Wait, another or... Okay. One, two, and... Oh, Frostbit already? What? What? Oh, not... I do have tears up. That's good. Question is, what if I... What if I try climbing the ladder? Are they gonna... Okay, well, I... That completely... And the fall damage killed me. Wow. I didn't think that hit me. And I certainly didn't think I'd die. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, that was one way for that to happen. Certainly was. Honestly, the craziest thing was just instant... Okay. Instant frostbite from the Yorm Hammer. I mean, the Vord Hammer. I wasn't expecting that to instantly apply frostbite. And I know that I have basically no defensive stats, but I'm still crazy. Okay. Cover lost souls and rest of the bonfire. Cool. Use our tears again. And then. Go over that way, and... So, Illusory Wall, who's a guy who does a lot of souls, data mining, and deep dive content, saw that... Oh, goodness. I... Okay. Was trying to figure out the exact methodology behind determining whether a character can get invaded in Dark Souls 3 or not. Whether a player can get invaded. And they said it ba... You know, most people think, okay, you need to have someone summoned. But what's interesting is that initially he thought, but then corrected himself because he just couldn't figure it out. Because it's really, really weird. It's, you have to summon, even if you're Ember, you have to engage in multiplayer in some way to actually get the ability to be invaded. Otherwise, nothing really happens. Oh, there you are. Hi. One, two, and slam. Thanks. Okay, just... How far are you going to run? How long and how far are you going to run? Okay, cool. Then just... Okay. And then... Right over here in the Darkman Church. Let's chase you all. Don't imagine you could. Okay, as soon as you're done with that, we can... Roll catch and... Roll catch... That was evil! I feel bad. <laughs> As the elevator was coming down. Okay, well. Thanks for the elevator. Okay. You know, if nothing else, eventually, if we get 30 human dregs, we can stop. I can unequip the item, because that's how much that's how much you need to max out the covenant. And we're already a third of the way there. Okay. I That was vile. I think. I'm gonna need to go find a priest. I'm gonna go need to find a priest after this, honestly. Okay. Could not invade fail to join session. Is that because we rested the bonfire or something else? It might have been network issues or quitting out. I don't know. Which would mean that they'd have to use a way of white circle or something. Okay. Let's keep on going and... Yeah. I mean, I only killed the Poe, oh, not the other three, so... There should still be some left in the- oh, they totally got out of the way of that. Okay, whatever. Okay, cool. One, two... Overhead, thanks. The other one should be coming now. Hello there, hello. Gonna use your lightning attack, or what? Come on, just... Dodge, and... One, two, three... And then we can... One... One. Okay, and we killed him. That's good. Okay, anything on your corpse? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So, alright. 
We got 11 out of 30 human dregs we need for maxing out the covenant. This is a more fun way to max stuff out. More fun way to grind covenant stuff for sure. You know, with a name like that, I think they're kind of asking for it. Let's go give them the time of their lives. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. So where'd they go? Don't see where they are. I would imagine they might be down here. Okay, if there's stuff down here, they're definitely down here. Is... Hmm. That's somewhat around this area, so I would presume. There's a bonfire, but I don't see him. Do not see this guy. He might be using chameleon, which would be really funny. Would I... Hidden body, or what? Huh. Where is he hiding? Where is he hiding? Hmm. Well, alright. All we gotta do, all we gotta do is go up, go up, and then... It's gotta be somewhere. He might have used, he might have used the clip strategy. With a name like that, I have to be prepared for any and all kinds of foul play. But... I just... don't know where this guy could be. Hmm. The Drang Knights are dead, so he's definitely progressed a little bit into the area. But... None of the enemies are actively trying to attack anyone or anything. I guess the question is... Silver Knights, the Silver Knights are all still alive. So where is he? Where is he? I think he really is just trying to... figure out... I think he might have done that drop-down cheese. The clip. Could give him the fright of his life, if that's the case. If there's a way to... But I'm not sure where the second spot is. Second spot with that. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think I know. Okay. If I recall correctly, you basically have to run around, activate the climb ladder prop, and basically do a perfect pivot. Then if you drop down in a there... Hmm. Okay. That's the idea, at least. Principle behind the thing. Have to use this as a secret. There we go. I think we got that. I think we got that. Could feel things kind of stay still. So where is... Does he have this door unlocked? That's the question. But it doesn't seem as if... If he has that unlocked, he definitely... Huh. I... I'm not sure exactly how to do that clip. So I'm just going to... Hope and pray that he shows up somewhere normally. I... Huh. If only there was one of those things that... Hmm. Points in the direction of... The player. But they're not doing... Anything. I... Maybe they're just hanging back at the start of the area? I really don't know. But all these enemies over here... Hmm. They might just be over here. It does feel like a hide-and-seek game. But... They might be over here. Oh, they didn't even kill that crystal lizard. So what does that... What does that mean? Where could they possibly be? Okay, I... Need to figure out how to do that clip. Because I'm dead certain that they're hiding from me. That they used a glitch to hide from me. Hmm. Over where? It could just be Chameleon. And I would actually respect that, because that's an actual spell. But if they did... Simply... Hmm. Use a glitch to clip in. 
Let's see. Urethal clip. Urethal clip. Let it clip through. Is they're not here. They're not here. Urethal ladder clip. Ladder clip. Bottom of. Uh oh. Earthful ladder glitch. Ladder. Hmm. Ladder glitch, glitch workaround. Well, hmm. I know I saw a video about this, but I don't know how to find it again. Ladder. Because I'm sure, I'm sure that they're hiding. Maybe. It's. They're not doing anything anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. No, not like that. I have to... If I recall correctly, it was... You have to see the prompt, activate, and immediately turn back. At the time, they can feel things kind of slow down, but the animation doesn't play, and then... No, not like that. Not like that. Alright. As soon as the prompt pops... No, no, no. How do I? It's supposed to let you drop off the ladder midway through. Oh, you have to read that you're reading as, as if you're reading that ladder, which is longer because the way ladders work in every Souls game is they set the length for you to go down when you go on them, and if you can glitch a ladder to identif identify itself as a different one, you can drop off at a different distance. And using this, you can go down under the ladder in the other part of Irithyll. And I managed to get it work once, but I, I felt a weird slowness, which made me think that I managed to get it to work once, but couldn't get it to happen again, and I just... I need to glitch out this ladder so I can glitch out the other ladder. Is that, was that it? It might have been. I wasn't sure. Alright. That might be it. I'm gonna have to try it one way or the other. If I can go down through that ladder and the guy's there, I'm golden. There's a good chance. Because he is definitely hiding. Hmm. The big thing is that he might just be in another spot in An Orlando. Actual An Orlando proper waiting for me. Oh, well, these ones are dead, so. Okay, that really makes me think that he went down here. Killed that one silver knight to get through there, and. Hmm. But I don't know where he is. That's the thing. Moment of truth, and. No, no. Where is he? Where is he? Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna check a little bit more in other parts of Anor Orlando, but this guy is... absolute coward. You know, I might be... I might fight with other people on my side, but those are intended game mechanics. This guy's just cheating. So is the elevator down, or is it up? Oh, elevator's up. So, okay, so he just must, he might just be over here. Maybe he's waiting on the elevator, that would be pretty funny. Okay, I'm just glad he didn't cheat. Well, what I mean is, I was implying there's a glitch you can use to get out of bounds. And a lot of people do that as a way to hide from invaders. And that's a little less... Oh, I'm a little less simpatico with that. So are they up here? Maybe they're just deliberately wasting my time or something and they're gonna... Did they just fall off? What happened? Wait, what? 
better to die than be killed, I guess. That was weird. <laughs> Did you see them? They just jumped off. I mean, were they playing hide and seek? You find me and I jump off to give you a free kill? I did. Oh, wait, so, oh yeah, I bet. They weren't trying to reward me or run away. They just gave up on waiting. Oh, that's funny. Well, that said, they heard the elevator coming up. So I'd imagine they would have known from that. It's interesting how the corpse moved. Another invasion, well, whatever. I, oh my, okay, all right, and I, cool. Slam, two, well, okay. And we didn't have tears. Only 18 more soul drags for maximum covenant rank. So we're, okay, I, I hear shooting. That's good. Travin. Travin. There are people named Travin. Okay. Alright, cool. So where is my... Where is my target? I hear shooting. And these guys are alive, so where do they go? And did I... Okay, I hear the... So they're bringing that elevator down, which means... If we just chase them on there and... Find them on the elevator, we should be good. Oh, there, hello. Too slow, too slow. Mm hmm Okay. Hi, Travin. Oh, there. Let's see what happens. That would have been a good opportunity earlier. I think I've actually invaded this guy before. Might be. Okay. Okay. Chase you up. See how this works out. I don't think he will. And what? Okay, no, not enough poise? Excuse me, I... Weird. What? I... Oh. Okay. Never mind, I guess. He won. The big thing is just... I wasn't able to poise break him. I literally got travened. It's insane. I didn't jump. I fell off because I didn't know there was a ledge. I wasn't paying enough attention. That's what happened. Still on me, but for different reasons. Okay. And then we ashen up. And at least take down this knight before we have to... Before we invade someone again. Hi, hello, and... Oh, we, okay, one, two, three, nice. Oh, this one is strong. Oh, not all of them are red-eyed. Interesting, but... One, two, three, goodbye. Okay. Two normal Titanite shards. What's on here? So the Crestfallen Knight. Crestfallen Knight? Well, that's sad. It's a guy from DS1. Oh, but this is... Okay. Can we open this? Oh, no. If we can open that at all, it's not now. So. Invading another world is Aldrich Faithful. What a surprise. Okay. So there are deacons on this part of the cathedral, and then other stuff on the other side. I should do that. wonder if there's another bonfire. That's just the closest. It's close enough, it makes sense, but still. Oh, okay. Unicornia. So they're clearly over... On the kind of general thoroughfare with all the deacons, so we'll engage them over that way. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so the Drang Knights are there. They're probably waiting for a fair fight. Dang it. Hate that. So if we can lure them out in a spot where... Get them to run to a spot where there are other enemies, we can... Make this fight work better for us, but clearly they're hiding over here, waiting for us to find them and try to kill us. Mad Dark Spirit Kakupa. Kakupa? Yeah, but I also want to kill Aldrich, and I want to get off in the next couple of minutes, so. I mean, next 30 minutes or so, so. Dodge it. Okay. Here we. Interesting. Oh, uh, well. Alright. Oh, wow. Hazel Pick's not bad. Okay. And that crystal hail, crystal hail. Dodge and slam. That didn't quite work. One, two, and slam. Thanks. Just 
Once you ask us up, we'll get you another combo and spin and slam. Thanks. Okay, cool. One or not. Okay. Just can we Ah, uh, roll catcher one. Mm-hmm. Dodge it. You're basically playing as Hazel, which is cool. Dodge it. One. Okay, come on, you can. One. Spin and. Slam you down, thanks. What are you gonna do? You're gonna. One. Oh, you can. Okay, you're gonna. Straight and. Oh, please, like. Okay, alright, and. You're gonna SS. SS. Or not. Or not. Well, you will, but we can knock you down anyway. And what is the Mad Spirit doing? The Mad Spirit's trying to kill me. Are they doing kind of a Hodrick, Hodrick thing? Well, you're weirdly honorable for a mad spirit. And I, mm, okay, cool. All right, and I, mad spirit's over there. So, how do we want to do this? If I kill that mound maker, what I'm wondering is, will I get what I need or want? Let's use a spell. We're just gonna use a spell. We kill you. Use a spell. We kill you. One. Try to roll catch, maybe, and one. Oh, please, you're out of. Blue Estes, and I. Oh, please, I. One, and. Hmm. At least the damage on that is not all that good. Hmm. My Dark Spirit's just not doing anything. And I. Hmm. You are kind of playing like a Hazel. It's a shame you don't have that other stuff for a Hazel build, but whatever, I. Come on, just. Okay, what if I. What if I run over? Okay, cool. Just uh, come on, come on. Oh, should I go for a break or something, or a catch? Or that's the question. This mad spirit, ma this mad dark spirit, is not doing anything. Okay. Hmm. Dodge it. Slam. That didn't work. Weird. Okay. Dodge it. Slam it. Uh. Okay. Cool. Goodbye. Oh, there, hello. One. Oh, well. All right. Cool. And you killed me, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, but we didn't die, because you can't die after. Okay. Another human dragged. Well, that, that was annoying, because, well, I think maybe part of it was because they knew that I'd be able to hit them, too. If they'd gotten close, because Mad Dark Spirits fight everyone. But still... So hopefully before something else happens, let's go back inside the cathedral and see who we can or can't take out. Thank you, thank you. Got a few more deacons around here. Already? Already? Really? Well, whatever. Aldrich Flash, Aldrich Flash. And kill one of the slimes. One of the slimes. Okay, cool. Certainly something. Certainly something. Aldrich Faithful Oleg. I've seen that guy before. I wonder if he named him after Althea. Banish Knight Oleg from Elden Ring. So, the Drain Knight's over there. Clearly they're hiding. I think. Pretty safe assumption, frankly. Is that Ash and Essus again? And, hmm. Oh, but... Can we do that ourselves? No, we can't interact with illusory walls on our own. Oh, but hello. The host of embers is getting chased down. This might happen on its own. Okay. Oh, there, and that missed. Weird. What kind of build are you running? That's the question. Hello there, hello. And you're- Oh, Dranghammers too. Hello, hello. One, two, and slam. Get drink hammered on. Get drink hammers on. Oh, not. Don't, don't. One, one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Oh, that. Oh, I didn't really notice. That a gray rat. Gray rat's hat. Okay. There we go. There we go. That said, I think dealing with the. Slimes over here. I should put my Pyro Flame in my right hand and just punch him. Did kill one of those slimes already, I think. Okay, how many invasions are we gonna go through before? 
Oh, whatever. And oh, hello. Chest with a. Oh, Estes shard. That's fun. Okay. That's gonna be nice to have. Two, three, four. Nice. Fun flush of Aldrich. One, two, three. Oh well, deacons. Thanks. Mm -mm. All right. Flask hands. Okay, that one's dead. Good. One. Two, three, four, more deacons, more slimes, invading ult, okay, cool, whatever. And then we can punch the slimes again. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm complaining, but I really want to fight Aldrich. <laughs> I... We'll see what happens, because I was going to want to grind out the rewards anyway. We'll see. And, oh right, but the power flame's in that hand now, because Okay, we got to put it back. Come on, come on, come on. Right, right, we need to put the hammers back on. Where are they? Where are they? What if I... Is this open, or...? Most of Ember's Aurora. That's closed. So where are they, and where am I going to fight them? That seems to be up, but... Is that always up, or what? Ha. Huh. Because I think they might be in an Anorlando proper. Because it doesn't seem like we can actually do an invasion. Yeah, they've gotten to Anorlando before. If that corpse has been looted, I think. Because I think there was something on there originally, I'm not quite sure. Need a few more souls for Max over there. Alright. Go back up and see what happens. Point around with the elevator. And maybe they'll be at the bonfire, maybe they won't be. We'll see. We'll just wait for this to go up. Maybe we'll be really annoying and try to keep them from using the elevator in case they actually are down there already. But, so is that bonfire lit? That bonfire does not look lit. That bonfire is not burning. I'm losing sanity. Alright, alright. So what is this Aurora person doing and where are they doing it? That's what I want to know. God have mercy on my soul. It'd be funny if they actually were using the Clip Glitch. I don't think they would be, but... Okay. Mm -hmm. Down there, and then we have to... Go down here. Thanks. Pretty big drop, but whatever. Mm hmm. So, literally, where are they? Literally, where are they? They might be down in the Archdeacon McDonald room, but I'm not sure. Still Urethal. So what if I went down there? It really does seem as if they are just hiding. Okay, well, there's one dead. One dead Silver Knight, but... A couple of dead Silver Knights. But where are they? Like a mystery. Huh. Because where did they go? Where did they go? Hmm. Well, if I go down here and I, and I don't fall to my dad... Maybe try to smoke him out, but... Deacon's over there. Oh, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Drain Knights are dead, which means... And they have... I should check that more often and more quickly. They have done that. Okay. So are they here? Are they over here, or what? 
they're not. So where are they? And this one, they still haven't activated the Anor Rwando bonfire. So they can't have reached that spot. The cathedral door isn't open unless they were deliberately... I don't know. Oh, hello. I... Interesting. Okay, let's make you drop. Hi, hello. What if I... Can I make you fall off? I can make you fall off. Hi, okay, cool. So what if I go down here? Interesting. Hello. Oh, and this guy's got... Wait, so Aurora is not biz. Interesting. Well, alright, I can... One, two... Final... If it works, it works. Why, well, I guess. Thanks. Okay. So I wonder who was with them. Was it... Someone passing them off as a human player when they were a spirit? Or... Okay. Hey, if it works, it works. Invasions? Invasions are fun. They're a classic for a reason. Let's just punch the remaining slimes. Hello, hello there. One. Oh, well, you... Okay, you're, you're there too. Interesting. I did not expect that. Okay, well, alright. I need to kill these deacons. So, big deacon, small deacon. Two, three, four, and dodge. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, no more fire. No more fire from the deacons. Yeah, you know, it's funnier that way. I just, I think they didn't expect me to see them on that ladder. They didn't expect to see me on that ladder and then... Uh, that's why I was able to punch it down, because normally, that wouldn't really get to happen. Normally, they would be a lot smarter with that. Normally, if they had expected, they might not have lingered that long or gone off or probably try to kick me off. That's the big thing. I thought, mm, mm, I, mm. Okay. So that was actually a different one. That's a thing, and that's interesting. But what if I, I, oh, please, don't kill me. How do I? Dodge, mm, didn't quite work. Two, three, four, and, oh, please, I, Eventually, I'm just going to run through. Eventually, I'm just going to run through. But for now, I have more uh, other duties. So what is on this corpse? It's on this corpse. One, two, and... Oh, wow. It totally reached over my head. Frankly, that's some consolation, actually. And now we're invading another world. Oh, a proof of a concord. Cool. Well, we got one level up in theory, and then... More slimes to punch with a fire glove. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll open that other door and then maybe kill Aldrich tomorrow. Depending on how many invasions I have to deal with. I mean, not tomorrow, but next time on Sunday. So where is... The giant's awake. That's the big thing. And I heard something else. Did they summon a phantom or, or what? Let's use those tears. Especially since I just got necessary. Let's just... Karthus it up, and... Oh, they're over there! Okay, time for fun. Let's do this fight. Oh, a warrior of sunlight invading as a dark spirit. That's cool. Hmm. Just... Alright, and... One, two, and... Mm, mm, I... Alright, I didn't expect that. And... Chaos bed messages. Okay. What's interesting is that that warrior of sunlight's actually a dark spirit. Even if they're a warrior of sunlight, they're actually, they can get sunlight medals by invading other players. It's not a great way to do it, but it's an option, and I, oh, well, you, you died. Okay, cool. And I, mm, I, okay, all right. I, interesting. Oh, and they took me down with a throwing knife. I respect that. I respect that. Okay. Hmm. If someone's actually using throwing knives... You know they're a serious PvP. -er. Because those items are useless in PvE. 
Is the only thing they really have going for them is that they have very little startup. Their damage is nothing. So did I just died? Oh, whatever. It probably another slime, I presume. Okay. Come on, come on, and okay. Another invasion already. Really? Okay. This style on me. I got style on. Okay. Huh. Huh. Most of the members. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh wow, that's hilarious. Been at it so long that we showed up to fight the same guy another time. I'm in high demand. That's what's going on. They love me. The people love me. Aldrich Faithful, a loyal spirit. Okay. What if I... When are you gonna run out? When are you gonna run out? Mmm. Just gotta try to... Huh. One. One. Two. And slam. Thanks. Okay. What are you gonna ask this up? And one. Two. And slam. Thanks. Good attack. Really good. One. Two. And slam. And one more. One more real quick. And oh, you're gonna ask this, aren't you? You're gonna ask this, aren't you? Annoying. Okay. Come on, come on. You mother. Son of a mother. Exactly. I'm, I'm deeply beloved. Okay, so... Oh, but I couldn't get the back seven myself. I'm one, two, and slam down on you. Love that. Love that so much. And one, two, and slam. Okay. Let's just see if we can't... How much S's do you have to use? I... So Ember's glass and you imbecile, you slam, spin, and jump. Oh, I missed. I missed. Huh. Now I don't have any more Ash and Estes. That is some trouble. But just this guy is... Mm, oh. Don't hit me, please. This guy is running, running like a... Oh, but I... Oh, I thought I'd be able to get a backstab on him. Oh, whatever. I... Hmm. You know, it'd be funny if I killed that Dark Spirit for fun. It's an option. Oh, but I can't use my play mark either. Run out of Estus already, you imbecile, you mongrel. If we chase you up here by the Silver Knights, I bet we could... Okay, getting a backstop while chasing is not nearly as easy here. Okay. Dagger, dagger. Come on. Gonna run up or run? And, of course, we're... Interfering by hitting the dark spirit, so I... Hmm. Where are you going? Literally, where are you going? And I... Hmm, I... Okay. Hmm. So let me get a backstab off on you. This is... Getting kind of ridiculous, so... But, oh, but I... Fall down, fall down. And annoying? You are... The worst. Okay. Either way, after this one, no matter how it ends, I'm gonna have to end things. I got up a quick today. Heading out soon, actually, for some personal business, so. What? Oh, alright, and I. That'll be. How many Estus blasts do you have? Come on! Okay. At least my tears are still up, but. And I. Mm -mm, what if I. Mark? Okay, that got you. That's good. How many... What if I... Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you. One, two, three... Thought I could get something else, maybe. Whatever. Sixteen human tracks. Sixteen human tracks. Okay. Yeah, I do think we're probably going to end up getting enough for Max Rank Aldrich Faithful. It's so silly, really. All right. So, this is a funny place to end things. We're not by a, actually, yeah, we're not by a bonfire or anything, but I think that'll be where I end things today. Not a spot I expected, but if it works, it works. Thank you to everyone for watching and everyone who stuck around. This was a crazy one. Thank you. Sound of